Ist das alles, was ihr zu bieten habt? Flori? Habt ihr niemanden, der stärker ist? Einen richtigen Gegner? Willkommen zu einer Ausgabe von Rage of Empires. Aber das ist doch nicht irgendeine Ausgabe. Ja, es ist oder eine Ausgabe wie jede andere. Ist okay, ist Bis auf die Tatsache, dass wir heute ein vier Stunden Spezial haben. Vier Stunden Age of Empires am Stück. Und wir sind heute nicht alleine. Wir haben heute das Haus ist voller Norweger, Spanier, Polen. Alle sind am Start. Ja. Die Who ist Who, die Creme der Creme der Age of Empires Szene, ist heute hier in Hamburg in unserem Rocket Beans Haus. Glaubst du, dort ist Pole oder was? Hä? Der ist nicht Pole. <lacht> ja, schön, dass ihr da seid. Servus. Herzlich willkommen. Uh, to our English uh, listeners, we're gonna switch to English soon, but um, just stick with the, the German uh, gibberish for a second. Um, ja, heute sind eine wow, Menge da. Wow, mega elegant gelöst jetzt hier mal so wirklich. Also, also, also Moderationsschule, äh, Frank Elsner Masterclass hat sich auf jeden Fall bewährt, muss ich Dankeschön. mal sagen. Äh, äh, wir ja, werden heute ähm, in verschiedenen Konstellationen... Kann ich auch mal was sagen? Ja, okay. Hallo, herzlich willkommen. Ich sage auch nochmal Hallo. Äh, mein Name ist Donny und ähm, ich moderiere hier auch. Und wir haben ähm, heute einiges vor. Wir haben heute sogar Original, Leute. Wir haben fucking Moderationskarten. Sag doch mal was. Tatsächlich. Wir, wir haben Moderation... Ja. Leute, so weit ist es schon gekommen. Ja. Sind wir abgehoben? Ist Rage of Empires nee, nicht geil. mehr cool? Das ist, wir sind auf richtigen... Wir, wir machen es professionell. Wir, ja, wir bringen... Wir making, making Age of Empires great again, yeah. sozusagen. Yeah. Und ähm, das hat mir Mara alles aufgeschrieben. Also richtig so geil. Ich finde auch lustig, dass wirklich alles handschriftlich aufgeschrieben ist, auch für Florentin. Mara ja, hat alles, alles für uns vorbereitet, damit wir einfach alles richtig machen. Und ähm, das machen wir jetzt auch. Und zwar haben wir jetzt die Zuschauer begrüßt. Wir haben natürlich die englischsprachigen Zuschauer ähm, äh, auch mal kurz ähm, ja, abgeholt, dass wir nachher auch auf Englisch kommentieren werden. Denn das erste Spiel, was wir heute spielen, wird gecastet von keinem Geringeren als äh, Zero Empires und mir. Und wir werden das Ganze auf Englisch machen. Und äh, wer da alles spielt, dazu kommen wir gleich. Wir wollen aber natürlich erstmal die anderen beiden Teammitglieder hier ins Boot holen und begrüßen. Und wir sagen recht herzliches, ein recht herzliches Hallo hoch in die Gaming Area zu Westenmann und Mara. Hallo, hey. Donny, hallo, Florian. Hallo. Gott fällt mir gerade einen Stein vom Herzen, um ehrlich zu sein. Warum? Ja, weil ich seit die ganze Woche hin und her springe, um das alles hier zum Laufen zu bringen. Die Grafiken wurden halt äh, rechtzeitig angefertigt. Wir haben einen Teaser gemacht. Die Modkarten haben funktioniert. Ich habe mehrmals 11 Uhr Marco gesehen. Ich du war sehr, ja, ja, der sogar sehr positiv vor überrascht. Vor 11 Uhr Marco. Vor 11 Uhr Marco. Ich war ja. sehr positiv überrascht. Ja, Mara hat schon gesagt, so Professionalitäts-Marco mit großem Herz. Ja, ja, vielen Dank an, an Marco, dass du das alles organisiert hast, auf jeden Fall. Ähm, wir haben heute das ganze Haus voller Stars. Ja. Und ähm, ja, wir haben wirklich die Welt, es ist wirklich, wirklich krass, ne? Ja. Also wir haben wirklich, das ist auch, also um, um, um so ein bisschen kurz zu reflektieren, ja. Also jetzt nicht um zu ähm, ja, nostalgisch zu werden, aber ich meine, dieses Format gibt es seit zwei Jahren und wir haben immer wieder irgendwie geschafft, so ein paar Profis ins Boot zu holen, aber meistens natürlich aus der Ferne, ne? Also irgendwie, wir ja. haben der Viper schon da gehabt, der quasi dann äh, aus der Ferne gezockt hat und wir haben Jordan aus der Ferne gehabt und so. Und wir haben es jetzt tatsächlich geschafft, sie alle, nicht nur Jordan und Viper, sondern wirklich eigentlich alle die komplette Top 7 der Welt. Äh, im Age of Empires hier bei uns im Studio zu haben. Wir werden sie nacheinander jetzt gleich wie auf der Couch ein bisschen begrüßen und euch auch ein bisschen vorstellen. Ich würde sagen, wir fangen da jetzt direkt auch an ja. mit äh, zwei ganz besonderen Menschen. Und zwar sind das Nili und Jordan23. Und wir bitten sie jetzt auf die Couch. Sehr Herzlich gerne. Das wir haben, wir haben einen imaginären Applaus hier. Hey. Moin, hey. Hallo, hallo. schön, dass ihr da hey. seid. Es geht, hi. Servus. 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 Äh, Servus. Äh, das sind die beiden äh, Ihr habt die Keule Profis. da, genau. Ihr könnt euch die das Keule heißt, teilen. Ja, schön, dass ihr da seid. Wir wollen insgesamt gar nicht so viel äh, Zeit verlieren, weil wir wollen natürlich spielen, spielen, spielen. Aber natürlich erstmal die Frage, Nili, an dich direkt. Ähm, warum sind denn plötzlich so viele Profis aus der ganzen Welt überhaupt hier in Hamburg? Was ist da los? Ja, ich bin jemand, der gerne alternative Turniere für Empires organisiert. Und irgendwie ist mir die Idee in den Kopf gekommen, so ein bisschen auch durch den Home Story Cup von Take aus Dark of 2 inspiriert. Einfach mal die... Weltelite in mein Apartment zone und wir spielen jetzt schon fünf Tage hier. Ja. Jeden Tag so zehn, zwölf Stunden am Durchstream. Jeder ähm, praktisch, ja, die europäische Elite da reingeholt. Und dann dachte ich mir, dann müssen wir auch bei Rage of Empires vorbeischauen. Ja, sehr du, gut. Du, du drückst das sehr nett auf, aber im Grunde äh, hängen wir eigentlich nur an, 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 an deinem Zipfel. Projekt und ja. wir nehmen uns einfach mal die Profis mit, die alle in der Gegend sind. Aber auf jeden Fall da auch an alle, die äh, jetzt äh, Bock bekommen haben auf äh, Starcraft, äh, Entschuldigung, auf Age of Empires Profis, äh, die natürlich bei Nili äh, das ganze Turnier weiterverfolgen können. Da wird auf jeden Fall fleißig gespielt. Äh, ja, hi. 
Jordan, schön dich auch mal zu sehen. Hallo, wir, haben ja, wir hatten ja schon die Ehre, wir haben ja schon mal genau. zusammen gespielt. Ja. Ne? Hat ja nicht so gut geklappt damals. Ja, aber am Anfang ist es immer schwierig. Heute es ist es schwierig. Nicht besser. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Ähm, ja, schön, dass ihr da seid. Wir, wir werden natürlich gleich noch mehr Ich glaube, ganz viele Leute haben jetzt auch, genau wie ich vorhin, zum allerersten Mal Jordan auf Deutsch äh, sprechen hören. Ja, das stimmt. Ja, es muss ja was Spezielles sein. Sonst ist, immer Sonst ist es immer Englisch, aber ja, hin und wieder mal Deutsch, damit es immer was Spezielles bleibt. Ne? Ja. Ähm, ich habe auch noch eine Frage wegen ähm, deinem Cup, Nili. Ne? Ich habe das jetzt auch verfolgt. Ich war jetzt auch eine Woche krank und lag irgendwie flach und das war perfekt, weil ich das dann wirklich äh, sehr viel geguckt habe. Äh, nicht, dass ich eh schon viel zu viel Age of Empires irgendwie streame und gucke zu Kann Hause. Man nicht. Äh, mich interessiert mal, also du hast ja schon gesagt, ihr spielt jeden Tag 10 bis 12 Stunden. Und ähm, ab wann schlaucht es denn eigentlich so? Also das habt ihr immer noch dann sozusagen, ist man dann immer noch motiviert? Oder ich, ich weiß nicht, weil ich finde, so nach drei, vier Stunden bin ich echt am Arsch auch manchmal. Äh, ihr, ihr habt einfach ein anderes Niveau, das ist eine andere Grund, wahrscheinlich Fitness für das Spiel, oder? Mhm. Ich glaube, ich bin da irgendwie, irgendwie fehlt mir da ein menschliches Gehen, glaube ich. Ne? Ich habe ja schon mal einen 46-Stunden-Stream gemacht. Ja. So Vor zwei Wochen habe ich eine Promotion gemacht, da habe ich über 100 Stunden innerhalb von einer Woche gestreamt. Jetzt, ich habe praktisch seit drei Wochen, schlafe ich nie mehr als vier Stunden. Ja. Und ja, ich kann, kann die Show kaum erwarten und heute Abend geht es auch wieder weiter. Krass, okay. Ich träume immer von Edge Vampires, wenn ich zu viel spiele und so. Dann sehe ich immer so kleine Sperrkämpfer und dann kann ich nicht schlafen irgendwie. Aber das ist vielleicht ein anderes Problem, vielleicht von meinem Psychologen, da können wir ein andermal drüber reden. <lacht> ja, also wir freuen uns jedenfalls, also wirklich, äh, Florentin hat es ja auch gerade gesagt, ich muss mich auch nochmal im Namen von unserem Team hier bedanken, dass wir da uns ein bisschen an, an diesen Zipfel da ranhängen konnten, weil wir profitieren natürlich auch total davon, dass wir diese ganzen coolen Leute auch mal hier haben, um mit denen vor allem dann vor Ort zu spielen. Also von daher vielen Dank. Ähm, ja, ich glaube, wir kommen dann schon zu den nächsten Auf beiden. Auf jeden Fall, wir Gästen. sehen euch ja gleich eh noch im Spiel und als genau. Kommentatoren äh, ohnehin seid ihr dabei. Vielen Dank, äh, dann äh, kommen gleich die nächsten äh, rein. Genau, wir machen das hier so, äh, es wird ein, einer nach dem anderen reingebetet und die anderen müssen es verlassen, weil sonst ist das Set zuvor, so viele Mikros haben wir nicht. Wen haben wir denn jetzt auf dem Schirm? Wir haben jetzt als nächstes, würden wir mal reinbitten, The Viper, The One and Only und Doubt, bitte. <lacht> Kommt. Also The One and Only Doubt, he's also <lacht> great. Hi guys. The Viper, The Genius. And so doubt. now we're going to switch to English. <laughs> yeah, take right, a seat. Nice to meet you. So that's now your, this that's, is that's your probably guys' microphone. The first yes. time for a lot of people to actually see you in real life. Yes. It's impressive. Yes. I think it's impressive. It's I'm actually not an impressive. actual snake. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. But uh, uh, the, 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 the thing, like, my biggest surprise was actually this doubt is way bigger than I thought. Yeah, just too short. It's not, my size is normal. For normal human being, they're just little guys. <laughs> So how how are you guys feeling? You've been here for a week. You came over. You were invited to Nidhi's Cup. You're playing every day. Are you fit? Are you uh, are you looking forward to this game? Is it more fun for you, or is it just are you are you always in competitive mode? Well, I'm I'm usually a fan of masterpieces and having a fun, a little bit of fun. But yeah. uh, I have a chat with foreign team for our first match. We are yeah, we are, oh, we are yeah. definitely competitive. Yeah, the first that. match uh, we're we three are gonna uh, team up, and I think it's gonna be great. What do you had a chat earlier on? You you already have of a plan? Secret strategy and everything. Yeah. No way! Yes. Yeah. We're not, well, we're I not feel messing left out. Why wasn't I invited <laughs> to this no, chat? No, no, no. <laughs> we'll have our own when we play the two. Yeah, you probably have this own WhatsApp group, and I'm not invited. And everybody's <laughs> yeah, we going. Have we're really planning for a week. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going drinking tonight. I'm the only one who's not going. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, what else is there to say? I mean, it's just it's amazing. Like, how 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 have you guys um you have you been following Rage of Empires at all? I mean, you've been part of the show a few times. Yeah. So and you you stream a lot as well. So also yes. for everybody out there, you can definitely you must follow Doubt and Viper on their own Twitches. Um, you have been on break now on your own Twitch. So what what do you think? Is it still it does it does it like is it is it good for you anyway just to do like uh to be at Nelly's Apartment Cup and then be off like for a week or is it does it Well, obviously, it's not ideal with, for for work since I do it full time. But yeah. uh, of course, still, this, we don't get the chance to have these land events with Edge Vampires very often. Yeah. And uh, just the atmosphere and everything in in the apartment and everything when we're playing and hanging with the friends is just uh, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, yeah, wouldn't miss it. All right, and that uh, you you came all the way from Serbia for this uh, thing, right? Yes, I did. But yeah, it's not that far. He came all the way from Norway. <laughs> He took like twenty <laughs> hours trip to there for oh, yeah. two hours. Oh, you, 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 I, you, I think you wrote even something about you had to like take different. Uh, uh, how do you? You on a boat? Flights. Oh, three flights. First a boat, then I had to stay over at the friends, and then three flights. Yeah. Then I got here. But this is really warm for you, probably in Hamburg, right? Well, it hasn't the, the weather hasn't been too, too great uh, so far? I was told it was really warm here and everything, but it's yeah. been a little bit rainy and a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's pretty warm compared yeah, that, to what I'm used to, at least. Yeah, that's de that's definitely Hamburg weather. So anyway, before we start talking about the weather, I'm really glad that you guys are here. So I'm really looking forward. You you three are going to be the first team. Oh, yeah. So do you have a team name yet? Is it going to be just I don
couple of minutes. Oh, yeah. But you're not even going to talk about the sieves? What, what sieves? No, it's a secret. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so thank you, thank you guys. Uh, we're going to see a lot of you, uh, a lot of you, you two today over today. And now I think we're going to introduce the next players. And uh, yeah, thanks, thank thanks a million. See you later. We see you later. <laughs> so now we have which are the next? Wow. We have Tato, MBL, and Zero Empires. Please welcome to the arena. Hey. Zach, Hi. how's it going? Hi, there you go. That's MBL. How's it going, so, Tato? So this is Tato, MBL, so and Zero Empires. For everybody who doesn't know everybody in, in person, so who is who? Just I'm Zero Empires. Zero Empires. I am MBL. You're MBL. I'm Tato. I'm Tato. All right, that's good. Okay, so everybody in line. <laughs> so uh, um, Zach, you've been uh, hosting, like you've been, you've been casting for I don't know, I, like I don't know if you noticed know because. Uh, the first, um, my first experiences with like Castle Age of Empires game were always your, your, on oh, really? your channel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. I used to, I used to, I even did your um, Fast Castle tutorial. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no. well done. Now go and get some berries. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that so many times. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm really, I'm really excited that you're here. Like, uh, I, I had my first, I, I think a lot of people actually had like their first experience with like casual, you know, casual casting of, or like watching Age of Empires games without getting too deep into like the whole pro thing. I really just always enjoyed the way you kind of uh, commentating it's very calming <laughs> I don't know. oh thank you so yeah. so i'm really glad to hear so um yeah wh what's going on with you like are you you still are you doing it full time or are you uh, kind well, of I'm, for me it's kind uh, of changed a bit yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. uh you're on the mic a little bit there right uh, yeah. yeah i kind of changed a little bit i was streaming a lot and i kind of stepped back from that in order to organize events rather than uh cast them so much yeah you know? yeah yeah so we're organizing some big tournaments and that's kind of what i see myself doing now Okay, yeah. yeah, cool. Um we have another special human being here. This is MBL, uh, which I was very uh <laughs> I was very uh, anxious. I, I was very um what, what do you say? Um wie heißt es nochmal, wenn man um, aufgeregt ist? Um, excited? I was very excited to meet. Cause really? It's, uh, yeah, because, you know, you have this image, uh, uh, the way you play. You're, everybody says, yeah, if you lame, you're, you play like MBL. But I, I really respect, <laughs> no, but I really respect, right. I, th I like the way you yeah, play. Yeah, I think you guys are all going to get along. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, also like a lame. very lame player. Yeah, yeah. I, well, sometimes, I, well, I if you. a sheep comes along my way, I'm not going to say, oh, well. that's yeah, perfect. Well. I really like that. Yeah, see, yeah, that's, see, that's yeah, my yeah. man. Yeah, he doesn't right. really like, he doesn't like laming. Oh, There's a thing called honor, so. Honor, okay. <laughs> now we're gonna see that. No. Anna doesn't win games, yeah. Um, but NBL, yeah. Can you tell me something about yourself? Like, how old are you? What are you doing? You you live in Norway as well, right? I am from Norway too. I'm 20, 23 years old. Yeah, and uh, I've been playing Age of Empires for about six six years now. Yeah. How did that happen? Like, because when you're twenty, I mean, you're you're pretty, you're way younger than me, and mm. uh, I obviously you know grew up with Age of Empires. Mm. But how did you decide to play that game? Was it just coincidence? Well, or? I I played it when I was uh, when I was a kid, and then I suddenly discovered I could play it online and then I just quit everything, every other game I could possibly <laughs> yeah. play and then I only played Age of Empires. Yeah. 100%. Okay, man, that's cool. Mm. Uh, Tato, we have the guy from Spain. Uh, uh, how's it going? That's great. Spain. It's good. It's like been that. great. Yeah. It's great. And uh, how long have you been playing Age of Empires? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I think I started like 15 years ago because my old, my older brother, he, he made me into the game. Yeah. And I, I was watching him playing when I was younger. Yeah, and he, I, I, I was like, this game is, seems fun. And yeah. I started to play more and more, and when I, I beat him, he stopped playing. Okay. And well, then I took like long break, and I come back like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. I can already tell. Like this guy, I don't know if you know, he really like he only plays one serve. He only plays Spanish. Yeah. So I can I can even tell just listening to you talking. He's I going like, it. oh, I love the I love sound it. of this. Agora. My my APM is rising just by <laughs> listening to your voice. Oh, what does what does Agora mean? Agora. Agora? Yeah, because they say the Spanish, they say Agora. They always say that. Agora? I think that's Portuguese, but I think it, seems, <laughs> and, it means like right now. But I'm that's not sure. Right now. Arvidal. That's great. Arvidal. That's great. I, I'm not sure though, but I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, and you, you guys are all here today. So um, yeah, you've been playing all week. How fit do you, do you feel fit? I, I heard you went out for a few drinks last night, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we A little fine. bird told yeah, me. I think we, we didn't okay. drink too much, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I think we are fit. Cool. So I'm looking forward to some exciting, tough games. Yes. And yeah, thank you, everybody. We're going to see you later in games. And yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a million, guys. Great. And uh, me, and, me and Zach will be ho hosting in a few minutes. Uh, I think we're going to go into a little short break and uh, we'll see you guys. So okay. now for something special, we're going to see uh, three games. Yes. Um, but there's also the possibility for a fourth game. Um, if we have time at the end left and the fourth game, you can vote what you're going to play. 
And there are three options for um, what we're going to play as the fourth game. Yes. And we've got some nice graphics prepared. And the, yeah, that's the first one. That's You can vote with exclamation mark, R-O-E, and then 3v3. That's the first option. So a 3v3 match. Which looks like 2BT, too. <laughs> that's the 2v2 option, the Viper and Tato versus MLB and Doubt. Exciting. Yep. That's 2v2. You can vote for that. Or... Marco, the the man with the West against Viper with a handicap. Yeah, That's and we will. Yeah, and the handicap is still to be concluded, but uh, we have a few ideas. They, gonna they're going to talk about. We have a few ideas. Yeah. I'm wondering why is my head so red already, even though I'm not playing. <laughs> like people yeah. who know this format, they know that when I play, I, I tend to get a red face. Yeah, but now I already have a red face because it's very hot. I don't know. So here you can see it over the course don't of the, mock me. the show, you can vote just exclamation point R O E space and then one v versus one or two versus two, or three versus three, and we're going to be excited for the result. And that's um, if we even make it to the fourth game. We can't promise that. Everybody knows it's going to be tricky if he's getting laming and yeah, swalling yeah. in and all of that stuff. So it uh, might take more time. Yeah, so we're going to stick with English right now? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with English, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go into a little short advertise. This, this, this must be so weird for like our u usual viewers to, yeah. to see us speak in English the whole show long, but it's kind of cool as well. Yeah. I feel very international. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I, 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 I'm so glad that I'm doing it with you. Yeah, I'm also great. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to crush you yeah. <laughs> if we're going to play. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're going to go into a short advertise, uh, advertisement break now, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we do. The first match is going to be... Um, on one side, Viper, Doubt, and myself, and we're going to play three versus three against MLB, Tato, MBL. and Marco. MBL, yeah. I'm sorry. MBL, Tato, and Marco. So here we see the player's roster. On the left side, the enemy, yeah. Marco and his boys. Yeah, and, 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 and to the far right side, that's your seat. It's still open, so you're going to run yeah, up I'm right when we're in the, in, the, in the ad break. Run up. And, and then they're all getting their hotkeys ready. Are you, yeah. are you how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You yeah, haven't been playing a lot lately, I heard. Well, but if there's a possibility to crush Marco, I'm always take it. Even if it's to help with the best players in the world, I'm going to take that. So I'm going to, I think it's going to be an interesting game. 3v3, we have a special oh, tactics I do coming up. And well, I think it's going to be tough. Very competitive. We decided on being competitive <laughs> to, to step back on well, the fun I mean, part I mean, and to step up the competitive but part. But it's, it's, it's one, of the, one of the coolest teams to be in. I mean, Dad and Viper have obviously such a great chemistry, I think. Yeah. And I, and and then, I hope not to ruin that. No, but I think they're really nice. I think yeah. uh, I think it's a perfect team for you because they're going to be winging you, they're going to be slinging you, and yeah. then you can you can you know the conquistadors are probably going to do their work. Yeah, it's going to be great, and you're going to be commenting with the Zero Empires. Yes, Zero Empires. Me and Zach are going to be commenting the whole thing. I hope uh, I'm, I'm glad that he's there because he obviously knows the game way better than me. I'm just going to try and make a few stupid jokes and yeah. uh, you know go with the flow. <laughs> So we're going to uh, go to a short advertisement and come back with the first match. All right, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Is that okay? Hey, hey, if you come. Oh, no, sorry, we're, I have to uh. uh, speak in English. So. Hi, this is me and Zach. We're sitting, or Zach and I, I should rather say. We're sitting here in the uh, casting booth, and we are almost ready to get this thing started. We just realized that we need to sign into Vibri. That happened right now. <laughs> and uh, I think um, you know, you're- They're in Medieval Siege, I think, right? They're probably in Medieval we'll, Siege. We'll yeah, find, yeah. Them. We uh, find them. One way or another, <laughs> we'll find them. And uh, yeah, me and Zach are just kind of getting, yeah. uh, getting into the mood, getting into the vibe here, having a little chat. And uh, looking forward to the game. German keyboard, man. I don't know where the question mark oh, key yeah. is. It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> we would go without the question mark. All right. So we need the password. Yeah. So can we see what's going on upstairs? Can we just see the live feed? What's going on? Are they, are they getting ready? Oh, they're getting set up. Look. They're getting set. There it is. Oh, perfect. Man, so. I'm excited for this. This is a really cool experience <laughs> yeah, to be in this kind of situation, right? It's uh, much better than sitting at home. <laughs> There we go. We We're go. in. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm really new to. To. to I'm still kind of new to Vubli. It's. It's still a, a, a book on mysteries for me. I, okay. I really don't understand it. I still. I never. I don't. It doesn't go into. Why can you use like the 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 sound taunts in Vubli even though you're not. Ah, uh, you can toggle that. It is a. It's just a feature, I guess, of yeah. Vubli. But I think for the competitive community, Vubli offers so much more for them. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like you know saving the recorded games, yeah. making them publicly available. Yeah. Um, and then all the spectator features, which you get here as well, yeah. which obviously help for us as, as wanting to cast the games as well. So 
I think for the competitive community, it's the place to be for them. Yeah. Yeah, why well, we can just actually pick up our little chat that we were just having while they're while the players are getting okay. ready while we were, were just talking off camera there because obviously we, we it's the first time we're meeting each other yeah. and we have a lot like uh, to talk about. I mean, it's just you were just saying uh, like Zach was just saying it's 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 actually kind of amazing that this game right now is is is, is su such and such a hype. Right? It's almost yes. at the height of its uh, whole, yeah. whole, yeah. whole thing. Uh, but but it's still it's such an old game. I mean, it's it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's I mean, crazy. It's, it's how old is it? Twenty years old. It's nearly twenty. Nearly twenty, 20 years I mean, old, and now yeah. it's just it's, it's it's kind of exploding. It was yeah. the Age of Empires one twenty anniversary last summer. Yeah. And then Age two came out in nineteen ninety nine. So next year we'll have the Age two twenty anniversary as well. Yeah. Twenty year anniversary, and that's just it's amazing. I was saying to you, uh, we were in Cologne wearing Age of Empires t shirts, and yeah. people were stopping us in the streets yeah. saying, "Oh, you're wearing Age of Empires yeah, t shirts," yeah. and. You know, in Germany especially, like yeah, the yeah. game is huge here. Yeah, for for me, it's really it's fun, one funny thing is I haven't even said this often, like even on, on Rage of Empires, but uh, it's funny. I have I have a few like friends who are like in the music industry, and okay. some of them are actually kind of kind of famous, uh -huh. and they watch our format, and they're all like, oh, wow. they're, but for them, it's still kind of like a secret because they, they they think maybe they're going like, you know what? I, I watch every episode of Rage of Empires, <laughs> and this is like this really famous guitarist, like, and I'm going like, you uh, need to tell the world about no, this. No, I, I, I'm going like, yeah, but they, I'm, then they go like I don't know it's Age of Empires I, mm. I don't want to be a nerd I'm going like no you're not a nerd no. it's amazing just Nowadays, embrace it, it. Yeah. embrace it it's man. cool to be a nerd now yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then th these guys are starting to like write me tests going like so oh, you should have you should you should have put some honors there man yeah. the, the honors were, were, yeah. would have been the better choice and I'm going like Jesus okay yeah. everybody's totally nerding out about well I mean I know there's some very famous people who play Age of Empires who are on the lowdown as yeah. well. Give us some names. Oh, I can't give you names. Yeah, me too. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't do it. But they're out there. Um, and they're, you know, you'd probably be surprised. George Clooney. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, he, he loves I get a age. message from him every weekend. Yeah. Hey, Zero, you want a game? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm busy. Sorry, man. But He always wants to play Dark Forest. Like That's just uh, kind of every boring. time. Yeah, every, it's just, Clooney and his Dark Forest. You just... You can't get it away from. So what's going on? We have him. Um, so this is the movie. So you kind of basically just wait until they start the game. Yeah, they, the, they are they're in control right now. So once they're ready, they can launch. We just sit back, relax, and wait for it to start. Yeah. Um, but maybe we can go through the teams. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure who's with who right now since I didn't look at the paper. So I, I have that information, Zach. Thank Good. you for handing that over to me. That is perfect. <laughs> we are a great team. We have MBL and um, Nilly and... Um, Marco, they're playing okay. as a team, and we have so this is Marco here, right? Yeah. Okay. MPL. No, no it here. can't be Nilly. Yeah, it can't be Nilly. No, there's that. It's ah Marco Tato on MBL. So Marco, okay. Marco's uh, here PS3 Udo. Uh huh. Yeah, that, that's one of our guys. Like he, he, he like Marco, me, Mara, and Florentine. Oh. We normally do do the show. He's pretty good. He's got like you can see his rating. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, just just real quick. Bef yeah. oh, I don't know if they're gonna start. Um, we need to get the spectator overlay. I've just realized we don't have it. Uh, are they gonna see it from this PC? I um, guess they are, right? Yeah. Normally, yeah. It should. Did we forget to do that? Yeah, um, we probably forgot to do that. It's okay. We can get that real quick. Um, it's kind of weird using a <laughs> German keyboard, but yeah, we. Oh need yeah, to... yeah, yeah. It's just the other way around. So on Vubly, you can get a spectator overlay. Yeah, which... we've been trying to get that for oh. ages. But we oh wait, never no, got... my Vubli. bad. It is there. It is there. It is there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank God. Yeah, no, I, I didn't see it. I clicked on here and I was like, oh, where is it? But no, it is there. So that's perfect. You guys, are, you guys are set up. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> I'm kind of relieved there, actually, because we really, really put... <laughs> I, I, sometimes we kind of, we you know, forget to take care of things, but this yeah. time we actually prepared. Start the game already! Oh, that, was, that came out. <laughs> yeah, can, uh, we have a sound in here. We, get, we have sound. That's good. Game was not rated. <laughs> Reasons ratings were turned off. Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, so MBL is playing with Tato and Marco. This could be very interesting. And I think Dart and Viper are probably just going to do their thing and then sling. Yeah, so with these teams, uh, I mean, Tato is kind of on his own here because his teammates are on the other team. If you look at where the, the Tyrants are, yeah. you've got Viper and Doubt uh, from Tyrant, and then you've got Tato playing with MBL, who's from Aftermath. So there's a little bit of rivalry, but for this game, they have to put that behind them. Yeah. And they have to team up, do their best. Uh, but who is the better player here between, uh, is this Florentine? Yeah. And that, Marco? Definitely Marco. Okay. Yeah. Florentine is, I'd say, slightly better than me on, like, in an on an average base. Uh -huh. uh, 
I'd say maybe right now I might have a bit of an edge because I, I just play more often. Okay. I'm kind of in training and Florentine is kind of uh, lately is taking a bit of a liking to uh, Warcraft. Oh, <laughs> so he's, he's that's kinda, a classic yeah, though. Yeah, he's kind of shifting. He's very good at micro. Like he's okay, way better okay. at uh, microing than I am. Um, also, he is actually kind of better at macro as well. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, I'm kind of, I, I won the last game. I think the last two games I won against him. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of maybe a bit in the a bit ahead right now. But in general, I, I would actually say that Florentine is a better player okay. than I am. But I think that's one of the nice things about Age of Empires because you have someone like uh, Leary, who's a, a young guy who's sort of come up to the top in Age of Empires yeah. in the last year or so. Yeah. Um, and he's extremely like fast. He's one of the best micro players in the world. Yeah. Um, but he can still be beaten by someone with a better strategy. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what makes Age of Empires so great because you have this strategy which can win out in the end. It's not necessarily about how fast you can click the keys, yeah. but it's about the overall strategy and how you adapt as you play. Absolutely. Um, and so if, if uh, Florentine is perhaps a better player than you mechanically, mm -hmm. Um, you can still win if you have the better strategy. All right. So let me, wh why is this not starting now? This oh, so they're in the lobby right now. Okay. So what they see on their screen right now is the game lobby. Um, and we're waiting oh, for they're them doing to the start. Yeah, ah, they're setting right, it all up. Right. But we can't see that. So we have to wait until it launches and okay. then we can see when we get in. Ah, okay. The, that's the yeah. only time that we can actually check the service. Yeah, stuff like exactly. That. Oh, okay. Um, all right. I was just getting kind of, uh, uh, I'm just so excited to see this. <laughs> so kind of, uh, it will start when it starts. Here. I mean, we got to get this going soon. Um, yeah. So let me uh, finish off that. So um, I'm going to tell you a bit more about Marco. So Marco mm -hmm. is definitely a very good player. He's a, he's a decent, I think he used to be a lot better, okay. but he, also through the format and through the, through the thing that we started to, uh, um, play this game again he, he, he kind of got back into it as well okay. and uh, it took us about 14 games to beat him 2v1 wow. <laughs> so I mean, uh, that, yeah, yeah. it was a long road but then we got it and then we won a few times actually and then he kind of you know it was kind of actually it was kind of we were easily winning not easily but we were actually <laughs> in the 2v1 yeah, 2v1. yeah, yeah. so it kind of and then he actually got back now he's, he, sometimes he streams himself as well okay. um, so I think he's really in training right now and I think he's right now he's probably the best that he has been since I know him okay so, okay uh, so I mean we probably have to give the edge to Viper Doubt and Marco then yeah, but we'll see how it plays out because anything can happen and the game is starting now yeah. so we're going to be in the game mit dem Blinken, we say das schon. Danke. and we're ready to go all right. Hopefully. Are we in? Yeah. Ah, great. This is finally. Here we go. It's happening. Lads. It's happening. Okay. Yeah, this will we'll switch. I think we tested it. Come on. Here we go. There we are. We're in. With the overlay Perfect. and everything. Yeah, and we have the overlay, which is brilliant. So we're here with the first game of the day. And finally, uh, guys! We're ready to go. I, I should be more hyped. Hashtag kalte <laughs> Finger! Hashtag kalte Finger! <laughs> I can't believe it! It's happening, finally. <laughs> Alright, this is this is a terrible goal. Just to... Yeah, so uh, we're looking at Viper right now. Mm -hmm. um, he was the host of the game, so we're straight in on him. He's playing the red as the Indians, um, and he's obviously got Doubt and Marco on his team. Uh, Viper here is actually on the flank. So he is on the uh, far west of the map. He's on the flank. Mm -hmm. And then we go down to the south. Uh, in the yellow, this is Marco. Mm -hmm. uh, the, no, sorry, no, no it's not is, Marco. This is Florentine. My yeah, bad. This is Florentine, this is Florentine, which is good. He's pocket and, and Spanish. He's playing Spanish. That's yeah. how we know, right? So a Spanish trade. <laughs> very good absolutely uh, if we get to that part of the game then mm -hmm. the Spanish trade is is definitely a really valuable thing it's, to have in team games it's 33% more gold isn't it it is yeah. um, and that's huge because yeah, yeah. gold in, in the late game is so valuable yeah, if you have gold and your opponents don't you can afford to make big expensive units yeah. big siege units uh, your unique units which cost gold and generally the units that cost gold are the better units. Yeah. And so if they get the Spanish trade going, they're going to have more gold and they're going to be in a better position, basically. Uh, but there's a long time until that really matters since there's a lot of gold on the map. Um, so and then on the right side in the teal, we've got Doubt and he's playing as the Mongols here. And I think this is really nice, actually. It's a great combination, I think. Indian, Spanish and Mongols. And, and by the way, we, we, we can't let, leave it unmentioned that Florentine actually went for the color yellow. Ah, he with took the Viper Vipers in his team. I mean, that? that is disrespect. That is disrespect. That is full disrespect. To the max. But, uh, you know, that's just the, that's the kind of guy Viper is. He, got, he, goes for, he takes one for the team and yeah. then he plays with red. But uh, yeah, He's definitely taken one for the team, but um, 
we'll, we'll see how the game plays out. He might have to carry this game on his on his back, so we'll see. But uh, honestly, I like the fact that we have Doubt and Viper on the flanks. Mm -hmm, yeah. We have them on the edge, and that means that, that Florentine can't be rushed mm -hmm. so quickly. Uh, he's not going to be beaten by, um, you know, like, let's say, MBL or Tato very yeah. quickly. Uh, and that means that they Please have a little bit more time mm -hmm. to, to build up, and he has more time to get going. And, it, you know, he looks like he's off to a good start here. He's on a pretty standard build order, bringing his first boar in. He's got four on the wood. Uh, and that, to me, says, you know, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. See, a lot, got a little banter going there. Nice boar lure, Marco. That's what he says. Seems like Marco seemed to... Yeah. Might, might have uh, messed something up. Well, that's on the other side. Should we take mm. a look at Marco now? Absolutely, yeah. All right. So we're going to jump to Marco. He's in the north, and he's in the purple. And oh, yeah. that is the boar lure they're talking about <laughs> uh -oh. right there. <laughs> I mean, I, even I can do better than that. <laughs> Yeah, you, I kind of want to get that ball under the town centre, yeah, yeah. but it's okay. Maybe the nerves. You think he's well, maybe, maybe Marco so forgot that you can actually drop, force drop food, you know? Maybe he just thinks that you can. You have to, you know, take the whole ball and then bring it back to the TC. Yeah, it's an efficiency play. play. If yeah, you yeah. can take the whole ball without walking, it doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, and he's, what's, what's going on? He's here? housed. He's, he's, uh, he's not got population oh, room, that so he's is sloppy rushing from house. Marco, yeah. Well, he's got it now. Um, so yeah, he's actually on the flank, and he's versus the Viper. Mm -hmm. So how do you think this is going to play out? Well... First of all, I mean, I think that Viper's probably going to play uh, just to men at arms and okay. uh, maybe rush the flank. And I think probably they're going to try and let Florentine boom and sling him maybe even okay. to build conks and to maybe even set up the Spanish trade and anticipate that it's going to go to him. That was a very detailed response. I feel like you've listened in to some kind of team meeting here. You got some insider info. Oh, no, I, I, actually, I, actually not. No, I think just, that sounds like a good strat. Yeah, I think, I think that think sounds so. like a good strat. Uh, from what I can tell, they want to win, like seriously want to win. Yeah. So expect them to uh, to not go easy here. Exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of Marco's map too much. I mean, it's not too open, but he's got this gold here, which is forward. Yeah. And if Viper does rush him, then this is an area which he can push and, and attack. Absolutely. Yeah. And his, a and his tower here would be here. great. Like down there, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, even on the right side of this wood line here, mm -hmm. he can get a tower there and push the villagers away from the wood and mm -hmm. allow him to enter in towards his uh, town center. Uh, in the pocket position for their team, uh, they have MBL, he's playing in the green, and he's playing as the Spanish as well. So we actually have um, two Spanish players on in the game, one on each team here. So MBL mm -hmm. playing from the pocket, he's gonna have to support Marco. Yeah, he's got to help him out, and um, we'll see what he does. He might go for the conks, yeah, but he might feel like knights might be a better option since they are a little faster. Yeah, you don't need to get the the stone to build a castle. Well, yeah, um, he has three um, uh, three farms already, so that that would might might in, that's very early, right? Three farms even, um, even well, before the second boar is gone. Trying to keep my bearings here because um, you know you're looking at players uh, such as Marco a bit lower, and then you're looking at someone who's like MBL who's you know, top of the game right now. Yeah. So uh, it's fairly... And who has idle villagers. It's fairly normal for the pocket to do this since he's going yeah. for a fast castle. Mm -hmm. So if we compare it, uh, MBL here, if we compare him to Florentine, um, well, Florentine's lost a villager. <laughs> and, Jesus, um, what is he doing? He's not having a good time. You can see he's got four sheep still uh, alive and MBL on his side, two sheep left, nearly gone. Yeah. Um, and he's way ahead in terms of the progression to the castle age mm. here. And yeah, lastly, you're right, actually. I, 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 I totally forgot that uh, he, as Pocket, you, you usually play um, Fast Castle. Yeah. That's why he has the, the, the farms, obviously. Yeah. So. yeah. And uh, we'll take one look real quick over here. Of course, here. yeah, yeah. Tato as well. We've not seen him yet. Do, you, do your thing. It. What, do you, what do you think of the map? Uh, well, in general, I mean, at the moment, what I'm seeing, if we look at the minimap, is, is a team wall coming in for the uh, team to the north, mm -hmm. um, Tato, MBL, and, and Marco here. They're starting to join their bases together. Mm. And I think they've got a really good map for that because the trees work well for them. Mm -hmm. You see they've got good tree cover on the front, yeah. and they're starting to wall it up already. That's pretty good, yeah. So... They want to get safe and secure in the game. They don't want to be rushed through the middle and, and caught by surprise. Uh, and so they're really taking the time to wall it here. And I think that's a really smart thing to do, especially in a team game like this. Florentine, I see, is walling too. You see that in the yeah, you, yeah, he always... Oh, this is, this is, all right, let me tell you something. <laughs> you got some big let walls going on here. <laughs> this is a typical Florentine wall. It, it, for some reason, he never kind of figured out how to efficiently uh, wall efficiently. Okay, we got to drush here from uh, Viper. Yeah, as I, as I anticipated... Oh, look at this. He quick walled it. So close. He needs to get a villager from the farm to build this house. Otherwise, yeah. Viper's going to break through. And, well, it's, and I might it's, add that as that was exactly what I anticipated. Yes, I was going to say the same. Thank he you. has gone for the Drush <laughs> Men at Arms play. 
and it's working because now he's pushed him off the gold. Not mm -hmm. that he's on gold yet, but he's coming in toward the wood line. And I've got to say, Marco's doing well with the quick walls here, but he's just yeah, not... Yeah, but he didn't build... He should have finished the he's house. He's not finishing yeah, them, yeah. exactly. The same here as well. If he'd have completed this wall, Viper's mana arms would have been useless. Yeah, yeah. They would have had to go somewhere else, and the rest of the map is walled. Yeah. Absolutely. So Viper's doing good damage here, and we can see on the overlay, uh, right now Viper's only killed one unit, but it's not always about just how many kills you get. Mm. It's about delaying the villagers, slowing them down, yeah. uh, forcing them to go idle, uh, maybe making them go to farms when you want them on wood, for example. Uh, and this is really good for Marco here. He has walled in these villagers again, so they're pretty safe. Does lose one on the outside, but I'd say he's doing a really good response to this. Okay. He, he's reacting in the right way. And this could have been a lot worse had he not walled this wood line up. And uh, why, why not Palisades? Why, why houses? I mean, they're oh. quite expensive. Well, I mean, you need houses anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, houses, you know, there's two two tiles. They're, they're, they're four, two by two. Whereas a Palisade is one by one. Mm. So just a quick house will cover more area. And yeah. Yeah. But well, it kind of looks cooler if you do with Palisades, right? That's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but here you see, he only needs to that's build one house, house yeah. and instead of building two Palisades, for example. That's another trick that I actually kind of learned from watching the Viper. When sometimes, you, when I have a mill and you have like one tile in the middle, you know, when, when kind of like your bushes go around and you have one yeah. free tile that Puts you stand the inside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because the, the, they're safe from scout rushes or whatever. And speaking of scout rushes, yeah. uh, we have Doubt here in the teal. He is on the flank versus Tato. So this is a really high... Uh, tier matchup on the right side, yeah. but the scouts, like the men at arms, they can't do damage if you're walled up. Yeah. And MBL here, he's trying to close this wall. It's going to be too late. But is Doubt going to get in? I think he's well. He's got to get in there, surely. Uh, if he can't and get in here, he'll get around well. the top, and that villager is is toast. He's a goner, yeah. And this is great now for Doubt and Viper's team because hitting the pocket player, slowing the pocket player down while they're going up to the castle age is yeah. is really valuable. Yeah. Because that's going to hurt them. Um, and speaking of of MBL going to the Castle Age. It looks like he's, yeah, he's on stone. So he probably will be going for Conquistador here. Yep. So killing some Vils now is going to hurt his ability to make Conquistador when he gets to the Castle Age. Mm -hmm. Let me see if he quick walls the stone fast enough. I don't know if he's anticipating that to go there, but... Uh... And on the other side, you've got a little aggression from Tato coming in as well uh, against Doubt over here. Some archers, uh, which is pretty typical. He's playing the Mayans, of course, so cheaper archers here. What's with that tower there? Why did he place it by, by the berries? Uh, he probably was getting pressured or he saw the units coming and he put it down just to like... Protecting your food is really important, right? Yeah. I mean, at the moment, the back of his base feels a lot more secure. As it turns out, it's not because Tato's going to walk straight under the tower yeah. anyway. That's why I'd say maybe down there a tower would be more efficient. And he's going, going for he's, a tower he's, he's now. One, yeah. He is going for it. Oh, look at that. How many is he going to get macro. Yeah, he's bailing on the tower here. These archers, they have fletching, so they're doing a lot of damage. And these villagers, two, three dead villagers already. Yeah. Doubt has to run. There's no way he can complete this tower. It's only on 28%. So, got to get back. That's setting Doubt back a little bit. Um, well, remember, MBL even buying stone, so he really wants to get Castle up. Oh, so yeah, you're he, right. As soon as he hits Castle Age, yeah. And uh, Doubt is taking a lot of stone as well, which says to me Doubt also would like a castle. Um, but at the moment, he's feeling like the tower's probably necessary step to defend his base. Mm. Uh, so. And also, I mean, he has to, when he wants, if he wants to build TCs, he mm. needs to get back the 100 stone that he spent for the first Absolutely. time as well. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, with MBL already buying stone, that's going to make the price of stone at the market higher, which mm -hmm. means if Doubt has to buy stone now, he's going to be paying more. But we should be seeing MBL uh, throwing down his castle fairly soon. It looks like he's sending the villagers to Marco. Marco yeah. This is a smart play. You know, he's going to come over here, put the castle on the front, yeah. and that's going to protect his gold. It's great, yeah. So really good team play from these guys there. I like to see them working together. So we see Florentine's going for bloodlines now. We do, and that means knights from the pocket. Uh, yep. He's playing as the Spanish, so Spanish knights, very capable knights. They have fully upgraded paladins, yep. um, but no conquistador from him. And this could be, it could be a concern because knights, while they're faster, you can make knights faster than you can make conquistador. Yeah. Um, the conquistador, once they have, you know, six or seven conquistador, yeah. they can take down knights very yeah, easily. Yeah, one shot. Right? And he's very good at microing them too. Absolutely. Good. Can, we, can we check the wall? Did he actually fully wall this? I, I love Florentine's walls. I just want to it, check if it this is... Closed. Okay, 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 okay. But, it, you know, part of me thinks maybe he should have walled over here to this way. Yeah. And then he would have been up toward the Viper if Viper had walled this way. Yeah. Um, it's a big walling job, but it's probably not much bigger than what he's done here already. 
Yeah. It's classic Florentine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a, a guy who plays in, in my stream quite a lot, and he's well known for his walls. It, no matter how unwallable the map is, he yeah. will find a way to yeah, wall it. Find a way to you, yeah, you've got yeah. to love those kind of players, right? Uh, I, I, I have a little funny story. I have, a, I have a player, like a friend of mine, when we started playing like ages ago, when I was like 16 or whatever, we had this like little... Um, you know, local area network party where we just, you know, brought our PCs and yeah. played six to six guys sitting there uh, playing all day. And then I was playing Age of Empires one one night with him. And uh, I, I'll try to make this quick. And he was really doing very bad. He's really low points. I'm going, and I checked his place. And I'm going, what are you doing? And he only had like a few farms and like a few lumberjacks. And I'm going, what, what are you doing? Why, why are you not building villagers? Yeah. He says, and it turns out he only uses women to gather berries oh. and only men to, to do <laughs> to lumberjacks. Yeah. And it's like his principle. He just yeah. said, no, I'm not going to send uh, women to chop yeah. wood. I tried to so do the Henry VIII strat once. What's Every that? female villager that comes out of the TC, divorced, beheaded, she dies, died, she dies, and then divorced, she can survive. And <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> But um, all right, sorry. sorry. Yeah, we have, what, we, what's we going on, on here? We were t- we we're, we're, we're talking too much bullshit. So these <laughs> scouts from Doubt are in um, Marcos. So Marcos very being penetrated. No, that's Doubt down there. This right is uh, this is Doubt we're mm-hmm. looking at now. And I got to say, uh, Tato is dunking on Doubt right now. Look at this. Doubt bottom score of the game. Wow. Tato top score of the game. Doubt, as we said, he's trying to get that castle, uh, yeah. but he's had a hard time against well, the he's raiding. Cl- here. He's cleaning this up though now. Finally, he'll clean it. But the you know the damage has already been done mm. you know he's been denied this gold he's been denied his wood line he's had to rebuild his wood over here and look at that mm. waiting to come in a massive group of archers from Tata. and this is the problem you see when you make a castle it slows you down so much he has to get to the castle age he has to get the stone yeah. and then he has to build the castle before he can even make a unit yeah. meanwhile you've got Tato with a huge number of crossbows yeah. on the field cleaning up villages upgrade just coming in do you think uh, Dad is going to even try to go Mango Dai now or is he just I mean he, he has to do damage control well I'm right? surprised that he's even thinking about going Mango Dai in the first place mm. because it's a very unusual thing to do in the castle age uh, Mango Dai in the, in the Imperial Age is essential but in the Castle Age you have the option to go Knights or Crossbow as the Mongols yeah. um, very strange decision by doubt uh, questionable decision making <laughs> oh so we see actually yeah, okay, a castle here. and what, what's Viper doing now by the way well I mean, Viper he, was sitting he, at home and yeah. he's still at home right now looks like Viper is I mean he hasn't been attacked right I mean he yeah, I mean, not oh, he's over here as well okay All right, there he is. yeah he's got two armies one at home one raiding NBL He's been oh, quite a, quiet. To there's be a mangana. We have to, he has to watch out for this mangana from MBL. Let's see if he can out micro. Of course, he can out micro it, but will he? I mean, even the awareness that he knows that that mangana is yes. coming. Like, I mean, he's 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 at home and then doing yes. this at the same time. I mean, that's amazing. Every time I see yeah. this, I, I'm I'm amazed. Well, that's that's part of the skill of being a top player. You you they're always moving their army around the map. Yeah. Always, they never stop moving their army. It should never stand still at any yes. point in the game. Um, and they're always watching, so they'll, he'll see the Mangano. We can go to his point of view, look, we can click on him, Fog of War, we can see what he sees. Yeah. Um, he's got full upgrades on these uh, crossbows right now, except the plus two defense, mm-hmm. and MBL has the repairs on the Mangano. Yeah, so yeah. it's very difficult for Viper to kill that. And he took a few shots there, right? I mean, yeah. He took a bit of damage, yeah. yeah. But he's going to back away, maybe look for another angle here, while at home... We've got MBL with some Conquistador trying to raid Viper back. Yeah. Uh, but interestingly, yeah, Viper playing quite close, playing quite defensive. Like, um, he's still on one TC, right? No, it's two TCs, TCs for Viper right now. But it's unusual to see the Indians just on two TCs. Mm. Normally, you want to see the that? Indians. Because the Indians' villages are cheaper. Okay. Uh, every age, the, vill- the villages get cheaper. I think right now, they're only costing 40 food instead mm-hmm. of 50. Okay. So it's very easy for the Indians to boom on three TCs and make military at the same time. Okay. Because you're saving so much food. And in comes MBL. Going to start raiding this wood line, yeah, pushing Viper those, away. Those classic Conquistador one, one shot. They're so strong. Kills. I mean, it's so easy to raid with that unit. And the nice thing about the Conquistador is the mobility. Yeah. This is the big advantage. You can always run away from the crossbow yeah. with the Conquistador. Yeah. And that gives you such a huge advantage. Like the movement speed, the, the mobility of the unit is maybe, so good. Maybe a few monks will be a choice for, for right now just to have a Absolutely. few defensive monks in there. Absolutely. Um, the problem is he doesn't have much gold mm. at the moment. Oh, yeah. He's struggling for gold. And he's building the marketplace as well. Probably that, that's... Oh, maybe. and he's got Tato here as well. Oh. Look at that micro from Florentine. Check him out. He's pretty good. But yeah, he might lose this though. Yeah, he's outnumbered, but he's doing some good damage here. He's lost one Conquistador. He's killed three crossbow. This is some good micro from him. This is really good. Yeah. He, he's always been pretty good at microing it. Yeah. 
He's even got the hill here as well, uh, as his numbers get low. But yeah, I mean, they're coming. Yeah, he's getting some backup going on now. Viper coming in. I mean, they could clean this up, but I, I think mean, they'll the, clean it. I it's not a very good trade, though, to be honest. And the, the, yeah, that wolf is kind of annoying. That's true. But I think what right now he needs to just close the gap. He needs to just run at the crossbow. Uh, don't worry about out microing them now. You've got yeah. 75 health on these crossbows. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Conquistador. The crossbow has 35. Yeah. So you just close the gap, run at them, and that you'll be fine. That wolf is going to survive this whole thing. <laughs> the I wolf might it. just walk away from this what, and, what, and scratch. What, why does Florentine not kill that wolf? <laughs> well, it's not doing much damage, to be fair. But this is a great example now of how a small number of Conquistadors can take out knights. Yeah. Marco comes in, bloodlines, plus two defense on his knights, yeah. and four Conquistadors will see him off. Yeah, yeah. They're an, amazing user. they're an amazing unit, man. I, I like to play them as well. I mean, they're just... Oh, this is a lot, though. Ah, it's Those a lot are, from NBL. What, what, what would you say... Like, I always struggle a bit, maybe for maybe for the, our viewers, maybe this could be interesting, especially the people who are not very, that, that experienced. Like, okay. I like to play Conquistadors as well, but I always struggle to find the right updates, upgrades. Like, for the what, Conquistadors? What, yeah, what do you think is more... Like, the, the defensive upgrades or is it the offensive upgrades? Well, you, you cannot say? upgrade their attack. Okay, uh, their attack can... is fixed at 16. Okay. Um, so the only way to upgrade that is getting the Elite Conquistador upgrade. Yeah. Um, but you typically don't do the Elite Conquistador upgrade because Paladin is a better choice for the Spanish ah, in the late okay. game. Okay. But in the Castle Age, the Conquistador is just unmatched, really, in its um, firepower. Do you think it's overpowered? They nerfed it a bit, though. I, I, well, I, I don't think it's necessarily overpowered. You just have to, you have to deal with it before mm. it becomes a problem. Yeah. Um, and if you can last long enough, you can take care of them in the later stage of the game as yeah. well. Um, but I think one of the most important upgrades would be um, the Bloodlines upgrade. Yeah. Because that's an extra 20 HP. And then, of course, if you're playing against Crossbow, you definitely want to get the defense upgrades, the uh, Archer defense upgrades. It's classed as an Archer unit. Okay. So you don't get the Cavalry upgrades, you get the Archer upgrades for the defense. Oh, okay. Um, well, let, let us see here. I'm, I've been asking too much private questions about my conquistador. So, what's going on <laughs> in this game? We have, um, I yeah. mean, Tato's is it's Tato's way ahead in scoring. He's killing he, it he's, right now. He's booming and he's attacking. So, he's doing a great yeah. job. He's going full crossbow, right? He's probably going to go Arbalest. Um, uh, he might upgrade to Arbalest, but he'll switch into uh, the plumed archers. For oh, yeah. The, the Mayans. Um, but you can't do plumed. This is the thing, right? Now he's doing the castle. It's much later than we saw Doubt doing his castle. Doubt obviously going for Mangadai. Yeah. But um, Doubt is not a few. playing well. He's only just getting wheelbarrow. Mm. This is really late. Yeah. Uh, the raiding from Tato slowed him down. And Doubt's just doing a classic Doubt thing right now, which is booming on four TCs. Yeah. He's like, right, I got raided. I'm just going to boom my way out of this. Yeah. Uh, but we got a little X here. We've got some action in the north side. Look at this. This is a big army from MBL and Marco, but they need to work together here. Yeah, Marco's not doing anything. Yeah, now he is. They could win this, I think. They've even got the oh, Mangan behind from, it. That's great from Viper there. And even Florentine's Micro here. He's picking off so much. Yeah, Florentine, he should go for the Mangan now, though, I think, and, and try to protect Viper's crossbows. But there, we get more in there. Now if I were, gonna, if I were Florenti up. now, I'd take my conks and just go straight to the Mangonel yes. to try and protect Viper. Viper got the Mangonel though, uh, he did take that out, but I agree, I think, you know, the Conquistador, they deal with Mangonels so well because, yeah. they, again, such high attack damage, 16 damage, Mangonel has 6 armor, they yeah, do 10 is. damage a, a shot, that's like, what, 4 shots to kill a Mangonel, so yeah. it's very, very uh, effective to use them that way. Uh, but it's kind of like... Um, a lot of action on this north side right now, and then you've got Tato and Doubt kind of having a little 1v1 yeah, in the south. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of my Florentine here. I think he's doing a great job. I mean, he was very excited, to be honest, to be fair. He was very, yeah. um, you know, he was very excited about this match, and he was, um, he, you know, he really wanted to play well. Yeah. And I think he's, he's proven that he can he can perform under pressure, because uh, the last few times when we had these bigger games, especially when Viper was playing and stuff, he didn't really manage to get his A game on, like, okay, uh, okay. Out, out of various reasons. You know, sometimes it's just not the, your day. Yeah, of course. And uh, so I'm really glad for Florentine and he's obviously he's, he's trying to try I think Pocket as well is very good for Florentine Absolutely. he likes to boom he likes yes. to play his conks and so yeah this, this I think that, like you said at the start I think that's the best place for him to be and I think for Marco as well he would have benefited from being in yeah. the pocket but what I'm seeing right now is you've got Marco and Florentine um Viper and MBL, they're having their battle. And then you've got Tato just crushing Doubt oh, at here, the we, moment. here we go. But here we, he this could is pick, good. He could this pick off good all of these if Doubt, doubt. sees it, though. Will he yeah. see it? Uh, it's, it's too, <laughs> he doesn't have ballistics. He doesn't? Uh, I don't know. He, he probably doesn't. It looked look yeah, like he, it. No, he, no. He probably doesn't. He's just built a university. So you're right. He's yeah. just built it now. 
But I mean, at the end of the day, even though Dad had a bad start, he was, in, in fairness, man, he was raided. But yeah. I mean, now he could use those Mangadai to just raid, just go into the economies, right? Yeah, it's it's difficult, though, because the Mangadai really isn't very good at this stage of the game. Mm. They need, the Mangadai is the, the one unit in the game that needs the most upgrades. Yeah, but you if they have it, they so are amazing. You many upgrades. Yeah. You need upgrades from the university, you need upgrades from the blacksmith, you need upgrades from the stable, you need upgrades from the ca- uh, from the castle, you need mm. upgrades from the archery range. Mm. You need five buildings um, and I think 12 or 13 unique upgrades to get these guys to the max. Okay. And he's still in the castle age right now. So he is not fielding a strong army when you consider that right here, you've got a trebuchet from Tato. He's taking out that castle and he's making plumed archers, which mm. are a semi counter to other ranged units because mm. they have really high pierce armor. All right. And what's going on with Marco up in the, up in the, the north? I think he's, they've, they've broken yeah. through. They're still going on here. This and they're defending this quite nicely. I think NBL and, and Marco have defended well so far. They've not taken too much economy damage, which mm. is the important thing. And uh, right now, with? I mean, Tato's team, uh, NBL's team, uh, they're definitely ahead I at mean, this stage of the game. What would, like, this is like, especially up here from Marco, what would you think? Like, is, is it maybe time for him to switch, or do you think he's just going to go Chevrolet, Chevrolet, or, or however you pronounce Cavalier. it? You know, the Cavalier. Cavalier, yeah. yeah. So he's probably going to do that, right? So it looks like he's saving his, 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 his knights. Yeah, I think it's a reasonable option for him. Uh, also the Gabeto for the Malians. Um, oh, yeah. Really strong unit. And that's something that he could use to raid with really effectively. Um, at the moment, though, I mean, I'm, I, you're right. I mean, Doubt is going for the raiding. Yeah. And I, that is the best use of his army right exactly, now. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because yeah, so he, he, he can't fight the army. He can't do much, but he can kind of support through hitting yeah. the economy of the other. Meanwhile, his own base is being obliterated, yeah. right? You see Tato finished the Arbalest. He's now working on the plumed archer upgrades. Um, we've got Bombard Tower coming in for MBL as well. He loves the Bombard Towers. Why, why would you build Arbalest and plumed archers? I, I, well, I don't really understand that. You have a big number of crossbows in the Castle Age. Mm. So if you have them, you may as well upgrade ah, them. Ah, right. So just to... So okay, it's, it, you know, you have maybe 30 crossbows. It's quite cheap to upgrade them to Arbalest. Yeah. You get a huge power spike when you do that. Absolutely. But understand. you still want to make the plumed archer because it's the better unit and yeah. overall. And, and he's doing the elite plumed archer upgrade now. And it's, they're, they're very fast as well. Yeah, I think they they're are. Very they good are. Good from ability. Uh, very fast, very high damage, and a huge potential to, to raid. But Doubt is crumbling under the pressure of Tato here. And I think this game is probably going to be lost with Doubt losing his whole base <laughs> and uh, Florentine and Viper being absolutely fine so it, it's certainly not looking great for him at the moment and there's the, the elite plumed archer versus the castle age mangadai plumed archer are, yeah. they, they didn't even lose one oh, not even a single plumed archer down yet and look, Viper switching to camels, obviously. Is he going to go Imperial camels? He has to. Um, it's his most viable unit right now. Um, obviously with Conquistador on the map as yeah. well. Attack bonus versus cavalry. This they won't perform well versus the plumed archers, though. Well, he's he, getting in there. He's, he's going to lose a, a lot of, of camels. Do, yeah, I think so too. But I think they, they really want to deny that castle. It's too late. The castle's probably going to go up here. Uh, maybe not. No, no. They got it. They got it. Florentine has got a, quite a few conks now. I mean, it's even more coming to the battle. But Tato, look at his KD. 103 kills, 59 deaths. And this is going to start snowballing for him at the moment. You know, yeah. he's just going to... He's not afraid of these Conquistador anymore. He's just going to run straight at yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, straight up the hill. Doesn't even care if it's uphill. He's going straight at them. And he just knows, you know, these, these plumed archers are too strong right now. Nothing can really contend with them. Are they the uh, fully upgraded now? or They are fully upgraded, yeah. yes. Uh, so, and, and while you're dealing with Castle Age Conquistador, Castle Age Mangadai, you've not really got anything to be scared about. Yeah. Uh, he should finish this castle. It's um, fairly well defended with his army. He just needs to bring some more villagers over. But and, this is a big yeah. problem for, for Doubt. And I think team. Doubt is dead, right? I mean, it, 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 it pretty much. much. Or he could. He's building a bit of wall there. That's very. That, that's 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 great. <laughs> well done. Well, there is that, actually that's a, that's a great that. piece of wall there. <laughs> is there? Yes, there what? is a reason for it. If you select a group of villagers and you right-click somewhere, yeah, they all just stand around in loose formation. Okay. But if you send them to build a wall, they'll all group around the wall. Ah. Wow, I actually learned something yeah. there. That's amazing. Um, and the, uh, yeah, because villagers don't have uh, military formations. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm, I'm probably never going to do it, but it's that cool. <laughs> it's good to know. But yeah, Dao right now is, is losing everything. He, yeah. He's got no army to fight this. He's losing his castle. In the north, they're doing so well up here. There's the GG. Oh, it's called. It's called. I was just going to say, yeah. Marco's done Frimba. He's got his plus seven attack. Yeah. 
These guys are in a really great position to assault Viper, but it's too late. It, it, they can't do it in time because, well, Gout's dead. There we go. I can actually really imagine that they would like to have a rematch, to be honest, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. GG. GG. Congratulations to uh, Tato, MBL, and Marco. I wouldn't have had them as the favorites no, in my mind. Me neither. But Tato just destroyed doubt that game. Okay, <laughs> oh, one sec. So, liebe Regie, können wir kurz uh, so, dass die uns hören? Dann frage ich die mal ein paar Fragen. Wir hören euch. Hey, yeah. hey guys, yeah. great match, GG. GG. So, what's what's the story, uh, Doubt? What was what was what was going on, Doubt? <laughs> Oh, oh no, this is how it works. I was misclicking so much because of the keyboard is not a standard one. Everything is a little bit on the right. <laughs> it's uh, like pre pressing everyone. the pause every day. Well, I saw you scaring the problem as well. You <laughs> press pause as well a couple of times. But yeah, and also okay. Tati. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tato, great game from you, I must say. I mean, um, that was pretty, everything was going pretty well for you. I mean, you, you went straight for the arches, went up to the plumed arches. Um, a lot of pressure on Doubt. So, I mean, pretty, pretty well played, I must say. Thank you. Yeah, I, I knew that that was Mongol, so if I let him get the Imperial Age with a lot of Mongols, I would probably die. So I had to pressure him as much as possible. And Florentine, I must say. Really good. Ooh. <laughs> well, I, I, I couldn't do much. but That I'm was great. Most trade profit. <laughs> Most no, no, trade no, no, profit. No, no, let so me, that's something. No, so guys, that's something. guys, let me say something. I want this on the record that I said this. I think Florentine played a great game. Um, he was very excited to play this, and I think uh, he really proved uh, he really proven that he can that he can perform under pressure. And pocket was great for Florentine. I, I, he would probably agree because for the conk play. Yeah. But hey, there was loads of conks on the map. Uh, very well microed. I think w together with Viper, especially in the in one of the early bigger battles on the left flank towards Marco. Um, really, you really complemented each other in the in the way you you both microed. I thought it was very good. I think you played very well. Thanks. And I want to say that uh, Marco, in the early game, he placed some very nice quick walls down. Nice early oh, barracks, cool. right? Uh, it yeah. was a really close defence against those men at arms. Yeah, I think he could have done it. My quick were like uh, 5 HP and uh, Viper deleted my first uh, barracks, deleted three houses. I think I lost about 300 or 400 wood. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, a, not, enough wood. Not, not enough wood, that's the problem I know. Um, so, Marco, one thing, I'd like to give you a little bit of an advice. Maybe, maybe I can give you like you a little... You give me an advice. Yeah, just I'm, a little tip. Like, I, I know you haven't been playing so long. I'm looking forward um, to it. There's a little tip. So if you build a house for a quick wall, it's better if you finish the house. You know, you just you know hit it a few times with the villager. So then the the, the opponent can't uh, destroy. Are we the playing house. against each other tonight? Or? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, well, even well, if we're doing it, I'm probably going to build proper houses and not just hit it <laughs> once. <laughs> we will see. We will see, bro. We will see. Get that hammer down. So I hope you guys had uh, some fun down there. So it, it was it um, good to cast and it was it fun to watch. What do you guys think? Absolutely, I think it the first, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Zach is just so good in casting. I think probably the first game was more about, you know, just, you know, getting to know each other yeah. and, you know, getting the basics of the game. But I think the second game, we're going to go more into the nitty gritty and, you know. Okay, do I don't know if I'm casting the next game. I don't um, know what the plan is. What, what's the plan, Marco, anyway? That's I think good. it's someone else for the next one. What's the plan? Uh, right now, um, we will do a short um, break and yep. then we will switch places and go for the second match. And who's that again? You have it in oh, your yeah. head. Oh yeah, I, I can uh, I can tell you. The second match will be Florentine and Jordan against Tato and Myra versus the Viper and Danny. Hey and we will be the casters. Neely and I will be the casters. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Great. So we'll see you after a short break, uh, liebe Zuschauer. That's how we say in German for dear viewers. And uh, yeah, so Zach, thanks for hosting this, this game. I had great fun. Yeah, hosting, me too. It was, it was really it good. Was, it was an honor for me. I think you and I will be hosting at some point later on again. We'll see. It, it, we will see. It will happen. So stay tuned. After this, we're going to go 2v2v2 and uh, we're all going to witness, witness Viper and me kicking ass. See you later. <lacht> Hallo und willkommen zurück aus der Werbung. Ich habe den Platz gewechselt, sitze jetzt hier neben den unfassbaren Nili. Danke, danke. Ja, ich glaube, 
Oh, ich bin so aufgeregt für das Spiel, weil ich, ich liebe halt so viele Sachen daran. Ne? Einmal Profispieler mit den Rocket Beans TV TV Leuten. Zwei gegen zwei gegen zwei, finde ich richtig geil. Und dann auch noch König des Hügels. Ich könnte nicht glücklicher sein. Ich bin wirklich gespannt, weil wir haben diesen Modus einmal, glaube ich, bisher in Rage of Empires ausprobiert. Da hat Mara gewonnen übrigens. Das war halt äh, sehr überraschend. Aber heute wird es ein 2 gegen 2 gegen 2 geben. Ähm, Donny wird zusammen mit seinem Idol Viper spielen. Mara wird mit Tato, der jetzt gerade ein unfassbares Spiel abgeliefert hat. Und äh, Florentin wird mit Jordan spielen. Und äh, ja, das, der Vorteil wird, glaube ich, da sein, dass sie sich beide als Einzige auf äh, Deutsch unterhalten können. Aber gut, Donny ist auch ein Native. Also, was glaubst du, wer hat da die besten Chancen? Ach, ich glaube, also Donny, Viper wird es gar keine Kommunikationsprobleme geben. Hm. Offensichtlich, Florentin und Marco haben schon zusammengespielt. Mara. Mara, genau. <lacht> und Tato mhm. er ist gerade alleine drüber gefahren. Ne? Der braucht keine Kommunikation, der braucht Plum Darcher und tötet einfach Leute. Ja, das, ich weiß halt nicht, also spielt man Gold Rush da etwas anders als Arabia oder ist es im Grunde genommen dasselbe Spiel aus dem Rush in boomt und macht äh, Fast Castle und. Wir haben ja gar nicht so richtig die Innen- und Außensituation. Ne? Wir haben mhm. jetzt ja praktisch beide Außen. Das ah, ist ja wirklich, du, hast ja überall, du hast ja überall Gegner zu jeder Zeit, ne? Von <lacht> daher ist es so, ich glaube, so König des Hügels, wenn man ganz früh, also ich glaube, wir sollten vielleicht erstmal das Format noch mal erklären, oh ja. für Leute, die noch mal reinkommen. Ähm, wir werden in der Mitte ein Monument haben und werden den Countdown runterlaufen haben. Und mhm. wenn der Countdown runtergelaufen ist, dann hat man das Spiel gewonnen. Äh, das ist halt genauso, solchen Mo so einen Modus haben wir ja, wie gesagt, wir haben den Modus einmal gespielt, aber wir haben auch den anderen Modus Zeitlimit auch schon gespielt, der genauso ähnlich funktioniert, nicht genauso. Also dort ist es, äh, bei King of the Hill ist es halt so, so wie du das Monument einnimmst und ähm, das nur noch 100 Jahre auf der Uhr hat und jemand anders nimmt es danach ein, egal wo es dann ist, ob es bei 60 Jahre, 40 Jahre, dann springt die Uhr, glaube ich, wenn du mich jetzt nicht berichtigst, zurück auf 100. Absolut. Ja. Dementsprechend kann man nicht nochmal hinlaufen und so die ganze Zeit irgendwie das auscampen, dann hingehen und sich das Monument schnappen, sondern es wird die ganze Zeit darum gekämpft und sie kämpfen ja sowieso um die Mitte, ja. weil das ganze Gold ist da schon. Also ich, ich bin da, ich bin wirklich gespannt, wie sie das spielen und vor allem die, die, diese Teams sind so unterschiedlich. Also von den dreien, glaube ich, ist, steht Donny mit am meisten im Saft, also am besten da und ähm ja, bei den anderen beiden, die nehmen sich, glaube ich, nicht mehr so viel. Florentin hat halt seine, seine eine Strategie, wird wahrscheinlich wieder Spanier nehmen. Und uh, that's it. Spanier sind auf den Settings ganz gut, weil potenziell, wenn man die Mitte nicht hat, möchte man natürlich Handel betreiben. Und Spanier Handelbonus trifft sich da auch ganz gut. Na ja, gut, wenn, aber kannst du im 2 gegen 2 gegen 2 handeln? Ja, wenn du zwei Ko Ecken kontrollierst hm. mit Spanier Bonus. Ist das eine Option? Und ich glaube, das ist eine mögliche Strategie, wirklich. Einfach die anderen beiden Teams sich komplett gegeneinander aufreiben lassen. Ja. Und dann, hinten kackt die Ente, dann nochmal dafür kommen <lacht> und das Monument wegschnappen. Apropos hinten kackt die Ente, ein schöner deutscher Satz. Wir bleiben auch in diesem Spiel auf Deutsch. Also dieses Spiel wird jetzt von Nili und mir auf Deutsch gecastet. Danach wird es, wie gesagt, ein Spiel geben von Dart und Viper, was wieder in Englisch passieren wird. Und am Ende, wenn wir das vierte Spiel noch schaffen, bisher sieht es gut aus, ähm, wir werden Nili und Jordan noch mal ein Spiel auf Deutsch casten. So. Die Ansage vielleicht noch in Englisch, nicht, dass die Leute jetzt verwirrt sind. So, um, this game will be casted in uh, German. The next game, the third game, will be casted from, um, of, uh, from? From? Bye. Va from, bye, bye. Thank you, bye. Viper and uh, Dart, and the last game will be casted in uh, German again by Nili and Jordan. So. Exactly. Ja, stimmt, wir haben jetzt jede Menge englische Zuschauer. Die Leute kommen richtig rüber, ne? Ja, 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 ja. Deswegen. Also, Ganz Leute auch von meinem Stream denken halt so, oh, was ist da los? Die wollen ja, sind ja gewohnt eigentlich, dass wir jetzt jeden Morgen auch durch, weiter durchpushen. <lacht> die kommen jetzt natürlich auch alle rüber und genießen hier die Show. Ja. Oh Gott, mein Englisch ist ja wirklich so eingerostet, merke ich das halt Das ist auch normal. Das ist bei mir auch, wenn ich eine Woche irgendwie, allein ich streame ja montags auf Deutsch, der Dienstag, die Begrüßung. Ich mich daran <lacht> verhaspel direkt. Es ist so wild. Ja, also, ich finde es aber wirklich so krass. Und also, deswegen nochmal vielen, vielen Dank, dass du halt uns es möglich macht, diese Profis hier äh, vor Ort zu haben. Und äh, das ist einfach, glaube ich, eine ne ganz tolle Geschichte, dass wir so zusammenkommen, mhm. Rage Empires und ähm, die Weltelite. Ja, ja also das ist für uns ein Genuss. Und äh, die Spieler waren ja auch hier, die finden das Format ja auch geil. Ich weiß sogar, dass die Empires, der wirklich kein einziges Wort Deutsch versteht, mit einschaltet. Und er sieht halt, wie viel ja, Leidenschaft hier in das Projekt <lacht> reinfließt. Und deswegen, alle waren begeistert. Ja, Leidenschaft ist auf jeden Fall da. Also ob jetzt 
Rage oder <lacht> Leidenschaft oder, auf Empires. Oder, oder, oder Liebe. Ähm, ja, wir warten jetzt noch darauf, dass die Spieler der Lobby joinen. Also, ähm, da müssen wir mal schauen, wie weit sie sind. Langsam kommen sie rein. Also, wir sehen jetzt, also ich finde auch die Ratings einfach, das ist, ist so aus der Hölle. Also ich sitze gerade da mit meinem 1500er Konto. Muss man dazu sagen, ich habe zu Hause noch ein paar Probleme mit Wubli, da ich im Hintergrund mal rausgeflogen bin. Ich habe eigentlich drei Spiele im Stück gewonnen. Diese aber dann wurden mir nicht anerkannt und ich habe sie als verloren bekommen. Deswegen bin ich jetzt 1580 anstatt 1670 oder sowas. Das klingt nach einer ausgedachten Geschichte. Das ist nicht ausgedacht, das ist genauso passiert. Donny sogar ist 1191, weil er nur in, Inter in der Intermediate oder in der New ja, Players Lobby. Wollen wir, wollen wir vielleicht einfach die Lobby abgreifen und schauen jetzt hier uns mal die Ratings an. Das ist wirklich <lacht> richtig brutal. Tato 2500, ja. Jordan 2300, Viper ist das höchste Rating, was es überhaupt gibt. Und dann Mara und Donny. Ja, aber bei Mara muss man dazu sagen, sie wird jetzt wahrscheinlich, sie ist noch gar nicht gerankt, sie hat jetzt das Intermediate ähm, Rating bekommen. Es gibt ja diese unterschiedlichen Rating. Formen. Ja, ja. Intermediate Beginner. Donny hat, glaube ich, ein Beginner-Match gespielt oder zwei. Mhm. Ja, drei, äh, fünf sogar. Und äh, zwei gewonnen, drei verloren. Ah. Und ja, deswegen wird, wird auch genau das angezeigt. Ich ja. glaube, der Sieg im Teamgame ist sogar mit mir zusammen. Ich glaube, da haben wir ein 4 gegen 4 gespielt. Der ich hat 19 hab... Punkte für ein Teamgame bekommen. Ja, am, Anfang, am Anfang kriegst du mehr. Echt? Die ersten zehn Spiele oder sowas kriegst du ein bisschen mehr, damit sich das schneller anpasst. Aha, das ist ja auch mal wieder interessant. Mhm. So. Jetzt müssen wir mal gucken. Ja, jetzt kommt, glaube ich, der Donny, äh, Florentin, der Letzte in, im Bunde. Wie stark schätzt, schätzt du Jordan ein? Der, den wir jetzt heute das erste Mal jetzt sehen. Mhm. Ähm, beziehungsweise auch Mara sehen wir das erste Mal. Und auch Donny sehen wir jetzt das erste Mal spielen. Aber wie stark schätzt du Jordan an, äh, ein? Wird er Florentin da durchziehen können? Oder? Hättest du mich vor zwei Wochen hätte, gefragt, hätte ich gesagt, ah, das Team wird nicht so gut performen. Mhm. Aber gerade im Cup hat er so gut performt, hat so viele Leute überrascht. Echt? Der oh. ist absolut, der spielt gerade auf Weltniveau. Ist er der Beste Deutschlands? Ja, natürlich gemein, dass <lacht> da du das rennt. genau mich fragst, ne? Ja, ist er. Ist er, okay. Ich reden. Danach kommst du. Ja. Also, ja, ich hab, ich, morgen kommt noch ein guter Freund von mir aus meinem Clan vorbei, Skittle nämlich. Heute ist er bei uns. Heute ist er schon da? Ja, der kommt, der ja. kommt heute. Dann komme ich vielleicht heute noch vorbei. Ja, ich habe schon die Hefeweizen kalt gestellt. Oh, da komme ich vielleicht wirklich vorbei. Dann machen wir das gleich. Pass auf, wenn du noch Hefeweizen hast, dann komme ich heute gerne vorbei. <lacht> Aber das Spiel startet jetzt. Ähm, ja, also ich bin sehr gespannt, welche Sifts hier genommen werden. Gold Rush, 2 gegen 2 gegen 2. Ähm ich weiß nicht, was da jetzt herausstechen soll. Also, was würdest du jetzt empfehlen? Welche Sifts sind da auf Gold Rush, neben den Spaniern, obviously, ähm, sind die Sifts, bei denen man, ja, die man nehmen sollte oder die man, äh, ja. Eine ne gute Frage. Natürlich ist jetzt die Sache, gehen wir jetzt für Völker, die sehr, sehr gut mit dem Gold arbeiten können, mhm. oder gehen wir auch auf Völker, die mit wenig Gold gut arbeiten könnten. Ne? Tato, könnte ich mir vorstellen, könnte sowas wie Malai gehen, mhm. einfach nur, um diesen Karambit-Spam zu haben. Ich habe ja mehrfach so ein Turnier gehostet, mit dem Monument in der Mitte, und das hat Tato einmal gewonnen, mit Malai Kanontürme und diese Circling einfach in die Mitte ballern. Okay, Kanontürme werden wir wohl nicht sehen, MBL sitzt gerade auf der Couch, also no Bombed Towers today. Ja, yeah, but not in this game, uh, Sir Jürgen. <lacht> ich bin gespannt. Uh, übrigens, ihr könnt immer noch und die ganze Zeit voten, was im vierten Spiel stattfinden soll. Uh, soll es das 3 gegen 3 werden? Soll es das 2 gegen 2 werden? Nur Profis? Oder 1 gegen 1? Viper gegen mich mit einem Handicap, was Ja, vorhin habe ich das Handicap erwähnt, da hast du gemeint, da, das weiß ich nicht. Und alle anderen, oh, das, wird, das ist zu leicht für Viper. Wir haben gedacht, er darf nicht in die Castle Age gehen. Und da sagen alle, pff, der macht dich in Dark Age bleibt. Genau, ich glaube halt, es kommt nur darauf an, wie gut deine Karte ist. Wenn du deine Karte komplett mit Stein abmauern kannst, dann werden wir, hast du, gewinnst du das, hm. weil du einfach mauern kannst, aushaut einen Bogen bauen und er haut dann mit Plankern und irgendwann kommst du in Paladin. Hm. Wenn deine Karte offen ist, stirbst du ja. im Quartal bei Minute 13. Ich persönlich muss wirklich sagen, also ich hätte da am wenigsten drauf Lust, weil. <lacht> ich, 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 ich glaube, ich komme nicht mal zu Mauern. Aber worauf ich am meisten Lust habe, wenn man euch schon mal da hat, in dieser, in dieser Form, ich hätte einfach Lust auf ein großes Teamgame noch am Ende. Also nicht, um jemanden hier zu beeinflussen, aber das würde ich voten. So, gut. Also, was ich immer noch nicht verstanden habe, wie groß ist der Delay zwischen Spectator und ähm, Ingame? Also sprich, sie starten und genau. dann starten wir auch sofort? Oder? Genau, es ist, wir haben einen Spectator-Delay bei genau. Null. Bubli hat halt einen leichten eingebaut, das sind ungefähr zwölf Sekunden. Bei mir mhm. zu Hause war das so lästig. Weil, 12 Sekunden? Ja, das ist so ein bisschen hin und her. Okay. Deswegen, ich habe ja zu Hause auch die Kameras gerade beim Turnier und habe dann versucht, bei OBS irgendwelche Delays einzubauen. Es ist, ist lästig. Das heißt, <lacht> wir sehen es gerade ein bisschen anders. Es gab eine witzige Situation, wo Viper so drüben redet und gerade lacht. Und auf dem Screen sehen wir, wie er gerade mit äh, seinen Archern gegen Mangen Mike schaut. 
Ach, ich, ich hoffe übrigens, jetzt gerade hatten wir das Problem, gerade bei Downton sehr, sehr oft, ähm, mit der Tastatur klarzukommen. Natürlich ist eine Umstellung, wenn man seine eigene Tastatur gewohnt ist und oben dann unsere Tastaturen hat, die halt noch diese extra Buttons links außen hat, ah. die man sonst ja nicht so oft mhm. sieht. Mhm. Mhm. Ja, das also könnte auch zu Problemen führen, eben gerade bei Jordan, der jetzt sich umgewöhnen muss. Ich glaube, Tato und Viper haben sich jetzt dementsprechend angewöhnt, mhm. damit umzugehen. Aber ganz ehrlich, das war von Daut eine Ausrede. Also so, das war einfach strategisch. <lacht> Da, ja, ey, braucht man nicht drüber reden. Ne? Klar, also man hat gesehen, was er da alles für Steinmauern gebaut hat, obwohl er Häuser bauen wollte. Aber einfach da auf Scouts gehen und dann kommen die Archer rein und einfach da gab es gar keine Reaktion, da gab es gar keine Verteidigung. Der Turm viel zu spät. Äh, dann holt draußen und hast ihn halt einfach lachen sehen, weil er selber überrascht war. So, ei, ei, das schaut ja nicht gut aus. Na gut. Kann das dort besser? <lacht> Ja, 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 natürlich, natürlich, ja, ja. Also wir brauchen nicht drüber reden, er ist wahrscheinlich, wenn wir eine Legende in Age of Empires Welt nennen müssten, ist es Daut. Was ist eigentlich, guck mal, ich habe ja jetzt auch eine ganze Weile das Ding gespielt und auch mal verfolgt. Mhm. Es gab ja noch damals solche, solche Typen wie Dreams, Elklan, Chris, mhm. ähm, Gott, wie heißen sie alle? Also damals gab es halt wirklich diese Profis, die, die man immer so auf dem Zettel hatte, Bender natürlich damals mhm. als deutsche Vertreter. Ähm, die sind auf einmal vom Erdboden verschluckt worden. Mhm. Und auf einmal kommen so Leute wie Lee Ray, ähm, der heute leider nicht dabei sein kann, wie MBL, die alle noch so blutjung sind. Mhm. Wieso fangen die mit Age of Empires auf einmal an? Äh, ich habe keine Ahnung, das musst du, musst du die fragen. Wie ist es halt durch ältere Brüder, älte, also wirklich Eltern, mhm. und dann springen die rein und es wird halt praktisch so familiär die Liebe weitergetragen. So ist es, glaube ich, bei MBL ah. und so ist es bei Lee gewesen. Mhm. Deswegen, seine Eltern sind ja sogar mit hierher gereist. Ach. Nach Hamburg. Die machen hier ein bisschen Urlaub, während Liri das Turnier spielt. Ja. Und ja, ich habe Lust, ein paar andere Leute auch noch spielen zu sehen. Springen wir doch einfach hier ins Spiel und schauen uns an, was die so für Völker gewählt haben. Ja. Schauen wir mal. Da haben wir jetzt bei Viper, er hat Berber genommen. Und äh, Donny hat Birmane. Mara. Oh, 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 lass, lass mal versuchen. So. Genau, genau, Viper, genau. Hier so, mit Donny. Mach mal, mach mal so, eins nach, nach. Genau. Stimmt, das recht. Du hast absolut Genau. Recht. Gehen wir die Runde rum. Ja. Haben Donny mit den, genau. Man, genau. Arambai, ne? Also. Genau, genau. So, hier haben wir Mara als Inka. Okay, Mara als Inka. Da habe ich noch schlechte Erinnerungen. Ich wollte gerade sagen, das solltest du noch kennen. Also das ist etwas, was dir noch in Erinnerung geblieben ist. Hast, hast du dir heute aufgeschrieben, so irgendwie Nili fertig machen oder wie? Fragen mhm. so, wer ist der beste deutsche Spieler? Mhm. Hier, Nili, wie ging eigentlich das letzte du Mal? Dich. Du? Aber sie hat ich Inka genommen, mich. das kann sie. Also Eagle Warrior Incoming. Mhm. Hier haben wir äh, Tato mit Goten. Oh. Goten, können wir okay. gleich drüber reden, ja, können wir das alles vorstellen. Dann Jordan Malia. Mhm. Okay, Gebettos. Das ist ja, sorry. Also, Musa, ja. Der, der, Musa, der, 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 ja. Florentin mit Spaniern ist jetzt die größte Überraschung nicht. So, und dann sind wir rum und rum. schauen uns mal an, was eigentlich die Gewinnbedingung oh. hier ist. Dieses hübsche Monument in der Mitte zu kontrollieren. Wir können nicht auf diesem Steingebiet bauen und mhm. dann schauen wir rechts oben. Da wird bald ein Timer erstellt werden, der zählt dann runter und wer am Ende das Ding hält, gewinnt das Spiel. Aber dieser Timer taucht erst auf, wenn ich jetzt zum Beispiel mit meinem Scout sofort hinrennen würde, würde dieser Timer schon laufen. Richtig. Ja. Okay, dann könnte also jetzt schon zum Beispiel das Spiel beschleunigt werden. Wenn ich einfach hinrenne und sage, ey Leute, genau. gib Gas. Genau. Wenn du das Gefühl hättest so, okay, wir sind sehr gut direkt bei Minute 45 mit unseren Völkern, mit unseren Aufbaustrategien, dann renn da hin. Mhm. Aber eigentlich willst du natürlich erstmal den Schafe scouten, Schweine, Goldspots. Okay, dann zeig mal zum Beispiel, ja, Team, Team Donny Viper würde ich jetzt mal gerne sehen. Wo sind die denn positioniert? Die sind genau ja, zwischen Mara ist außen und Florentin ist außen. Mhm. Das gibt's ja nicht. Das heißt, das sind eher die Stärkeren da ein bisschen weiter hinten. Muss ja. man sagen, so Jordan... Mhm. Eher hier relativ weit hinten, würde ich sagen. Und Tato fast hinten in der Ecke. Ich würde sagen, nicht das schönste Leben für Mara, die hier so ein bisschen auf dem Präsentierteller ist. Ja, absolut. Vor allem, Donny, wie gesagt, Donny mag ja äh, früher äh, Early Aggression. Aber Mara hat auch schon mal Donny auseinandergenommen. Ne? Also das muss man sich immer vor Augen halten. Mhm. Also so unfassbar unfähig ist sie jetzt auch nicht. Population sieht überall gleich aus, außer Florentin, da fällt hier ein bisschen aus der Rolle. Naja. Und du sprichst gerade den, den frühen Angriff an hier mhm. von Donny. Strategisch gesehen, in diesem Szenario, nicht so gut. Echt nicht? Weil, stell okay. dir mal vor, Donny und Viper töten jetzt komplett Mara und Tato. Wer profitiert am meisten davon? Hm, du hast recht. Ja, die anderen. Florentin und Jordan. Ja. Ne? Die übernehmen dann einfach die Mitte, recht. gewinnen das Spiel. Ach, gut, okay. Ja, dann lass uns mal zum nächsten Team. Tato und Mara, die du ja gerade angesprochen hast. Guck mal, wie weit Tato und Mara auseinander liegen. Das ist... Das ist schon, boah, das ist ja das ist eine Ewigkeit. Oh. Argument, ja. ja, man kann dir schlecht helfen. Anderes Argument, 
Schau mal an, das ist wirklich das Team, was am besten zwei Ecken kontrollieren kann. Ne? Ja, die können den Norden haben, die können ein bisschen den Westen haben. Und wenn sie da die Märkte bauen, können mhm. die entspannt handeln. Das stimmt. Ich meine, Inka und Gote, das ist, guck mal, das ist ja eigentlich nur Infanterie, ne? Das ist ja, ein, ist das gut? Also ich meine, der Gote wird spammen irgendwann und spammt einfach nur seine Einheiten rein, um das Monument zu halten, was jetzt übrigens von The Viper aktiviert wurde. Und jetzt sehen wir oben, ja, die Zahl sinkt. Also 545 Jahre sind es jetzt nicht wirklich in real time. Ich weiß, ich weiß nicht, was ist ein Jahr eigentlich umgerechnet in, äh, hier, ja, 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 in, in Age Vampires? Ich sollte das wissen. Ich glaube, es Eins, waren so 100 Jahre, zwei, sind ungefähr 8 Minuten. Drei. Ein paar Sekunden immer pro Jahr, aber acht Minuten erst schon kommt hoch. Ja? Ja, also ich glaube, so bei 45 Minuten oder sowas ist, wenn wir langsam in den interessanten Bereich gehen. Dann lass mal zum nächsten Team, das ist Florentin und Jordan, ähm, die wir jetzt hier sehen. Also Jordan Rue, hier mit, ja, Bohr hat er schon. Ähm, ja, zweiten Bohr sogar schon. Ja, Dealer, ja, immer. Sieht so aus. Ja. Du musst ja gerade nicht viel erkunden. Das ist ja nicht, du kann, brauchst ja nicht unbedingt die Gegner erkunden. Das heißt, du versuchst jetzt einfach deine Wirtschaft so ideal wie möglich zu gestalten. Du schubst ein bisschen die Rehe rein. Das ist übrigens eine gute Frage. Rehe oder Hirsch? Das ist, ein das ist doch kein Hirsch. Also, ich meine, obwohl, Reh übersetzt heißt ja Doe, ne? Das ist, ist nicht Doe, Reh? Also, ich bin Team Reh. Ich glaube, <lacht> also ich glaube nämlich, dir heißt einfach nur so wild. Also, so, so, glaube ich. Mein Englisch wurde ja hier schon angesprochen, aber ich glaube, Do ist halt das klassische Reh. So, dir ist Reh. Ja, du Horst. Hirsch. Rehbock. Do ist Teig. <lacht> Nun gut, dann ist Do Teig. Ja. Okay. Das ist eine Pizza Do. Na gut, dann haben wir uns wohl. Aber du kannst ja auch, ähm, sagen wir mal eine. Ah, nee, ich krieg's nicht gerettet. Ja, Na, meine gut. Güte. Also, wer, sich vor 8000 oder 9000 Zuschauern jetzt zu blamieren. Ja. Das, 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 das hat mir schon so oft, Freunde. Stehst du drüber? Das hat mir schon so oft. Also ich ich blamiere mich hier nicht das erste Mal. Gut. Auf jeden Fall sehen wir jetzt, ähm, ja, die äh, Entwicklung rechts, was auch ein bisschen neu ist für unsere Zuschauer. Wir, gab, wir haben auch nicht so oft Wubli benutzt, aber ab jetzt sehe ich, es funktioniert. Ich, mir fällt so ein Stein vom Herzen, ich sag's auch hier nochmal, dass das alles so funktioniert. Und wir sehen auf jeden Fall alle, fast alle, vier auf dem Weg in die Feudalzeit. Aber nicht alle, wieso nicht alle? Brauchst du einfach noch nicht, ne? Ich bin auch ein bisschen überrascht, dass Mara und Tato hier so früh versuchen, ins nächste Zeit zu gehen. Mhm. Aber ich glaube, du siehst einfach Viper hier, der hat die Strategie schon entwickelt. Der sagt, Donny, mhm. lass mal nicht früh Feinde machen, lass mal schauen, dass wir spät kommen. Aber Tato und Mara, was können sie jetzt machen? Jetzt haben wir sie eh schon im Bild. Also, was können sie jetzt daraus machen? Also, Mara Walt ist jetzt in der, äh, in, in der Verdalzeit angekommen. Hat sie... Wie, wie hast du da heute, äh, was hast du gedrückt? Auf Shift und dann klickst du auf einen Gebäude. Ah, ist klar, und dann hast du die Ansicht von, von dieser Person. Stark! Man lernt nie aus. Habt ihr in Game Sound aus? Äh, müssen wir mal kurz schauen. Haben wir in Game Sound aus? Mal kurz geguckt. Äh, nee, ist, ist da. Vielleicht ist es auch eine ältere Meldung. Ich habe jetzt gerade nicht drauf geachtet. Äh, sorry. Wir sind aber wieder drin. Also Mara Walt jetzt hat einen komischen äh, Goldspot sich ausgesucht. Also, ich finde den Goldspot okay, ich finde das ja, Camper nicht das so geil, ne? Also wie komisch hier die Dorfbrunne arbeiten und jetzt wollte ich den auch noch raus. Also, ich glaube, ich glaub, der Dorfbrunne mag die anderen beiden nicht ja, so. Das, das ist gut möglich. Wie würdest du jetzt das Mining Camp setzen? Also eher direkt dran oder ein, ein Teil dazwischen? Ja. Es ist halt theoretisch, wenn du vier Dorfbewohner hast, baue ich immer direkt dran. Hallöchen, dann da sind wir morgen. doch. Und wenn du es mehr als vier Dorfbewohner haben willst, dann baue ich einen Teil weg. Ah, okay. Verstehe ich. So, was macht, was macht Tato? Tato ist auf dem Weg in die Castle Age? Mhm, das ist, das ist ein sauberer 14, Aufbau. 14... 1459, wir sehen es hier genau. Er hat das da, mit... Da ist Donny gerade mal feudal, ne? Ja, ruhig, 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 ne? Das sind schon <lacht> andere Pferde hier, ne? Das ist halt... Tato ist so ah, wahrscheinlich gerade Top 3 der Welt oder sowas. Jordan auch. Das ist super. Jordan auch auf dem Weg. Ja, du musst halt überlegen. Die bauen halt keine Armee, ja. müssen sich nicht wirklich um frühe Aggression Gedanken machen, weil sie es einfach strategisch zu spielen. Da hören wir gerade, das Zeichen ja. ist der Wechsel hiervon. Aber das ist halt auch etwas, also, habe ich ganz vergessen zu erwähnen. Also ab 100 Jahre springt es dann immer das wieder ist, zurück. Das ist äh, der, der Game Sound von jemand anderem. Das ist nicht von uns gerade. Ja? Ja, das ist der Sound. Ach, ist nicht schlimm. Also Hauptsache, wir haben auf jeden Fall Sound. Mhm. Ähm, Im Endeffekt... Also ab 100 Jahre springt das immer wieder zurück auf 100 Jahre, mhm. aber davor läuft es einfach weiter. Jetzt sehen wir zum Beispiel, hat Jordan äh, das Monument eingenommen, aber ja, was nur, ich bin gespannt. Also am ehesten möchte ich jetzt mal auf 
Sie okay. spielen gar nicht Goldrausch, sie spielen Golden Pit. Golden Pit ist einfach ah. Goldrausch mit noch Stein? Oder? Der Unterschied ist, man hat ein bisschen weniger Gold. Normalerweise hat man 3 und 4. Hier mhm. haben wir 3 und 2. Und der mhm. allergrößte, wichtige Unterschied ist, du bist in einem Krater. Schau mal an. Ah, das heißt, aber, aber, wenn, wenn man dich hier aufbauen will, muss man immer den Hügel hochkämpfen. Aber das heißt, ist das nicht bei Goldrausch auch teilweise so? Mh, da ist das Gold immer auf dem Hügel. Wirklich? Ja. Oh, okay. Das ist eigentlich für die Settings sogar noch eine bessere Map. Weil du dann hättest du ja den dreifachen Bonus. Du würdest das Wunder besitzen, du würdest gleichzeitig das Gold haben und den Hügelbonus. Mhm. Und dem versucht man hier so ein bisschen zu entgehen. Lass mal bei Jordan kurz reinschauen. Jetzt haben wir ähm, die Castle-Zeit gerade bei ihm oder gleich bei ihm erreicht. Also, was machst du denn jetzt? Als, als, also, ich meine, er ist äh, äh, Malia. Mhm, genau. Jetzt alle, Boom oder? Alle Gebäude, billiger im Holz, ganz normaler Boom. Da ja. sehen wir ein weiteres Dorfzentrum, hier kommt noch ein Dorfzentrum. Okay. Und ja, ich würde mich nicht wundern, wenn er noch mal sich ein bisschen mehr Stein kauft und gleich ein drittes Dorfzentrum Können baut. wir mal auf das Militär gucken, nämlich dort wird gekämpft, da, genau. Ach so, das ist, okay, das ist einfach nur, okay, der Scout von äh, Viper ist tot. Mhm. Gut gemacht, Jordan Roof. Okay. Und ich weiß gar nicht, wessen Game Sound das hier sein könnte. Da klickt auf jeden Fall jemand schnell. Also ich glaube, es muss einer der drei Pros sein. Vielleicht ist es ja noch äh, Jordan, der hier ein bisschen was baut. Aber wie gesagt, im Endeffekt, Hauptsache, wir haben ein bisschen Sound drin. Also ist jetzt nicht äh, weltbewegend. Das Wichtigste ist immer noch, ich schaue mir gerade so die Population an. Und alle, alle sind dicht beieinander. Mhm. Ja. Ist einfach in den Szenarien. Du kannst ja hier nicht so viele Fehler im Aufbau machen. Mhm. Brauchen nicht überreden. Ja, und es geht. Ja, ja. Also ich glaube halt so in drei, vier Minuten, wenn dann der Unterschied ist so, ah, ich bin gerade Ritterzeit halt gekommen zu Viper, der gerade vier Dorfzentren am Laufen hat, dann sehen wir ein bisschen Unterschied. Das stimmt. Aber KD, ja, wir haben jetzt ein paar Kills. Also ein Kill von den zwei haben wir gesehen. Wir haben also noch nichts verpasst, Freunde. Mhm. No. Viper wird gar nicht so viel Dorfwunde haben, weil der baut eine Burg und ah. der möchte auf Kamelbogen schützen gehen. Mein, meinst du, er gibt die ganze Zeit Donny Anweisungen? Also sagt die ganze Zeit, er steuert Donny sozusagen mit? Die Zeit hätte er, ich weiß nicht. Vielleicht schauen wir gleich mal rein und hören mal rein, was sie zu sagen haben. Ja, gerne. Ah, ja. so, so richtig viel zu sagen haben sie nicht. Ja. Das, das finde ich auch nicht so falsch. Ne? Ja. Einfach Donny sein Spiel machen lassen. Donny ein bisschen oh, really? Okay. Ja. Geht natürlich auch. So, so three TCs then maybe four? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course you have to adapt if they start suddenly like attacking you heavily in Castle Age. Then yeah. Things change, but I think you should be able to get a free Good boom. Ah. Should be fine. Und du hörst gerade, ne? Viper sagt, er geht auf Camel Archer. Er wird schauen, dass Donny einfach einen freien Boom hat. Hm. Und ich glaube, mit Burmesen, da werden wir nicht unbedingt Aram bei sehen. Ich glaube, der Junge wird auf Elefanten gehen. Elefanten? Also ich hätte, Birmanen haben, haben doch, glaube ich, ich hoffe, es sind die Birmanen, mhm. doch auch diesen Vorteil, dass sie pro Zeitalter einen Attack-Bonus dazu bekommen. Mhm. Mhm. Also sprich, die Infanterie wird extrem stark. Ich könnte ja. mir auch vorstellen, dass sehr viele Halbertiere und vielleicht Elefanten dazukommen. Mhm. Aber meinst du, Elefanten, aber obwohl, ach, stimmt, das macht Sinn. Elefanten plus ähm, ähm, Camel Archer. Nicht Camel Archer und äh, Aramba ergänzen sich ja gar nicht. Die machen ja beide Fernkampf. Genau. Helle Baden, das Problem, gegen was für Völker spielen wir hier? Ja, Guten stimmt. und Inka, nicht so wirklich gut. Mhm. Ne? Wenn der Maya auf seine Gibettos geht, auch nicht so richtig. Mhm, und stimmt. ja, kommst du ja. nicht mal ran gegen das Micro von Florentin. Das stimmt. Was sehen wir denn in der Mitte gerade? In der Mitte wird Tattoo... Oh, ja, aber langsam sehen wir erstmal hier was. Moment. Mhm. Ah ja, ein bisschen Nerven, ne? Aber richtig reinkommt tut er auch nicht. Oder will er rein? Oh. Er will rein! Okay, und das schauen wir gleich mal rein. Und jetzt würde ich gerne mal hören, wie Florentin darauf reagiert. Weil jetzt kommt gleich der Angriff hier. Ja. Ah, ah. Vielleicht kriegt er das noch zu verteidigt. Ja, die Burg, meine Kühe. Aber... Äh, wie hat Florentin? Florentin und Jordan? Was, was sagen Sie? Sind das jetzt halt stille Genießer? Oh, ich werde Bogenschützen bauen. Aber ich bin. Das wird sicherlich ein bisschen dauern. Versucht ja. sich so die Ecke zu holen und. Ja. Na gut. Also, ein bisschen down ist er. Mhm. Was, was heißt das? Also, down in, im Sinne von. Ich bin GG oder? Ja, es ist eher, er hat nicht die Wirtschaft so sauber ah. am Laufen. Ne? Hat auch Schön. nur, in Anführungszeichen, drei Dorfzentren hier. Mal, da kann man schon mal ein bisschen schneller auf vier gehen. Hat hier versucht sich stark die Ecke zu kontrollieren, mhm. aber 
Nicht mit Shadow. Ja, okay. Ja, 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 ja. Aber kriegt. Was machst du da? Also, ich meine, im Endeffekt, er wollte einen riesigen Part ab. Mhm. Kannst du den nicht einfach dann mit, mit zwei, drei RAM, Seed Rams irgendwann aufbrechen? Ist das überhaupt wichtig, diesen Part abzu... Also macht vielleicht Jordan genau das Richtige, weil es geht ja nicht darum, den Gegner zu töten, sondern die Mitte zu erobern. Mhm. Ja, ich glaube, das ist halt wirklich nur für den Langzeitplan, für den Handel. Mhm. Ansonsten, ja natürlich, kann Tato da mal reinkommen, baust du zwei Petarden, bist du durch eine Steinmauer in der Zeit. Ja. Okay, mal ein ganz anderes Beispiel, können wir mal kurz... Oh, der Trade. Mhm. Und dann sehen wir gleich, da wird hier gleich ein Markt gebaut werden. Meinst von du? Jordan. Ja, der wird gleich hier versuchen. Wird natürlich den Dorfwohner vorher erstmal im Jaguar verlieren. Aber ich meine, das ist ja, das ist ja auch schön von, von Tato, wie er das hier abblockt von Jordan, dass die hier überhaupt gar nicht zum Handeln kommen. Mhm. Verliert hier noch einen Dorfbewohner, ja. RIP. Okay. Darf ich mal was anderes ansprechen oder was anderes ansehen? Lass uns mal kurz zu Mara gehen. Mhm. Ich Mara sticht für mich gerade so ein bisschen heraus. Sie ist schon in der Mitte. Ja, sie ist A mit ihrem Teammate schon in der Mitte. Aber wenn ich mir so die Population ansehe, ist halt wieder lethargische Mara am Start. Nämlich Mara hat manchmal diesen, diesen Move, sie guckt sich Sachen an und bewegt die Maus nicht mehr. Sie, sie schaut sich das, das ganze Geschehen an und denkt sich so, meine Wirtschaft und mein Reich, das funktioniert, aber hört auf, alles zu bauen und beobachtet nur noch. Das hatte ich auch im Militär. Ich habe einmal mit ihr, ich weiß nicht, wie, wie man das in Age of Empires nennt, wenn man ein Volk mit, einer, mit zwei Personen ein Volk steuert oder ein, ein Sith. Das habe ich mit ihr gemacht und habe halt gemerkt, habe halt so rüber geguckt, du bewegst deine Maus nicht mehr. Und sie saß wirklich so da. Und ich habe gerade das Gefühl, dass es genau das passiert, weil sie von der Population, oh, auch Florentin auch von der Population, relativ weit hinten ist. Mhm. Ja, also es geht halt, ne? Sie hat jetzt schon hier eine Burg. Mhm, ja, Gibt halt Tato damit ein bisschen Zeit, ne? Der muss sich nicht wirklich auf Militär ko konzentrieren. Mara wird hier schon mal die Mitte kontrollieren und das werden wahrscheinlich ein paar Adler Tiger. Hat oh. auch schon zwei Upgrades drauf. Okay. Also meinst du, das ist gar nicht so schlimm, dass sie jetzt wirtschaftlich hinterher hinkt, solange Tato ja, doppelt so viel Population hat wie sie, ist alles easy. Ich glaube, das sieht für mich nach einer Teamstrategie aus. Sie mhm. versucht hier so das Monument zu halten, so sagen wir mal, bis noch so 150 Jahre übrig sind. Dann haben die hier die Kontrolle über das Gold. Alle anderen, ja, denen wird das Gold gleich ausgehen. Das stimmt. Viper derweil reitet mit seinen... Ah, oh, hier sehen wir erstmal Florentin, Moment. Florentin jetzt gegen Viper. Ist das eine gute Idee, dieser Fall? Nee, 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 das ist richtig hässlich, aber Florentin geht zum ja. Glück zurück. Und auch das kann er nicht so richtig machen. Ne? Sehen wir, wie wunderschön hier Viper seine Kamera aber, hat. Aber man muss auch mal, sorry, das muss man auch bei Florentin loben. Also Florentin kann Micro, das muss man ihm lassen. Er hat gerade einen Kamera Archer gekillt ja. und, gegen, jetzt, und keinen verloren. Und das gegen den besten Spieler der Welt. Ja. Oh, aber hier hat er wieder einen gekillt. Nur eine Einheit verloren, zwei genommen. Mhm. Florentin, Chapeau. Genau. Großes Problem war hier von Viper, er hat keine Ballistik gehabt. Ne? Und deswegen ah. kann einfach hier... Der Pommes-Ruppel. Einfach so gut nach oben und unten gehen und immer den Fallen ausweichen. Aber The Viper weiß genau das und baut jetzt die Universität, um Ballistik zu entwickeln. Reicht es theoretisch, wenn man Daumenring entwickelt und seine Einheiten einfach hinstellt? Ist das nicht genau dasselbe äh, Prinzip? Weil Daumenring ist doch 100% Trefferrate, wenn die Einheiten stehen. Richtig. Aber reicht es, wenn ich meine Einheiten hinstelle und sich eine Einheit vor mir bewegt, ich einfach raufballer und treffe? Mm -mm, das wäre eine andere Einheit steht. So, ah, okay. Genau, zum Beispiel, Versteh. wir wissen ja, Arambai treffen ganz selten. Ne? Richtig, zum Beispiel auch, auch ein Plänkler trifft ja nur zum gewissen Zeitpunkt. Ne? Zum Beispiel, ich glaube, berittene Bogenschützen sind ziemlich schlecht. Die treffen nur so, glaube ich, 50 Prozent oder sowas. Oh, okay. Die profitieren halt sehr. Ne? Das ist aber auf maximale Distanz. Und jetzt schauen wir mal hier. So, und der macht weiter Ärger. Also, er macht weiter, weiter Ärger. Sein Mate, Teammate, äh, Jordan, auf dem Weg in die Imperialzeit. Ja. Was passiert jetzt? Und wir sehen, alle drei der Pros sind hier hart am Wirtschaft aufbauen, ja. Viper eher am wenigsten. Und oh, der einzige ja. von den Rocket Beans TV-Leuten, der keine Armee baut, ist wirklich hier Donny. Ja, das stimmt. Da erwarte ich aber eine Menge Elefanten von ihm. Also, meinst du wirklich, also ich sehe jetzt hier die Castle, ich, ich sehe noch nicht, also Donnys, Donnys Strategie sehe ich noch nicht komplett, also blicke ich noch nicht, noch nicht komplett, weil ich glaube, er wird Arambay bauen. Ich kann mir, außer wirklich, außer Viper sagt, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott, Donny, Donny, aufpassen, <lacht> Elefantenkrieger, bitte. Also, wenn er Rumble baut, dann ist es ein klarer Fehler von Viper hier für mich. Hm, okay. Das ist einfach, wie du es vorhin schon gesagt hast, die Einheiten sind einfach zu ähnlich. Hm. Also, sie machen beide Fernkampfschaden, aber was ich mir dachte, so Rumble, dachte ich erst, dass die so einen Schaden, Nahkampfschaden wie die Axtwerfer machen oder die äh, Gebettos, mhm. dass sie Fernkampf machen, aber Nahkampfschaden haben. Mhm. Also, ich dachte erst, dass Rumble so funktioniert, aber sie sind ja auch wirklich, was werfen die eigentlich? Messer? Äh, nee, Darts. Darts? 
Die genau. werfen wirklich Darts. Dart. Die werfen Darts. Ich weiß nicht genau, das ist so ein bisschen gut. Also ich würde mir den Arm brechen, wenn ich so einen Dart werfen würde. Aber, aber, aber ich meine, es gab in der Geschichte eine... Oh, okay. Okay, erstmal, wir sehen die Stelle. Das, das, ist, das ist doch gut. Das ist wichtig. Ja. Das, das zeigt für mich, dass Viper da mit dem Plan rangegangen ist. Ja. Und das ist eine richtig gute Einheitenkomposition. Ja, das stimmt. Okay. Wir sind auf jeden Fall gleich Elefanten von Donny. Donny auf jeden Fall auf dem Weg in die äh, Imperialzeit. Wir sehen... Aber hier erstmal Jordans Einheiten, der hier versucht, Druck auf Tato aufzubauen. Ist das richtig? Ihn jetzt in der eigenen Basis anzugreifen? Ich bin ehrlich, ich glaube, Tato, äh, Jordan ist einfach der mit der wenigsten Erfahrung auf diesen Settings. Mmh, er hat vorher okay. mich nochmal gefragt, wie funktioniert das immer genau, wie ist das mit den Timern? Und jetzt einfach, ich glaube, es sind schon mehrere strategische Fehler. Okay. Malia, auf Arablesten, du hast das letzte Reichweiten in Ah, stimmt. Oh ja. Gott, oh Gott. Also dann, die neuen Völker muss ich noch lernen, aber wow. Dann Feinde machen. Mit, mit Abelesten gegen jemanden, der Huskalle bauen kann, ja, ja. auch nicht geil. Okay, aber ist das, nicht, ist das nicht eher ein allgemeiner Fehler und nicht ein Map-Fehler oder ein, ein, ein Modus-Fehler? Also ich meine, für Abelesten, wie du schon sagst, Abelesten zu einem Boten schicken und jetzt hier zu patrouillieren zu lassen. Hier, töte mich, ja. töte mich. Und genau, wir sehen, ha, Tato sieht das die ganze Zeit und hat ja. hier den Außenposten, hat sogar die Reichweiten Upgrade gemacht. Schau mal an, was der alles sieht. Ah, ja, ja, der ja, kann ja, nicht ja. überrascht werden von. Ap Apropos Tato, wir sind jetzt gerade schön auf seiner Sicht. Der ist Pop 188 ist fast fully equipped. Wir sehen, äh, in der Mitte hat er sich mit Mara schön aufgebaut und jetzt kommt die Huskale erstmal rein. Hier sehen wir schon ein Tor, Mara hat hier das abgesichert, aber sie haben das Monument noch nicht eingenommen. Se mhm. Sind das noch nicht als nötig. Ist es auch, macht ja einfach keinen Unterschied. Ne? Wir sind ja. gerade in der Phase, wo wir uns aufbauen. Jetzt sehen wir hier, Tato haut auch ein paar Kasernen dazu. Und ich glaube, die gehen auch. Auch auf eine interessante Komposition. Mhm. Fuskale gegen Reichweiteinheiten und Kammerjux sehr, sehr gut gegen Pferde. Oh, das stimmt. Aber was ist denn, wenn jetzt zum Beispiel jemand ankommt und nur Champions baut? Mhm. Würde das nicht alles umfallen? Ne, Kammerjux sind, also wen meinst du jetzt zum Beispiel? Also wenn, wenn jetzt, keine Ahnung, wenn jetzt der Malia ankommt und einfach alles in der Mitte mhm. mit ähm, Champions zu spammt, macht der nicht Kammerjux und auch Huskale platt? Nee, Kammerjungs hm. haben halt diese plus 1 Reichweite, ne? Ist oh. ja auch eine, eine Nahkampfeinheit. Und das macht einfach das Formatieren vor den Kämpfen so viel einfacher. Hm. Einfach, dass sie aus der zweiten Reihe nochmal ein bisschen rüberstechen können, ist so viel besser für die. Das heißt, das ist besser. Und der Gote, wissen wir, hat sogar noch billigere, diese Kämpfer. Oh, stimmt, du hast recht. Aber ja, das letzte Upgrade fehlt hat. Das denke ich mir, habe ich immer im Hinterkopf, okay, der Gote, dem fehlt das letzte Defensiv-Upgrade. Der ist also schwächer. Ja, aber wenn er einfach mal 40% mehr hat als du, ja, das dann ist es einfach, ja. Und sie haben Masse. die Mittel. Also Gold sollten sie jetzt alle haben. Also auch wenn ich die Ressourcen von Tato mir so gerade ansehe, pff, der war auch ja gar keine, hat ja gar keine Probleme. 207 Pop. Also ja, Mara langsam baut auch ein bisschen äh, was, also ein bisschen Wirtschaft auf. Also 72 Pop jetzt. Ja, aber hier. Und da, das ist etwas, was ich nochmal erwähnen muss. Ich glaube, das machen vielleicht vielleicht zehn Spieler auf der Welt, ne? Was ja für ein strategisches Genie ist. Er kontrolliert die Mitte und ignoriert sein Gold zu Hause. Mm. Falls sie das mal verlieren, hat er immer noch diese fünf Gold, auf die er zurückfallen kann. Wie viel Gold ist das? Das ist 800 Gold pro Spot, ne? Ja. Oh. Nilimat sagt 4000 Gold. Und da kannst du noch mal eine Menge in diese Kämpfer von bauen. Nilimat. Okay. <lacht> wir sehen jetzt, bei Viper Elite Camel Archer sind unterwegs. Bloodlands. Und ja, hier sehen wir natürlich das Slaughterfest. Oh. Ja, boah, was, was hat sich für Jordan dabei gedacht? Ja. Also, sorry, das ist ja... Das, das kann ich doch besser. Das kannst du besser auf jeden <lacht> Fall. Ja, weil du einfach weißt, okay, du spielst gegen Goten, ja. aber Lesnar gibt keinen Sinn, gehst du auf Tibetos und nimmst den Kampf so viel besser. Schau dir mal an, Jordan, 8 Einheiten ja. getötet, 27 oh, verloren. Oh, ja, ja, Donny, sehr friedlich dieses Spiel. Ja, Donny ist halt wirklich der Pazifist in diesem Spiel <lacht> bisher. Also, aber es werden noch, also Donny und Viper, wie, gesagt, wie du schon gesagt hast, die haben ihren Matchplan und wenn die einmal in die Mitte reinnehmen, obwohl, obwohl Camel Archer und, ähm, und äh, Elefanten gegen Huskale und gegen Kamajux. Gewinnen die das? Ja, es ist halt wieder dieses Konterprinzip, ne? Ja. Huskale sind gut gegen die Kamelbogenschützen, ja. sind aber schlecht gegen die Elefanten. Elefanten mhm. sind gut gegen Huskale, aber schlecht gegen Kamajux. Das ist so ein bisschen, wer kann den besseren Kampf nehmen? Aber guck mal, wer die kaitet. Also das, kann er die auseinandernehmen? Also ich meine, die, die, diese, diese eine wurde ja schon genervt. Die habe ich auch mhm. einmal, äh, einmal genommen gegen die beiden. Mhm. Nur Camel Archer gebaut und die waren, die waren so angepisst davon, dass sie so stark sind. Ja, ja. Und dann habe ich gesehen, nächster Patch äh, genervt. Ja. ja, trotzdem. Die sind trotzdem immer noch richtig stark. Die Sache ist, schau mal, wie viel Aufmerksamkeit er trotzdem da drauf setzen muss. Mhm. Und was hat er gekillt? Jetzt vielleicht sechs Fuskale? Oh, Währenddessen ja. kann Tato einfach seine Wirtschaft weiter optimieren, ja, weiter Gold abbauen. So viel hat das nicht gebracht. Ja, okay, also immer auf die Sicht von Weiber. Mich würde mal interessieren, wie viele Ressourcen er hat. Ja, 
Mhm. Ich finde das auch immer so imponierend, wenn man das sieht, wie ihr eure Ressourcen immer unten haltet. Mhm. Und das ist halt nie passiert, dass man halt keine Ahnung, 5000 Food mal hat. Oh, wir sehen übrigens, was mir gerade was gerade aufgefallen ist. Tato Link, Mara. Mhm. Also das, das ist einfach für mich so ein Zeichen von Respekt und einfach der ja. Intelligenz von Tato. Er weiß, okay, ich habe die gute Wirtschaft, ich habe hier eine Menge Gold sammeln können, aber jetzt gehen auch mal ein paar Dorf ja, runter. Also jetzt macht Viper hier ordentlich Stress. Also Viper hat hier richtig Lust auf Tote. Und da, da muss auf jeden Fall auch Donny mitkommen, oder? Muss Donny jetzt nicht mit rein und auch hier ordentlich pushen, weil es sind nur 137 Jahre. Ja, es also ist ein kleines Mobilitätsproblem, ne? Ja. Viper kann es auch noch machen, weil er halt so gut davon wegrennen kann. Hm. Dann sehen wir hier, wer noch zwei Kamerad vielleicht mal geschafft. Blockt er die Nein. absichtlich? Also hat er das gerade absichtlich gemacht, dass er zwei, drei geblockt hat? Ja, naja, also Tato super? versucht halt die weite Formation und versucht halt hinter die Kamerad zu klicken, hm. damit er irgendwie so ein paar einblockieren kann und dann macht er Rechtsklick und schnappt ihn. Okay, hier haben wir jetzt dasselbe, äh, dasselbe Ding mit den, äh, mit den Elite Eagle Warrior. Auch mhm. alle Upgrades oder fehlt den Inkaster noch irgendwas von Mara? Der hat noch ähm, die Option Couriers zu entwickeln. Das ist ein Upgrade aus der Burg. Sehr, sehr billig und gibt dir plus 1 Verteidigung gegen Nahkampfeinheiten, plus 2 gegen Range Einheiten. Ja. Wird im nächsten Balance Patch genervt werden. Ist ein bisschen stark gerade. Krass. Kannst du mal auf Jordan gehen? Mich würde mal interessieren, was da passiert. Nämlich hier sehen wir jetzt gerade, er baut sich massiv auf. Mhm. Florentin, ja, ist jetzt gleich auch, nämlich Imperialzeit. Jordan geht mit geht massiv auf Lightcuff. Ist das der richtige Weg, einfach dann rein zu rushen und zu versuchen, so viele Einheiten wie möglich das reinzubekommen? Problem ist, Florentin und Jordan sind die einzigen, die noch gar nicht irgendwie in der Mitte waren. Ja, das, das heißt, stimmt. die haben kein Gold mehr, ne? Wenn wir irgendwie oh, versuchen was, ah, Trade ist die versuchen den Trade irgendwie am Handeln zu haben, aber auch nicht bis zum Kartenrand, also nicht so, so effektiv. Aber gerade willst du einfach kein Gold aus dem Fenster schmeißen. Hm, natürlich, aber ich meine, da kommst du doch nicht durch. Da kommst du doch nicht durch. Damit. Ah, zwei Burgen, schon mal sehen. Die sind halt auch unten im Hügel, musst du überlegen, ne? Das heißt, wenn wir hier so zwei, drei Triebwerke von mhm. Florentin haben, kriegen das schon weggeknuspert. Aber vor allem, was ja auch interessant ist, wir sehen gerade, Farimba ist jetzt durch. Farimba, die Spezialtechnologie der Malia, ja, gibt einfach mal sieben Angriff dann insgesamt auf deine Reiter. Uiuiuiui. Mhm. Aber trotzdem musst du überlegen, keine Hostare, man hat halt das letzte plus vier ein Upgrade normalerweise nicht. Also es sieht schon ganz geil aus, plus sieben. Mhm. Aber ich glaube, ein Husser, der normal plus 4 hat, ist gar nicht mehr so viel schlechter. Okay. So, jetzt sehen wir auf jeden Fall den Angriff von Jordan und vielleicht auch von, ähm, oh ja, oh ja, von Viper. Jetzt greifen sie beide die Mitte an. Und jetzt muss äh, natürlich Team äh, Mara Tato hier reagieren. Tato konzentriert sich jetzt erstmal auf Viper, der schon mit Skorpionen gewappnet ist auf diesen Angriff von den Huskern. Okay, und jetzt glaube ich, möchte ich nochmal zu Viper und Johnny, weil jetzt geht die Kommunikation los. Jetzt müssen die sagen, wie agieren sie hier, um sich die Mitte zu schnappen. Das würde ich auch gerne hören. Just for extra security. Okay. Tato ist like, he has so many barracks around the base. He's gonna go all in just to like spam units to hold the middle when the time runs out. Yeah. Yes, okay. So we'll have to just try and clean the production around the around the middle. Okay. Uh, careful now with your elephants. Hey, sag komm, mal, komm, so, da, komm so towards my da. cannons with your elephants. Und lass uns mal wieder äh, nicht reinlauschen, jetzt lassen wir die beiden wieder in Ruhe. Also sie hören uns übrigens nicht, also sie hören uns nicht und wir hören das, wenn wir hören sie zwar, aber sie hören uns nicht. Also nur das Zuschauer das auch mitbekommt, nicht, dass wir jetzt irgendwas sagen, was dann Vorteil für die Wehre. Okay, jetzt haben wir hier, Tato versucht sich ein bisschen mehr Zeit zu kaufen und Viper hat das genau gesagt, ne? Tatos Strategie ist es hier, massiv Baracken drumherum zu bauen und der spammt einfach weiter in die Mitte und dann ist es hart, weil wenn du die ganzen Hochskalle tötest, da ist halt in einer halben Sekunde steht da ein Neuer auf dem Feld. Ja, Alter. Also im Endeffekt, ich hab's ja auch mitbekommen, guck mal, 76 Jahre ist das Ding noch, jetzt geht's doch nur noch darum, einfach Einheiten reinstellen, 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 ist egal was kommt, scheiß auf die Fights, eigentlich musst du jetzt nur noch hier stehen. Mhm. Scheiß drauf, dass alle Einheiten hier, äh, dass alle Baracken ab gerissen werden. Im Endeffekt geht es ja nur darum, 200 Einheiten dort stehen zu haben, alles andere ist egal. Genau, aber wenn es nur noch 70 Jahre sind, dann ist es kein 2 gegen 2 gegen 2 mehr, dann ist es ein 2 gegen 4. Ja. Das wird hart. Ja, da bin ich jetzt wirklich gespannt. Nämlich jetzt machen alle die Burg, Druck. Die Burg wird halt sofort fallen, ne? Oh, Mara. <lacht> Hallo. Das ist ein bisschen wie, war das nicht ein Spiel Arena 2 gegen 1, 2 gegen Florentin und er so, der kann irgendwie meine, meine Burg ja, töten. Da stand ein Triburg und der hat immer wieder die Burg abgerissen und ja, das ist, das ist eine, eine Doubtburg, ne? Also, so kennt ja. man es. Also, ja. die fällt sofort um. Genau, aber kauft ein bisschen Zeit, ne? Und jetzt Florentin. Oh. Wichtig ist halt, dass jetzt Johnny und Viper von der einen Seite angreifen und Florentin und Jordan von der anderen. Das ist jetzt viel gegen praktisch eins, weil da ist nicht viel Rot. Aber Florentin muss jetzt rein, nämlich das, der kann doch nicht da hinten kämpfen und versuchen, die Burg zu verhindern. Das ist doch scheißegal, lass die Burg stehen, rauf da auf den Pit. Mhm. 
Also und jetzt geht es hier aber richtig los. Das ist genau das, was ich so an King of the Hill liebe. Es kommt dann diesen, zu diesem einen Moment, wo es richtig zur Sache geht. Guck mal, da werden sogar die Dorfbewohner von Mara hingestellt. Und das sind Inka-Dorfbewohner, die haben extra Angriff und extra Verteidigung, ne? das heißt, sie sind noch ein bisschen stärker. Aber da muss jetzt wirklich der Push kommen. Ich finde, dass Donny das ein bisschen zu passiv spielt mit Viper. Ja. Da muss jetzt einfach mal 49 Jahre, ich glaube, ganz ehrlich, Tato und Mara gewinnen das hier im ersten Versuch. Uiuiui, ja, das würde mich... Also es sendet auch... Guck mal, jetzt kommt ja alles hier in die Mitte, was noch geht, also... Hauptsache, wir haben da irgendwas stehen. Hauptsache, wir haben so viel wie möglich dort stehen, dass niemand diese Mitte übernehmen kann. Solche Fights, jetzt noch Micron. Scheiß drauf, Florentin, du musst da mit rein. Genau. Mara und Tato machen das hier hervorragend, finde ich. Absolut, nur noch 40 Jahre hier. Und normalerweise wechselt das hin und her, es werden Leute immer getötet. Jetzt ja. wäre natürlich die Zeit, wo Tato nichts zu Hause hat. Da könnte man komplett drüber fahren. Ja. Aber eigentlich... Ja, wozu denn? Ich meine, im Endeffekt... Guck mal, Mara sendet jetzt alle Villager nach vorne. Alles rein. Mhm. Hallo, ja, ich bin gespannt, wie sie sie da noch rausbekommen. Und das ist das einzige Team, die auch keinen Handel haben. Das heißt, falls sie hier irgendwie noch geklärt werden, verlieren sie das Spiel auf jeden Fall. Keine Chance, irgendwie noch auf gute Einheiten zu kommen danach. Ui, 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 ui. Also, ich frage mich wirklich, warum nicht jetzt von Viper die Ansage kommt, Donny, Donny, geh rein, denk nicht dran, dass halt dort Halberdiere stehen, geh einfach, klick einfach rein und ich mach den Rest. Ja, das ist halt hart, ne? Es ist halt nicht so, oh, wir haben auch Einheiten dort, sondern es muss jede Einheit hier zerstört werden. Und es sind nur noch 26 Ui. Jahre. Jetzt kommt der dicke Kampf hier, aber es wird wirklich eng, Marco. Ah ja, ja, können wir mal bei Tato und Mara reinhören, wie die das Ganze sehen? Lachen die oder haben die Freude? Oder Fight the elephants, people! 17. <lacht> Das ist natürlich super intensiv für die jetzt noch 90 this. Jahre. Die werden eine Menge ein. 14, go! Ja, ja, ja. 14, go, 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 go! go. Oh you got the power. Ja, yeah, they got the power. <lacht> Tato feuert sein Team an, die jetzt <lacht> Sieg nur noch 15 Jahre. Das schaut richtig gut aus. Wir müssen überlegen, dass die natürlich so ein paar 10 Sekunden ungefähr vor uns sind. Ja. Das heißt, vielleicht freuen die sich gleich ein bisschen früher. Nur aber jetzt Jahre. kommt der Push von Donny und von Viper. Hier sind aber zu wenige Einheiten auf dem Pit. Jetzt schickt... Viper, die Skorpione auch mit drauf. Es kommen ein paar Rammen, aber Mara macht das, wie sie das auch schon mal gemacht hat. Alles, alles rauf. Schnell, schnell, aber langsam werden die Einheiten weniger. Die Einheiten gehen aus. Oh ja, trotzdem sind immer noch sechs Jahre hier. Die Kasernen sind oh. am Laufen. Und das ist einfach zu viel Fleisch ja. hier noch auf dem Feld. Ja, Tattoo hat da alles unter Kontrolle. Das wird es gewesen sein. Oh, noch drei Jahre. Und das war's hier. Wir hören schon den Victory Sound. Und jetzt möchte ich noch mal hören, wie Tattoo sich hier freut mit Mara. Oh, Gratulation, ja, gut gespielt. Einfach, äh, stark ich gemacht. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was, yeah, Michael was just saying, I mean, I'm just going to repeat what he just said. That was a great strategy. I mean, yes. to, to have these uh, just spam out so you constantly have the hill. Yeah. But we yeah. definitely had the better composition. <laughs> I mean, I think long term we would have had a very good position, but yeah. Shit. They were going with the all-in early play while we were making more of a long term yeah. strategy. So. so, guys, what a game. What a game! <laughs> was it good, yeah? <laughs> it, it, it was good, but um, Tato yeah. and Mara, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, GG. Well, we such training. a good match plan from mm. the Are start. Are we the only one trading? No, no. no. Trading. Yeah. my KD. Oh. <laughs> Seems like they can't hear us oh. yet. Oh, oh, we can hear you. Yeah, oh, we can oh, hear you. Yeah. Sorry, we can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, Mara and Tato had such a good game plan, and uh, congrats, uh, it, wor it, it worked out. So, yeah. Maybe we ask Tato. So, What was the game plan idea you picked Incas and Goth? Why? Well, she likes to play with Incas, she told me, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> and then I decided to go for Goth because uh, the production is super fast mm -hmm. and I wanted to go like f full Jolo. So. And it worked out. Yeah. Okay. Mara, das war ja nicht das erste Mal, dass du King of the Hill gewonnen hast. Mit yeah. derselben Strategie schon wieder? Ja. Yeah. Hast du daraus gelernt oder, oder hast du es dir gemerkt, wie du damals schon gewonnen hast? Oder ist das jetzt. Yeah. No, he Tatu said when, when it was like uh, 50 years left, he said all in, oh, okay. go all in with all your abilities. No <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it's just, yeah. They seem to like having fun all the time. Like, uh, sometimes I was hearing them go like, yeah, 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 just a damn, damn, damn. We're like, we're like really, yeah, yeah, build elephants, we yeah. do that. But we're not but like, we're in a good way. We're really focused, like, and then every now and then from the side, you hear this, yeah, we're just being like, that, that, that. Oh, well. Uh, I have one question for Jordan. What were you thinking when you sent in your arbalest against the goth? Yeah, what? I have you made arbalest? <laughs> no, but not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, but oh, like 40. Yeah. Like 40. Why would you make arbalest? Mind games, man. Mind games. <laughs> <laughs> no one expects that one. Well, then I blame you for this, that we finally didn't take the middle. <laughs> no, but uh, I was uh, thinking that he would do something else, so champions or something. 
So I want to tell Rest a bit, but obviously Haskell's. I didn't <laughs> like. I, I didn't go too deep, right? So <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just uh, retreating right away. So yeah, but it's, uh, it was a great strategy. Uh, so yeah, at one point they were like, "Send all your villagers." I'm like. What the hell are they planning? <laughs> <laughs> he even said, it, it might sound weird, but send all your villagers. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all in, <laughs> they're like, all in. <laughs> Why are you asking me for that? Florentine, are you still there? Or what's yeah. Going on? Oh, I'm there. yeah, I, I, I couldn't do much. I wasn't uh, really present in the game. Oh. Um, yeah. You did, you did okay. good. Yeah, you were, you were just annoying me a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I was like a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. When we saw your fight, um, Viper against Florentine, the micro wars, it was so intense. It was intense. so good. So and you saw micro got Florentine against the best in the world, and it was even. Yeah, but the thing is, like, he's doing this micro war. I didn't see it, but you describe it as, like, a huge micro war. But at the same time, he's talking to me really calmly, going, like, yeah, build a wall up here. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, this, uh, there's gold over there. Watch out. Oh, you, you, your scout is idle. And he's going, like, what the fuck? Like, how do you, I mean, it's, it, it, I can't get it into my head how you can do all these things at one time. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Guys, it was an amazing match, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward for the third, and I hope not the last match today. Um, the vote is still on. You can decide which will be the fourth match. Maybe it's a three, we, three or two versus two, or a one versus one, the Viper against myself. I prefer the team game. I want to see a team. And it looks like it should be the three v three oh. at the moment. Oh my God, it's so close. Come on, guys. It's a team game. Okay. So we will go for a short uh, commercial break. And after that, we will see Nilly and myself will playing against Jordan, Donnie and Mara. And the casters will be uh, Doubt and Viper. So see you soon. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> so, at last, you get an actual proper cast. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you dealt with earlier, but now we're, we're not messing around anymore. Best players so. and best casters. Yes. Nearly out of work. Yes. So, what we have in front of us now should be a 2v3 match, right? It's going to be Nilly and Marco against... Jordan. Jordan. The girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, Mara, <laughs> and Donnie. Yeah, I knew yes. this. Yes, you knew that, that. totally. That. So we have a 2v3 on paper. Three people should be better than two. On paper, on I paper. should be better than you, but... Uh, Why? I don't know. <laughs> I like paper. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So that, since it's a 2v3, three should be better than two, as we stated. Yes, as we, you stated that. There I are different agree. skill levels yeah. between the players. And Jordan so, is better than Neely. <laughs> <laughs> he should be with the other team. <laughs> Okay, well, do, does he have to, though? Because we have... I mean, Marco is better than both Donnie and Mara, and Jordan is better than Nilly. Well, so then it like, makes sense, but... It's okay, a little it's bit... It's different because Jordan can be in pocket, and as a pocket, yeah, it's like, you can we get free boom out of it. Yeah, but then again, uh, in our 3v3 match, where you died miserably... <laughs> With miserable, miserable, yes. <laughs> slow death. Then we had... We had, you we had uh, Florentina's pocket, and mm. he's yeah, su yeah. supposedly weaker than us. Yeah. Well, they had MDL pocket... So. It's supposed to be, to be weaker than us as well. He is weaker than us. <laughs> I like that. Hello, MBL. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, but do you have a prediction so far? I go for the Jordan team. The Jordan team. Yeah, girl is there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm not sure how much longer it is until we're ready. I'm going to try and check out uh, if they're actually in a game room or something. Okay, I'm in the wrong room. So, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Maybe they started already. It makes a lot of sense. So, let's Professional see. Professional caster. Wait, this is... Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're in the game room right now. We're, we're just having to wait until they are ready. Um, yeah, what else can we say about? How is tournament going for you? Which tournament? Uh, Nilly's Cup, Apartment Cup. Oh, that's going pretty well. How's that's it going for you? <laughs> pretty well as well. I'm free. <laughs> My schedule is completely free now. <laughs> so I'm happy. Do you want to tell the people uh, your overall score at Nilly's Apartment Cup? Uh, no. <laughs> I can tell it. No. No? What's your prediction? Let's let's talk about the future. Like on Saturday, you have your actually you play only on Sunday. Well, I have two games today. Oh yeah. So if yeah. you guys want to see that, remember to tune in later at Nilis Cup. Oh, we do some master professional pieces. sellout. As we see, we have Nilis there. Oh, he looks so focused. And now I'm inside his head. <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> it's like but okay, head. yeah, I'm in his head. Oh look, oh look at that. Oh. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> look at that face. All right. 
Okay, so um, well, just to me, you can tell people behind our bet because the game is useless for Viper and it's useless for me at the Miss Spartan Cup. He'll be first, I'll be last either way. Well, so actually, we I can. Small bet to I make can. It interesting. If, if I lose to MBL, I can get second. If I lose to you, it's then your motivation on. to beat Come me. On. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you never know. All right, so. Um, but we can switch, like, uh, make them talk. Like, go to make them talk. Oh, oh, they started. They started. They started. Oh. Okay, guys, they have, they have officially launched the game. Well, they've launched it, but they still have to start the game. So it might but be another like, minute. We are like gods here. We can like click and put Jordan on the screen. Like, Jordan. We cannot do that. <laughs> we that's, can. That's production. But we demand it and they do it for us. Uh, can we see Jor uh, we oh, wait, wait, okay. Jordan? Can we see Jordan close up? Let's see if we have the power. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Jordan, this is a question for you. This is great. I don't think he can hear it. Oh, he can probably still hear us. Jordan, can you hear us? If you can hear us, then wave. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, don't stop smiling. Okay, <laughs> okay, he can hear us. Okay. Oh, oh, there's Donny. Oh, he's loom, Donny. Donny, loom. Loom, Donny. They can't hear us, man. Can they not? No, they would answer. They were just talking to each other. Have you actually seen that the Bayern da so a scheiß Weste? That's now Nidhi with a Weste angekommen. Is wurde das schon kommentiert? Das ist ja wohl die absolute Oberflächheit. Da kommt er hier als Gast hierher und dann zieht er sich eine Weste an. Stimmt, kann, aber Production is not that good, that good here, man. <laughs> <laughs> and we are compared back. to your stream. Compared to my stream. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess there, what kind of strategy do you expect in a two v three? In two what do you expect from the two players? If uh, Jordan is trying full hard, full three hard, he will make other star rush. But he's on the th he's on team three, man. Yes. Ask what you expect for the two players. Oh, from two players. <laughs> yes. To lose. <laughs> well, that makes, that makes sense as well. Probably, so probably they will just try to play as safe as possible with better economy. So nearly booming while Marco, yeah, you see, I know. Marco. Marco, yeah. 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 He will try to put some pressure and keep them safe. You're smart, man. Yeah, I am. Mean. Okay. Sometimes I have my So moments. what do you expect from the three players then? To put the pressure while Ooh. keep Jordan safe to boom. Because you expect like Mara and uh, and Donny to go like aggressive, yeah, like towers players. maybe even delete this thing and put it like Persian, man. <laughs> yeah, Persian, yeah. Persian no. douche. Oh, look. oh, Western man, oh. look I at want the that. Western man, man. <laughs> oh, that's oh, nearly. No, 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 don't do that. Nearly. That's nearly. disturbing, no. man. Nearly. That was change too the much. Change, too change, much. change, change, change. <laughs> Get the away. Scene. Too much. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. Actually, no, actually, <laughs> yeah. Stay with that. Okay. So they're they're taking a while to start. Do yeah, <laughs> what about two people going Persians and both but of them TC dropping Jordan? Well, obviously, but that's what I, I was. Uh, no, Jordan. He's on their team. Like, yeah, <laughs> nearly, nearly. <laughs> to keep you safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, wondering, will they go full try hard? Like they can go both Koreans and tower yeah. whole map by drawing here pre boom. I think the games have been pretty serious so far. <laughs> well, if they go serious mode, maybe one guy Persian do that, and other guy Koreans and tower rush him. That's kind of easy win. <laughs> oh, easy win. Yeah, easy, easy win. Easy win, he really? says. Well, we have to see if they have something prepared. They're still uh, taking a while to start, so it would be cool to get a close up of someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yes, yes. But we're, okay, yeah. we want to talk to them, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, Donnie. <laughs> They're hiding. So hide and seek. Such a shy. <laughs> such a shy guy. Oh, there's Mara. There's Neil. Oh, you can. Yeah, tell us who they are, Tut. Oh, oh, oh Neely. Western man. Marco. Marco. Yes, Marco. yes, yes. I know, I know. Good job, man. And Jordan, I guess. Oh, they, they are. Look, no, look how serious yes, they are. Yeah, well, they are definitely not messing we around. We are in Germany right now. And everything is okay. like super oh, dry hard. Do you want me to show off my German? <laughs> yes. Okay, yes, since yes, we have yes. a lot of German viewers, I can say. Ich heiße Orian. Ich bin. Translate, translate. Ja, das ist halt, die machen ja nicht viel gegen deine Mauern. What did you think, man? In deinem Ton. Okay, das heißt, wir nehmen irgendwas mit Helle Barton. Er boomt er boom dann halt immer auf im Kemet. Wow. Ich glaube, so, ich das ist ja nicht gut. Ah, doch. Ja, ja, ich glaube, so ich glaube, ich, so, glaub, ich will Inka ja, nehmen. Ich glaube, ich will Inka nehmen. Okay. And look at them. Don't care. <lacht> We don't yeah. care. What? We don't care. <lacht> Hello. Uh, 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 we're, we're ready to. We're ready to. Start What the game can we already? Do? Are you host? No. <laughs> How can I be host? Because you may, I would be host if I, if I was sitting there and I was doing the... Maybe. I would be the host, probably. Well, they still, I mean... 
I'm expecting it to start anytime soon. We could see that uh, Marco and Nilly were super serious in their discussion. Yeah. They, they are definitely going plan. full try hard. Uh, maybe, I didn't maybe. understand a single word he said. But you said you, you study German. Half a year, man. Ich kann sprechen Deutsch. Bitte, bitte. Sounds good for me. <laughs> okay. Well, that works, that works. All right, so uh, here we are again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do. We're Just about Nimi's apartment cup. We man. are very it's used to this. Weekend. What? The finals are coming in the weekend. Who are you expecting to meet in finals? You think I'll be in the final? Yes, because if you're first place, you're basically in the final. I need to get first place first. Wait, oh, oh no. That doesn't feel good. Uh, that's the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get in again. Did I put a password? Um, you see, it happens to me when I'm home all the time. I do nothing, <laughs> and this guy happens. I have a no problem. We might have to request a restart here from the guys because there's a small, small error here on our on enjoy? our end. Uh, I don't have the password. Oh. So, Maybe is there serious? any way we could? Can we try and check if they're actually playing or not? Did their did their game actually start for them? Is there a way for us to find out that? <laughs> yes. So we need to restart. So we got the message we got was anti cheat message. So whoever's been playing here, so, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's suspicious, man. Yeah, that's suspicious indeed. Let me just try and check that I can actually join the game first to make sure that this works. <clears throat> and you're always blaming me for having problems, you see? I'm, well, I'm unlucky, man. <laughs> <laughs> it always happens. You're also a dinosaur, so. Yeah, that makes sense as well. That's a, that's a bad combination. <laughs> I, I'm not even using it. <laughs> it happened, man. Well, okay, it seems now. like it's working, so it should be fine. Just need to get back into their game. Hang on, boys. We, 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 we'll get there soon. Uh, okay. <laughs> great start, great start. Do you think okay. they will invite us to cast some more games in the future? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that was it for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, professionals. Uh, we, we are professionals, man. Yes. <laughs> what is the problem? Don't worry, man. We got this. Okay, so there. Where are they? Five. Okay, game five. Okay, wait. There's no password. Okay. Now we should be fine. We Let's see go, the... guys. We are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what's the hold up, guys? Just write 40, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> I didn't touch anything. <laughs> Magic, man. <laughs> what did they do, man? We're fine, guys. The game is, uh, it's, Probably they're starting. launching, so it's going to take like a, a minute and then we should be in the game. And uh, please work, what we're saying. You're Lord Doubt. You shouldn't you have like some out of this world power to just like I make this work? Give me a big screen on, on the Jordan, <laughs> on the Neely, this time on the Neely. Does Lord Doubt have power? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Easy, man. Easy. Look at Lord what Doubt. else you want? <laughs> Uh, what else can you do? <laughs> I can put, put the camera on Jordan. <laughs> can you? Let's see Jordan. <laughs> Just Whoa. Oh, oh, easy, man. Look at that. <laughs> Smile. Lord out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is Jordan now. Back. Yeah, we're back. Okay. So what else can we do? How do they fill time when they're in They in talk here? German. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but they, know, they man. Talk, they're talking about something, though, in German. Yes, maybe probably about the game. But. Ich kann sprechen Deutsch <laughs> und das Spielen Age of Empires. Alles gut, man. Right? Alles gut. Wo bist du, man? You're stupid. <laughs> You're not me. I tried. At least I tried. So, how right. do you like Hamburg? Talk about weather or something. Well, we've been walking like f the same path yeah. five minutes <laughs> and not anywhere else. I try many times here. to go more, but then she survives right there and I just sit there for yeah. five hours. And so... Rain starts and... Oh. oh, the game is about to start. Please work. Please work. Oh, it works. It works. All right, guys. We are about to jump into the game. Get hyped. Okay, hype. What the hell was that? Did you press something? Did you mean something? <laughs> Is this your magic again? Did you mean something? It sounds like we got jackpot or something. Nice. What? Okay, we're in the game. Let's get the game on. There we go, magic. All right. 
Oh, it's, it's going fast. very fast. <laughs> All right, so but we have... But map is it anyway. We didn't this even know the map. This is hideout. <laughs> we could have talked about the map. <laughs> well, we didn't know the map. We were right? like thinking of the okay. like, How can Kitara actually make this easier? So, okay, we have hideout out. It's a 2v3, as we know. We have... Um, oh, that's interesting. They probably picked civilizations by the Yeah, we could talk about what tips they will pick as well. Yeah, oh, <laughs> why didn't we think of that? No, well, now we see the tips. They're actually typing. Look, that's try hard, man. Yeah, they don't want to... They are wanna... typing to not reveal... To the others, what they're doing? Well, to yeah, because the other speaks German. This is a, oh, this is a full German war, man. Uh, 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 yes, it yes, is. It yes, it is. Let's, I guess we are not there. We should have could have talked about that as well. <laughs> we have anything to talk about, actually. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's have a quick look at what are they saying? Dan last schau schauen Bob Mauen. English, please. Yes. Okay, let's check That's the positions. Okay. Check the position. Yes. So on the top left side, spawning in the yellow color, we have NC Pseudo, also known as. <laughs> I can, I can. Marco. Yeah, Marco. Yeah, Marco. He's playing in the yellow, the best color. Everyone knows that. And he's playing as Aztecs. Best you. His teammate is Nilly Aoi, of course, Nilford. Uh, he's playing in the red, playing as the Slavs. Our host is. <laughs> our host in Hamburg. I sell him out a little bit, man. Yes, he's our host. Sell him out then. I don't know. You're the professional seller. Okay, okay. Mara heal. She can heal them. No, that means she's there. So he knows that he's against Mara. That's what he's saying. Okay. Yes, girl. I should try to do some proper camera work here. Okay. In the orange, we have Mara playing as the Aztecs as well. He's on the right side next to Nilly. Their pocket is Jordan. That's ideal situation. No? Yeah. yeah. So they got the best player as pocket, which is yes. <laughs> like best Jordan player in the in game. game. <laughs> in the game. Best player in the game as pocket. They got the best player in the game. Doesn't sound right. Yes. Man. And he's playing as the Indians. On the left side, we have Donnie with a great uh, cow, eating cows outside the town centers. Not yeah. recommended. Don't do that at home. <laughs> and he's playing as the Burmese. Stood out. What's your professional expertise, 40 years of playing Age of Empires, opinion on this game? On three against two game. That it's is paused. paused. <laughs> that is paused. What do you think about the civs? Do you understand them? Is there any logic behind it? I what don't do you think? understand anything. You must help me, man. I think there will be some masterpiece with elephants. So, Jordan, Indians, Aztecs, Burmese against Aztecs Labs. And why did he take Aztecs? Well, uh, maybe, maybe my it's prediction was right. Aztecs will put some pressure with monks, eagles. But do you yeah. think... Uh, so Mara is playing as Aztecs, right? Yeah. Do you think she has the knowledge and the skill to pull off like a proper pressure with... Uh, I'm talking about uh, Marco, man. Marco? Yeah. And then uh, Nilly just booming with... Yeah, with Slavs, which is like slabs. the best booming team. Okay. And then transition to what can he transition to move? Probably help reduce the rounds to destroy one player quickly. And then try to win Jordan by themselves. The good thing here is I see Nilla's Civ as a good counter to Jordan's Civ. Oh, yeah. And they oh. are the two best players in the game. Oh, so yes. if Nilly goes like Siege and Halberdiers, then they don't have too much answer to that. Because Jordan is. The nearest are fine, but plus one range on them as well. But powerhouse of Indians are those camels, which will be useless. Yeah. So Jordan has actually three on woods. And what does that and usually one, imply, Doubt? I'm just looking at it at the tree that is like on the left that will address. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not the best yeah, efficiency. Yeah. And but that, that's not the point right now. Yeah, uh, I can't stop wood. looking at it, man. <laughs> <laughs> he has three on Can wood. we get the Jordan and ask him why he's not fixing it? Oh, look at that. Him? Triple camera on the bottom. Now that's oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan fixed it. Oh, oh, that was fast, yeah. So why does he only have three on wood? Do you think it's gonna go some feudalish play here? Yeah, it usually means scouts in fast feudal. Well, fast feudal and probably scouts, but here as pocket, I don't think so. Probably just miss like like that village on wood. It's Jordan is not playing. Oh, good, this man. this will be exciting. Oh, oh, oh. man Donny? against Bor. Oh, loom Donny, loom Donny. He's gonna delete the wall. <laughs> or the villager. He is not doing oh, loom oh, oh. yet. He's sending oh, another, double, another double one. villager lure. And under TC, under TC. So when she, <laughs> when she dies, this one will pick yeah, the Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. It's, it's cheaper than loom. Oh, Donnie. Gold is more Donny. expensive. Oh, let's see, Donnie. Come on, Donnie. You can do it. This is very important right now. Oh, it's actually, this looks like a very good border, no? Is this the idol? No. Oh, actually. Oh, no. Oh. 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 So, for those who don't know, oh, look, yeah, <laughs> close up on Donny. So focused. <laughs> so, for those who didn't see that, he had eight, seven wills on this tree, taking 50 wood. The problem was, every, all of them were carrying 50, like a couple of wood each, and then he clicked it on the board, so he lost all that wood. What but would you have done? He didn't lose villager. No, so it's success. Yeah. It's success. Like what trade wood done? for villager. Yeah, he could have garrisoned the town center and then released them to drop off the wood first. 
But that's that's risky, man. Yeah. Then Village might die. That's true. So yeah, it was it was a good lure. Yeah, yeah, it was a decent one. Who is attacking? Uh, just drawing on the wall. Yeah, he's just uh, versus Donny. They're, but they're actually not using the team speak. They're actually yeah, typing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes. that's nearly <laughs> full yeah. professional. And I'm sure card. Jordan, uh, Jordan, uh, Donny, and Mara are talking all the time. I'm trying to look at their camera right now, see if they're talking. They're actually all super silent, so I was completely <laughs> wrong. So that's not the point. So Mara's going super fast. Well, not super fast, but she's going pretty fast fuel edge. But let's, let's check what's uh, Nili doing. We know what... Uh, well, we don't even know well, what We know that Nili is not even up to fuel edge yet, so he's probably booming. It's a fast castle for sure. Mara deleted and two... And Jordan, Jordan, oh. with, with, with Jordan is feudal. Yes. Why? It's going for stable. stable. Scouts from pocket on this map, mm -hmm. where the... Oh, you know what I think? I think he wants Mara and and the Donny to apply pressure on the sides, open the walls, so his scouts can oh, come in that and do can damage. Work. That can work. Yeah. Um, but are they doing that? What she, else makes sense? <laughs> are they applying pressure to the walls? Uh, well, she deleted the wall to make a barracks, so this might be some eagle wars, eagle warriors. But uh, yeah, they're not, there's, there's not pressure on the walls yet, so... So, you're wrong again. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Barracks from Marco, though. This should be a fast... Castle? Not taking gold? We have to investigate this. What is this new meta build order? Okay. It's about to be an offer cap castle. But there's no gold income here for Marco. Should we make market and buy it, but buy big. Let's man. hope so. What happened here? While well, they're typing Uwa. What happened? Oh, we oh, found Steve. some cows. No, that's extra cows, probably. Donny, 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 Donny at Fuelage? What's and, the plan, Donny? And, 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 and. Barracks? Stable? stable. Uh, double stable double to stable. Hit walls? A little bit strange, especially, yeah, considering that they are actually fully walled. Do they know that they're walled? Oh, it's doing Spearman? Oh, double barracks. <laughs> they're all playing like they're not walled. He's making double barracks, Spearman, and they're making double scouts. What? He doesn't... <laughs> Let me, does he try know they're walled? Does he know that... Uh, he doesn't know about the stable of uh, but, him. But he also doesn't know about Jordan's stable. So this is the ultimate blind counter. Yeah, yeah it's ultimate mind games. Blind. It's mind games. Yeah. This, they're smart. Yeah. Yeah. Marco is a this cheat. Is look, a look, look, well, look, you can tell he, that he he's... He looks smart, obviously. Yeah. That, <laughs> Especially in that yeah, west. Yeah. You can tell that he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Ah, the, oh. Thinking ahead. The gate is going down. Nearly super fast castle. It's definitely just... Now, Spearman coming, Spearman coming. He does that. have uh, five on gold, though. It kind Spearman, of man, you're missing the action. No, no, no. Oh, Jordan! <laughs> oh, boy. He <laughs> took three hits. Yeah, he did. And oh, fourth <laughs> hit. Jordan is This the... guy is... That's why, okay, okay, Jordan, because he's the worst player in the team, he will apply pressure while, while the girl is booming. Debbie. <laughs> The girl. The, no, it's the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Forget the names, man. Mara. Her name Mara. is there on the game. Mara. Adoni. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Their names are there. <laughs> I got it now. Okay. So what is Mara. she? What is she actually doing here? She's uh, not. Oh, she's going Castle Age. Do you think she went Monk Christian or go Eagles in Castle Age? I think it would be completely random. We can't even predict. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even predict, man. Nearly did go for the. Um, for the stable, so he's gonna add some nice probably while booming just to keep safe. Uh, oh Marco shit. switching on to the to the <laughs> gold. I like uh, Marco, like he made two barracks like the experiment. Check, check, check. The oh. gold. The, 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 the. He made two, like when he's secured his uh, vault in gold, he to start taking it. Yeah. Like invest to the experiment and now when it's safe, let's take it. But he doesn't know about this. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's a little bit out of range. And he doesn't have stone for the next follow-up tower, but I'm sure he's but, taking stone. Yeah, with one villager. One villager might take a while, yeah, but let's kill, get in, a, in a minute, oh, he's bringing villagers into the fray. Now this is probably gonna go down this wall right now. Oh, spearman! Yeah, this was a genius move by Western man, getting the spearman, man. And we were laughing at it. You were laughing. I'm still I laughing. always believed in him. <laughs> and Jordan, what is Jordan doing? Just scouting the Jordan, map. Uh, he's going castle now. Yeah, it's a pretty good castle time still. It seems like he will just transition into boom. Doing a market to get cartography for free. And nearly full boom. Donny boom Tower. Heavy plow as well. Donny Tower, he says, but oh. ooh, he's already on top of it. He's going to counter tower. And this tower will probably not go up you for never know, you Mr. Never know. Donny. <laughs> <laughs> Keep you the hype on. Yeah, you think? Think? Well, let's check. Yeah, you're right. I think the tower won't go yeah. out. Yes.
Nilla's got Night. some knights out. Mid now, now the big question is, what is Mara actually doing here? Is it a monk rushed out? Or is it a... It's a mega random. It's mega random. It's a little bit of everything. Like, you can get in the girl's cat, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> right, well. I guess the tower rush. Uh, oh, forward ranges from Mr. Joden. So he's gonna apply pressure with crossbows? Like, do you, uh, you want to kill Marco so badly? Yeah, but he's already cast it. Wouldn't it be better to just go cavalrys here? Cavalry archers? Yeah. Because yeah. he's gonna have three archers agree, and agree. upgrade them to crossbows. That takes a long time. Costs a lot of food and gold. Would be yeah, way better production just... is already not like when you're long in feudal, you want to have a yeah. decent group of archers, and then I go yeah. to crossbow. But now, forward seed rush up as well. So. Yeah, they really want to apply the pressure on. They want to uh, kill Marco. one guy and then yeah, free against Nili. I think Marco is in a good position to defend though. Jordan siege by Mir. <laughs> so I mean, he has a tower here. He has two barracks. He's going cast as He could make eagles. That's what he's doing as well. So I think with eagles, he should be able to defend at least by a lot of time. And with Nili, who has three town centers up and running, he's uh, already a couple of hills ahead of the rest. And it's Slav's farms, man. Yeah, Slav's farms working super fast as well. So. Yeah, it's a very, very... I like the position of Nili and Marco here. And uh, Ma is making monks, you're right. <laughs> I got it from the third time. Good job, Doubt. Yeah, yeah. So this is where the action is going to take place right now. What? Oh, How did he get this? We have uh, Donny. Oh, look at this Donny Micro. With bloodlines, so it's he easy. He snuck the village and he killed another village oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Magonella, Magonella. Oh, wall and villager. Oh, man. And oh, and Donny is in her again. Oh, the, he's oh, boy. Oh boy, it's plan is working. I want to see Donny's face, how he's concentrating. How concentrated is Donny? Oh, there he is. Look at that concentrated. Oh. That is a guy with a. He, oh, he, <laughs> had, he, actually. he has a goal. That guy has a goal in mind, I tell you, man. That was great. Beautiful, beautiful play by Mr. Donny. Wonder who he's been learning from. Hmm. Oh, you're teaching him? Not yet. Yeah. Soon, soon, soon. Okay. So, another villager oh, probably man. going down. Yes, so it's great village as well. Count Donny has, really has the second highest villager count. But look at the nearest villager count in yeah, Jordan. Yeah. That's yeah. quite a but big. Then again, look at Marco's villager count. After, look at this bathing as well with the spears. <laughs> oh, this is this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And no. Uh, oh, oh, oh that was Don't let me down, Donny. <laughs> oh, look at He's this. He's already doing it. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Ich bau dir knight, knight. Oh, he got under the tower. <laughs> oh boy, Marco. Marco is definitely feeling the heat. He's down to 25 villages only. He does have a couple of eagles though, but the question is, does he have the resources only to... Only one already, yeah. And he doesn't have the re resources to upgrade either. And he's making something below the... I mean, the below the Magona house. He was, probably trying, he was probably trying to quick wall earlier. And, and did you think up. it failed? Yeah. <laughs> it it might have. Um, on the other hand, Nilly is just scouting around, trying to figure out what Dow uh, Jordan no. is doing. <laughs> You're all into me. Jordan, 3 TZ booming in the back. Mara is still uh, 2 TC. A uh, little bit of a strange TC yeah. placement, but it works. But it, it got trees, it got the gold. <laughs> I agree with that TC. Approved. Yeah. Uh, you can see they're all super focused there. The west is blinking beautifully, as it should. Uh, two monks to Mara. She's just playing safe. I think she's gonna have stone for a castle oh, soon, though. Yeah, she's yeah, ready, yeah. pretty much ready for a castle. Do you think she will go and drop a fort castle on top of Nili? I think Jordan would like that to keep the pressure. So yeah. as as much time she oh, came back for Jordan. Oh, missed this. Missed this. There's been a How? fight here, but Mangana went down. Nili apparently sent a knight or two, and Jordan lost whoa, to Mangana, and now he's losing a crossbow. Jordan has doesn't have Botkin arrow, <laughs> so crossbows don't do too much either. That's a good cleanup for uh, Nelly and Marco. He should here. focus on villagers, not on eagles. Those are dead anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're also not even upgraded eagles. They're not like a scary unit. What are those two random crossbow now? With fletching. <laughs> He's still making. Uh, why yeah. didn't he just make cross carriages? Yeah. Yeah, more mobility, more speed. And he would be able to afford uh, Rodkin Arrow then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Marco is castled, though he's doing the Eagle Warrior upgrade now. So he's kind of stabilized here. He's pretty far behind the rest of the guys, but. Uh, Big thing here is that Nili, of course, is way ahead of everyone and else. Is he ready to click up? He should be getting close he's to getting clicking up. His food is there. Yeah, yeah. 800 food. He's not producing bills anymore. So that could mean that he is uh, saving for Imperial Age right he now. He will sell some wood and go out. That does not seem unlikely. Mara still, I want to see the forward castle drop. She needs to buy as much time as possible yeah. because Just obviously Nili's economy is the best in the game right yeah. now. Oh, four castles from Don, and he's got. Do you think we'll see a Rambai? 
Oh, what else? What else? Oh, oh, oh. Best unit in game. Yeah, so I'm expecting... Uh, I really want to see the forward castle from Mara as well, just because... I mean, it might be risky, because Nile might have units out to defend if the castle goes up like here. Controls one gold, forces Nile to actually deal with it. Goal, that castle will actually die super fast. Nile is up, Tears will come. Yeah, but it will buy time for Jordan yeah, to yeah, get yeah, Imperial. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. That's the point. But maybe even better will be some walls. It's not that oh hard boy. to some wall it. Marco and Nile are in here. All oh, they're raiding the villas. Will it be a Doubt Castle? <laughs> doubt Castle. <laughs> Oh, it will go up. What? Yeah, will it? What, what we need, we need to see the percentage. No, 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 no. Oh, he's trying to oh, quick no roll. Donny, no. Donny. Well, oh, nice protection by yeah. the on the village here. Oh, there's one, two villages left. Two Jordan, villages Jordan, left. Jordan, Jordan, Eagle, oh, Jordan. Oh, 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 oh. This village lives. It lives. Jordan, Eagle, deals the Eagle. Wall Jordan. it in. Wall it in. No. Go, Donny, wall it in. Donny, Donny. And, oh, oh. <laughs> so, so close. And. Let's That's see. Not, Let's see the reaction. How many more wills is it going to be? Look at Donnie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's not, a, that's not a happy well, face. I, I, I hear that face many Delta, times. we think of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know, they know. <laughs> Where are the... He should send more wheels now to finish the castle, no? It would make sense. Because it's 82%. And, and it's they have the safe. army to defend it now, yeah. So I would expect to see more wheels. Oh, there we go. Coming. Three more wheels. You were just trying to choose the right guys yes. for the job. Mar uh, Neil is sending villagers down to the left. Oh, side. he's not going to attack... Uh... Ma <gasps> Mara, yeah, Mara, Mara, Mara. <laughs> oh, oh, she's just passing. Okay, so do you think it will go barracks, halberdier, siege, or mm. do? You yeah, it's Maybe I mean champions barracks. for like power unit early on. Drashina champions. Yeah. Like Jordan doesn't have clean answer until he gets hand cannoneer, but that requires a lot of time. He could go cow archers. He uh, did, did. Did he stop making a crossbow? He switched to camels. Still only has fletching. But he's switching to camels. Do you think this was a mistake? He's getting or... lines as well. Yeah, yeah but do you is. think he... Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, he made so many crossbows, he should have had bulk an hour by now. And he's adding camels as well, so he can definitely afford it. Yeah, for sure. And we're still being a nuisance for, uh, for Marco here. But now Nil is an imp, he should be able to clean almost all of this. Yeah, I think oh, they actually might have a ram like oh, <laughs> oh it's not this, this unit does pretty well against uh, everything. Against, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything, everything in the game, pretty much. Until post imperial age. And Nilly, not messing around. Yeah, yeah. Stone on the whole left side, making sure they want to make it so they can fight in one side and only. push it all yeah. the way. So focus one entirely on one side. And Nilly can actually start slinging soon enough as well. Yeah. But the, the cool thing here that I could do as well is... Cut. Their bases are... I read are your mind. I read your mind. Through the forest. Like, you could cut yeah. with onagers through the whole forest to enter through the middle of the map. I don't see anyone doing it immediately, but maybe as the game goes yeah. on. Yeah. If you got stalemate in the, in the sides, somebody will try to do that. Yeah. But do you agree with Jordan switch to camels? Like, he knows he is against Slavs. Does he really expect the knight? Um... He was expecting knights, obviously, because he switched to camels, but... It's a little bit, I think, army composition-wise. Uh, Imperial Camel, Arambai... They should do okay, They all should melt against pure Halberdiers. Yeah, that's the thing, right? There'll be Siege Ram and Halberdier coming from Nilford, most likely. And this Egypt, uh, Halberdiers, yeah. Yeah, yes, a lot of Halberdier already. 25 military for Nili. Like, with 4-5 Siege Ram, he has Siege Ram on the way already. Then he should be able to like, clean this whole thing immediately. Jordan Unless Donny has godlike micro. Oh, Which that is. type of micro. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but yeah. Uh, he's gonna try and sneak into Nilla's base here with the camels, see if he can do something. Still, uh, let's see. Oh, Mara made the defensive castle. Really? Yeah. To protect the woodline. <laughs> and stone, man. You can't build yeah. more castles if you don't kill stone, so. True, true. Thinking true. ahead, thinking Well, ahead. she's fine, she's making jaguars. Well, actually, jaguars would do oh, amazing that on the other really side. Really good. Up against both, in the yeah. uh, Aztecs and Slavs. Yep. Jaguars send them really there. good. Send him there. Oh boy, he almost moved in, but he saw a ramba and was like, no, 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 no. Get out of there. Can't, can't fight. Oh, Tony! Tony, no! <laughs> Let's see his no. face. Let's see his Tony. face when he sees no, we, the ramps. No, we need to see this first. We can't switch to the <laughs> yeah, face yeah. yet. Oh, he, del he deleted it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he yeah, didn't hit. Oh, yeah. At least yeah. he didn't hear the sound. That could have been dangerous. That castle could have gone down immediately. Yeah, Population-wise, oh yeah, well, Don is just super focused, man. <laughs> super focused. Um, Rams coming. I don't see how they stop this, honestly. There's jaguars, too many Rams. Jaguars. Yeah, but the Jaguars. And Mara is in Imperial. The age. Jaguars are over here. Well, they they're quite be far there. away. And the human body knight can go to yeah. them as well. I wonder if. I, we need to see this first. But I wonder if Mara knows that Nilly stonewalled <laughs> the whole side. 
Eagles coming in, they're chasing the Aramba. Let's watch Donny's micro. Look at Donny go. Oh boy. Pretty oh decent. Yeah. I couldn't lose you, that. Yeah, you would, you would have lost a couple by now. I would lost all. I wouldn't yeah. even look there. I would fix my goal. Oh, that was the first one. Okay, three down. Still decent micro. He doesn't have, he does have bloodlines, right? Eight, yeah? Yes, yes, he does he have does. bloodlines. Not sure about Kazman G. Yeah. Chemistry or oh, coinage coming from Neil Perth, so he's gonna start slinging yeah, Marco as well. I told you he'll get him in the back, in the back, back yeah. in the game like that. Chemistry for Jordan, so. And that's hand the, cannon here. He wanted to do hand cannons here though, like this whole thing has been clean now. So the question is now, will they be able to get production up in time to well, defend? Oh, this is the bad position for, yeah. the, for the new buildings. Yeah, this is just like you playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in yeah. the Trudge City game. Yeah. So <laughs> like, Let's make a wall and the, buy time. The problem with this is that so their push is so close that he remakes this to make new units, but this is going to get destroyed immediately as well. So it's like you're not going to get the units in time. Those ranges should have been like, what we're making them now. Should be in this area. Uh, uh, let's check uh, Miles Jaguars. They're oh, still here not chilling. Not a single shit given. Oh, they know about the stones actually. So they should know that this whole thing is closed. Nil is also preparing a uh, push yeah, over there. But that's good. Oh, another Doubt Castle. <laughs> Second Doubt Castle. Man. Well, even if he makes it, that will be... <laughs> doubt Castle. <laughs> Oh boy, Donny. Oh boy, boy, boy. <laughs> that, uh, this will go down. Even if it went up, it would die. Yeah, there was, a, there was a little grain on his face this time. A little grain. Um, yeah, we should delete this. So we maybe have stone for a sec. Oh, Donny, delete it. Please delete it. Donny, Donny, Donny. He no, will get like no. <laughs> five stone at this point. Yeah, it was got like 100, 200 maybe. Yeah, they're inside the Habadir raid under the town center. Ay, ay, ay. All the quick balls from Donny. Still openings here though, so it's not really a wall. And what Jordan doing? Jordan needs to save him. He's making Now <laughs> he's making it like properly. It, sta it started up here, yeah. <laughs> then he's making them here, then yeah. he's making here, and now he realizes, oh shit. Let's go all yeah, the way yeah. back. All the way down here. Let my ally die. Yeah. Is that a castle? Uh, oh, third doubt castle coming, guys. <laughs> Actually, this one should probably go up. And as soon as it goes up, those 10 rounds you yeah. join the party. The issue is they don't have a counter to the rams, right? Uh, mm, Jordan is yes. making hand cannons. They take forever they, they to take down Jaguars. rams. Late Jaguars will destroy rams and everything. The Jaguars are on, oh, on vacation, they're on the way. man. They're on the way, man. Where? I don't know. Oh! oh, oh. I can't think that wall. Uh, not Elite. Oh, Elite. Yes, Elite on the way. Oh, nearly reacting with a castle. You no, probably the want these. Going fast. Yeah, they're strong. But you might want this army to go to the left side, no? Because they really need a counter to this. Oh, Don is pulling the wheels. <laughs> he is pulling the wheels. This is Donnie's final stand. The last stand of Donnie, man. Can't let my last 30, guess lie. 32 puppet villagers. 30 villagers left. Minus one military even <laughs> for a while there. Oh, this castle. Aye, aye, aye. And Marco finished. Uh, she booming. You got healthy villager amount now. Yeah, yeah, and he's also getting sling probably. He's doing Arston, so he's gonna stay with Eagles apparently. Castle was gone immediately. Don is trying to escape, and, here and Jordan is gonna block him to keep him. No, no, you go <laughs> no. nowhere. You no, go no. nowhere. You You'll lost, stay there. You're gonna die. Uh, oh, now they're all trapped. <laughs> Jordan it's a midfield, man. Yeah, Jordan is doing Bracer as well. He's preparing Marcus because he wants to trade. But <laughs> I don't think they can think about trade right now. They need to try and survive. That's the that's the big. What Jordan thing could here. make to stop them? Probably Onegers. Well, Hussar, Camo. Hussar would Hazard. get melted by Yeah, Hell that's the issue, right? But a couple of Mangonels could buy oh, him some time. Oh, look at the quick walls. Is there quick walls coming? No. Oh, she's inside. It's really hard to see the difference between orange and red. Yeah. Oh, Nil is being raided. He doesn't realize. He does. He's making castle. Yes, but he doesn't. Okay, now he realizes. Mara trying to oh oh and yours the oh, oh that was the whole masterpiece. This is piece, a masterpiece. Now indeed. I got it. Yeah. Now this now everything look at sense. all these walls. Yeah. Such a waste. Yeah. This is, was really Mara good. with the yeah. She's smart. Hand cannons. Um, well, if chasing you villagers, them, I guess. If you micro so sea jungles, sea jams don't take hit. Uh, it's a good good thing for him. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Go. What? Why not? S six. He can afford it. <laughs> he can afford at least making them. <laughs> yeah, but like, he has. Maybe he, they will sling him. Oh, no. Uh, it's single cure. Oh, guess. he realized. Oh, yeah, yeah. Donnie is on but top. He can't yeah, afford he's on top houses of the anymore. <laughs> yeah, he can't. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't build anything. He's. He needs he needs minus sling. 15 population. He man. needs sling now for houses. for houses and then for a town center and. 
Yeah. I mean, Longstar is not a bad idea for Jordan to sling him for Longstar. Yeah, but he needs houses. Now he's zero population. <laughs> Tony, what are you doing? You need houses, Tony. <laughs> Don now he's dead. He's yes. need wood. Woodman. <laughs> oh, boy. Nobody gets he's, no, he's not getting any. <laughs> Does Jordan have he doesn't have enough. Jordan to has set 100 wood. What about Mara? Oh, what's he saying? Mara has 50. Mara, can you hold schicken? Irgendwas? I have 20 holds. And can halt nichts produzieren, weil ich kein Haus bauen kann. Where is my woodman? Can't build houses anymore, he said. <laughs> so he needs wood. Mara has 2000 wood. Yeah, but she send some wood to your friend. War, man. <laughs> oh, Mara sent 900 wood. Half. <laughs> exactly half. <laughs> she can't Usually be too, girls can't be too <laughs> generous. <laughs> she needs some for shopping later. I was about to say, usually girls take half we're of your things. We're being sexist Yeah, now, you know? that they were trying to control <laughs> That's it. That's bad. I know. <laughs> we're just trying messing. To we're just messing. Okay, for my channel, I guess. Uh, so what's, what's the... They're fighting back here. Jordan also making men at arms. Um... They stopped think? that push. They they're, they're, they're stopping yeah, it. Because of Maya. She yeah. slowed down the yeah, yeah. uh, economy a lot. She's forcing yeah. uh, Nilo to be over here. Yeah. And. How was Village? Look at Village account for Nilo. It's quite bad. What? It's quite bad. Did she really own him so hard? Yeah. He's under 100 pop. How did we miss this? Those Jaguars <laughs> must have done a lot, a of, lot of damage. This game is certainly interesting. Look at the population. Jordan is 200. Morris 100, Donny, he will get up there. Oh, oh, oh it's a comeback time. I yeah, think. it's looking, starting to look good for uh, for the but team. But let's, let's check Donny and his population. I want to see that. Oh, <laughs> look at that farm. Those farms. It looks prettier. He is investing into stone. He wants new castle. And he's making multiple houses as well. Oh. Oh, they're starting trade. Oh. They haven't started trade. Oh, he's patrolling here to deny trade from... Uh, from... Uh, from the from other team. The yeah. other team. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, Marco. Hmm. Eagles from Marco. This should be late game Imperial game now, no? Yeah, it's getting there. Nelly, oh. sh Nelly oh. is rebooming, so he will get up to like 100 deals. If he can't, Mara is... Still doing the damage. With some hand cannon and support. And those steps... Oh, oh, oh that's so hurtful. And Jordan is there as well with hand cannon and right? Yeah, yeah. That's the good thing. Like, if she makes it get some traps out now, then suddenly they're pressuring it right into his base. This is starting to look very, very promising for the team of yeah, here. Yeah, gone. Yeah. I mean, it was a great, like, it looked really bad when they cleaned yeah, all of Donny's base. Yeah, but now it's a comeback it time. Garland War, Steven, oh boy. Those Jaguars are gonna pack a punch. Now Marco is thinking nearly. <laughs> How things have changed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, is, but you need traps, yeah, yeah, two traps, and nearly yeah. is out. I think we are like cheering for the for the Jordan team. It feels that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it I, I feels think that so. way. I think so. Like we were dead and they were losing. Yeah. Well, because it was one, so one-sided, right? Now yeah. we cheer for comeback, and now we want the game to stabilize. But I don't cheer for the comeback now. <laughs> well, now you want it to be even game, so they like fight a little bit. Yeah. Um, but like. I think Mara needs more villagers, no? She hits Imperial Age and like, I'm Imp, I don't need Vils anymore. Well, with Jastix, she usually don't need more, yeah. lots more than this. Yeah. Mara has 5 trade cards, Jordan has 18 trade cards. So their trade Jordan's is up and running. So focused, man. This is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be really... Unless they start trade soon, then Marco and Nile will really struggle with gold here as the game goes on. And where is Jordan's main army? He has 200 population, but they don't see a lot of army. A lot of hand cannons. Yes, 48 military. There's uh, we can do this and click uh, there. So there's military here. Yeah, he has bit hand split cannons all over. up here, camels, and then some more units yeah. coming in here. You just split all over the place with a couple of units here and there. Let's check. Um, Marco is completely out of resources. Has a lot of stone, but it's completely out. Now they can take back the golds in Donny's base as well. That's really good for them. So much stone and gold here. Yeah, that's true. And nearly, oh boy. But Don is booming so slow. I don't think he even he got the TC. He's on 19 pop forever. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And oh, the castle. To yeah, protect the trade. This that's is what he wanted. Genius move. What happened? He told that many times in those barracks. Oh, oh, he still pulls. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a badass army, he's, man. He's going imp as well? Yeah, and Burmese, Bur last one attack. He will, have, he will have, what, 13 plus 7 attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, almost <laughs> like. 
Aztec, man. And he's against Eagles. <laughs> oh, oh, Jordan is my queen. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> let's see. oh, oh. There's, there's the split. There we go, there we go. Yeah, N Nil is just barely holding yeah. on here. Let's check his resources. Nil is so low on resources. He can't, he can't fight this. As soon as the castles tomorrow. go down, he is dead and he doesn't have anything to counter that. And he has so many idols. 34 idol villagers. <laughs> how, how good how, is what? How, what rating is this guy? I think 1.6, but <laughs> now I think lower. <laughs> oh, the sneaky two-handed swordman raid from Nili. He has a couple of... He's trying to do a counter push here, really? But with oh, no economy. He's gonna go for the markets. Oh, you remember who did that? Long, but that's not the same, man. <laughs> then yeah, wood was costing like 2,000 yeah. gold. Jab war. Oh, this is perfect. He's, if she sends only six jaggers to snipe Jab, that would yeah, be really good. Yeah, that would be really good. But I don't think she's even looking. Oh, oh, oh yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, boy. Perfect, I don't perfect. think they will get it, though, will they? Ah, Jaguar, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we got perfect it. Perfect move. Sick. Nilly is in such a pickle here. Really tough for him. The other side, it's just like they're not fighting here yet. Oh, well, that's Nilly's. They don't have army to make a push with the Rams. Um, yeah, but I would like to see Donny get Town Centers up to take their resources, although there are Eagles here from Marco. Jordan is progressing so slow. He should get his own on a girl to cut trees. He's like fighting the walls all the time. I think he's just... Oh, oh will we see a big, big, big bad boom? Yes, big bad we boom. Will. Oh! Yes, we will. <laughs> oh, Jordan Ooh. face. Jordan face. Or nearly face. Both. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> I don't know if they noticed though. Oh, he's so focused. Oh, what so did focused. they do? What about oh. Nili? What about Nili? I see. Like, oh, oh, Eldorado game all over again. Or Nili. Oh, they're <laughs> so focused. <laughs> Nili's a very good deathmatch player, though. So, like, on paper, he should be getting into a stage where he's very comfortable. Those Jaguars are sniping traps so good now. Oh, the hand cannoneer, villager snipes. He should get the trap with the hand cannons now, when he's already under. Yeah, it's one hit. There's no murder holes for... Uh, the Jaguars are coming for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she should move the chips in the two... Yeah, you, know what's, you know what's also coming? What's coming? Oh, 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 oh champion, my guy is... Champion oh, up oh, on man, the oh, way, man. Man. That's, the, that's the finishing move. When man. they see that, they might throw in the towel here. You move traps in, move traps in. Wait, is Nile wearing his vest? West? He brought a, a West for this game, I think. Yeah, so like yeah. Oh, yeah! Team Weston! <laughs> team Weston team! <laughs> Look at that! That is great. That is great. Stop yeah. killing Dexmith, get the castle. Oh, the sneaky, sneaky hand cannons. Will there be another battle boom? No. But the thing is, Jordan. Oh, look at those. Now they're starting trade. Man. 55. But he's starting trade when he's out of go. What? Carry on? Like nothing? Right, right. I have no idea what that was. What? Some noise was played. Let's hope everything is fine. Ignore it. Yeah, ignore it. Like, carry <laughs> on, carry on. Now he's sending helps to this side. Oh, Imperial Camels as well. Jordan's doing champion as well. Jordan has 35 Full trade cards. champion team. They have already so much more trade. He's doing Imperial Camels as well. He's doing everything. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now oh Donnie's boy. face. Oh boy. This is like, I was waiting for this. <laughs> They're so focused, man. <laughs> so focused. I was expecting oh, to oh. see happy face. Look there. at the split! Look ah, at the split! Ah, what? what is and this? And one champion to snipe. Perfect. Oh my god! Oh, oh but no oh. armor. Still, still armor. great. Still <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, 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 oh I feel. Oh, 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 oh. What? <laughs> Look at this split! <laughs> oh, this is sick, man. No. Oh, he's going for zero kills. What man. is this? <laughs> he has been watching my stream, I'll tell you that. Not mine, I can tell you that. <laughs> Not yours. Oh, <laughs> and this oh, is from my stream. Was, yeah, that's your stream. Man, that's sick. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> that was insane. Morris, you selling a lot of resources. Yeah, they're nearly still struggling to get a high population. Population and Now with Donnie there, it's over. <laughs> Donnie, oh. Look at this, he's burning oh. down instantly. He's even splitting to kill Wills. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoys the split yeah, now. Constantly splitting now to show off. <laughs> oh, look, half on the outside, half on the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a masterpiece split, actually. He's splitting to send half inside. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Man, he didn't. So, he didn't realize. Oh, it's click the TC. Yeah, but no, he's debating the villagers to. Yeah. So he shoots yeah, them yeah, and kills yeah. the villager. Exactly. Oh, this is so exactly. smart. Exactly. We should. I remember. And even then, after all that, what is? He has 28 wheels. And he's doing all that. <laughs> what a player, man. What a player. They're breaking through here as well. I don't see them holding on the left side either. Oh. And Jordan. Jordan. Look. Jordan. Look at the split. And and Nilly. Nilly. Oh, Mara. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't know. Like, yeah, yeah, he should yeah. watch Put Johnny. on it. Put yeah, on yeah, it. Let's, let's do the proper way better, way better. Way <laughs> better. Man, TC <laughs> down. Nilly's down to 80, 80 hills again. <laughs> Those champions. Those champions will even do really well against these. This are. Is he splitting like this? <laughs> He's just dancing around. <laughs> man, Donny, what a legend, man. <laughs> That's magic. Real ma oh, oh, we're gonna now, go in I'm now. Buying. Oh, whoa! Huh? Now I know where that two thousand stone went. <laughs> On scripts. Oh, the quick walls. Ooh. Slow walls. Dark walls. Dark walls. Another cast. Dude, this Burmese champion. Oh, look at that dodge. Yeah. But now. And now. Oh. <laughs> there. Ah, very good. I mean, Donny's well, population is dropping a lot now. But nearly population yeah, is non existing almost. That's the thing. Let's check Mara's resources. I'm surprised. I mean, she has the resources to, uh, to produce a lot of Jaguars and, like, get 200 pop. If she gets 200 pop, they just steamroll. Yeah. More oh, Jordan. Needed, but Jordan, let's... Oh. GG. 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 The Donny vic champions. Vic were... Victory goes to <laughs> Jordan, Mara, and Donny. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them. They're so happy, man. <laughs> oh, man. Jordan totally <laughs> pulled that game, enough. man. Big respect. Jordan what? totally told us to stay calm and yeah. to do... Like, I was dead, basically. Yeah, but then I just built those champions and I kind of came back. Wow, man. It was amazing. <laughs> they were like, this they were like, <laughs> they were like, so on a high horse for 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 like a few minutes. Oh, that was a close game. Close game. Really nice. All right, boys. Do you hear us? Yes. Yes. What a game, guys. What a game. So, what the split, Donny? We know. We know who our MVP is. Who is the MVP out? Don those, those champions. Dude, Donny, <laughs> your micro with the champions against the onagers splitting and dodging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Splitting them to get in one group inside of the games, one outside. I, yeah. I didn't see have, that coming. Have you been watching my stream? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 might have, uh, I might have watched one or two games, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was, it's that was better to be on this position and talk to them like that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a question about the strategy choice. So like, um, Jordan, you decided to go scouts from pocket? Yes. Well, uh, Donny went like a uh, tower rush and uh, Mara just fast castling. Was, was that the plan from the start? or? So we were planning to have uh, Donny go full and then the arms and yes. towers forward and I support with scouts, but uh, then yeah, it didn't it did. work out properly. Yeah, so. no, it didn't work out. I can actually, I don't want to make excuses, which I am going to make now. Um, <laughs> but uh, as you could tell at the start, I had this thing with sometimes the hotkey for delete doesn't work. It happens sometimes. Mm. So when I paused at the start, I went back in. I put it on F12, just like that was the first number that came to my mind. I didn't want to hold up the game for too long. And it didn't work because F12 was screenshot. So I didn't want to pause again because then you start to be annoying. So I just said, okay. So I had to keep going back into the menu and find the hotkey that works. So I messed up my bar lure because of that. I had a lot of idle time. So then I was way too late for Man at Arms. And then I just said, okay, I have two farms, so I'm just going to go scouts, which was too late. So that's why it was kind of a hybrid build at the start. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is an excuse what I just yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it was good anyway, so we had a good game. Okay, Jordan, another question that. for you, man. What is it? So, another question for you. Okay. You made a yeah. lot of crossbows throughout the game, right? Yes. But you never had Balkan Arrow. Yes. Was that a mistake or was it intentional? It was intentional because my economy was not really proper functioning for that yet. And uh, once I realized, okay, there are a lot of eagles, I wanted to switch to camels anyway because I was expecting Nili to support more with knights. Uh, but then he had a very nice boom going, and then uh, once he reached Imperial Age, I knew, okay, that's going to be a tough one to pull off. And then I was just turtling, hoping for Donny not to die too fast. Yeah, <laughs> he, he saved was, me. He just said, move your villages. I was like, GG. And he said, yeah, just move your villages to me, and he yeah. slinged me. Yeah. So that was great. It was great play. Uh, you, you really stay calm. Uh, uh, it was cool. Okay. Yeah, you need to stay calm in those kind of situations. But, uh, of course, uh, it was looking very dire, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were close to pulling it off. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question from Mara as well. So Mari went for the Jaguars and the Onager cut. Was the Onager cut your own idea or was it Jordan telling you to do it? Sure, and at the beginning, try to, to cut through the wood. 
and get to into Neely space and yeah, yeah I did that. In, that, in, that did a lot of damage, right? Yes. And killing yes. so many bills from me. Yeah, that basically won the game. Yeah, he was pretty yes. much down to 60 bills after that and yes. they were mm -hmm. able, never able to recover. Yes, it that, was, that was a great move. I felt like uh, Nilly didn't push that much anymore and I saw that Mara was doing a, a good job there with the pressure rating economy and I was like, okay, we still have a shot here. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I thought we were pushing so well, I had ramps everywhere, mm. I was trying to pressure the corner as well and suddenly like within two minutes I dropped from pop 200 to 90 <laughs> and I was just like, uh, Ma Ma Marco, can you give me some resources yeah. please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marco. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, how did you think your early game went? Uh, what was the idea behind the double barracks spearman rush inside your walls? I thought um, <laughs> I thought they will go um, oh. scout. Uh, they will scout rushing me, and I uh, I thought, hey, be prepared, be prepared, and uh, build a lot of spearmen. Yeah, but it worked out. <laughs> and then they got in. Scouts, right? Yeah, I, I killed the scouts. Yeah. So come yeah. on, it wasn't that bad. But you lost a couple of bills to uh, Donnie yeah. when he got his scouts in. Yeah. And then after that, it was kind of a snowball with Jordan getting under your tower and everything. So. Yeah, I I, I don't know um, what I should have done better, because um, okay, tower rushing and uh, behind that Jordan with the siege workshop. What should I do against that? I think hard to be one at that early yeah, yeah. stage, it's very yeah, you're, hard. You're so. always dying. Yeah. But I think yeah. like Stonewalls is always a guarantee mm. to buy time. Yeah. But I mean, was, yeah. I think Probably the map Stonewalls. was to open. Our plan was kind of to have like I was heavily scouting Mara, and I thought like okay, I will react to her the, the two nights, and I'm fine. And <laughs> like defensive spearmen and the walls was the plan on that side. But I think it was especially for Hideout pretty open. Yeah. And uh, the worst case was that um, Jordan was pocket. It's. Yeah. Our idea was to put um, every our effort and every early aggression on um, on Jordan, and then we can um, kill him pretty early. So I go monks, and uh, Neely will raid him to death, and oh, and then yeah. we go two v one, and that we could or two v two, and that we should win against Mara and Donny. Yeah. yeah. So Neely and Marco, you guys were typing in chat instead of talking through the, yeah. the microphones. We start to drink cards. So <laughs> super tryhard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old school play. <laughs> super Come on. That is, that is super tryhard. <laughs> okay, uh, well, they wanted to win. Yeah, well, it was a great game, like a kind of a comeback actually. We thought yeah. actually when Donny was out of the game, you were like Minst thinking it was over. We didn't want to say it loud, but <laughs> yeah. we were like kind of like okay, this is probably gonna end now. So it was a great yeah. comeback, great game. Uh, kudos to you guys. Great watch. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I and think uh, we're going to go for an advertisement break. And then afterwards, first, yeah. before the uh, commercial break, a we should um, look at, the at our voting. Yeah. And maybe we have a fourth match, or we should can uh, end today. But I think we have enough time for a fourth match. But what? Oh, no, my God. Come it's on, guys. It's 64%. Who's winning? We can do two matches then. Okay, one we won. Viper against... Me, me and uh, no, no, that's just three, three. That's just a three, 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 three. So who, who's oh, that? Who's that, three, who's that three versus three going to be? Oh. Who's, who's playing? I forgot. I oh, forget. Without Jordan, it's, do you have uh, Jordan and uh, you Lily will Christ. be the caster, mm -hmm. and the three versus three will be um, I think Viper with me and let me have a look and MBR, I think against uh, Doubt Tato and Zero Empires and Zero Empires. All right, so that's cool. That's so Sack gets to play as well. I, 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 mm -hmm. I'm glad for him, so he can play. So we're gonna go to a switch commercial break. We will figure out all the details. Here we are. Stay tuned. We're gonna do another hour. So uh, yeah, we will see you in a little bit. Bye bye. And guys, we are back here at Rocket Beans TV. There was some confusion what the teams were. So in the end, it will be MBL, Zero Empires and Doubt against... Tato, Viper and... The Vester himself. Vestner. Exactly. And apparently we are going to cast it in English. Also fine, because we have a lot of like international viewers having all the elite players here. I think it only makes sense. Exactly, you know, having everyone from international uh, countries, so it makes sense to cast some English, and uh, we're already used to that anyway. Indeed, indeed, and people are loving your commentary at NAC. Like the feedback was amazing, and even I talked to Zero Empires yesterday. 
How much you improved in the last month? Yeah, it's 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 great, and I uh, also enjoy the casting a lot. It's really you know it's a mixture of you know, talking and uh, really thinking deeply what is going on in the game, and mm -hmm. you know sh share some thoughts. So it's it's a pleasure. So so sweet, and I will ask them tell map please, because at three three you already saw at three three, but now with different teams, in the first time. Doubt screwed up heavily. He yeah. needs to make up now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he wanted to go for the fast castle with uh, Mango Dice. Mango Dice is pretty strong in uh, Castle Age, right? Uh, as they were buffered there. But uh, Tato kind of realized that very fast and was able to deal uh, early damage a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, that was really crucial. Yeah, I think Doubt went for some scouts there as well. But then no quick walls, yeah. no defensive towers like yeah. in time, no defensive archer range. That, exactly. That felt super sloppy. Exactly, exactly. And uh, that's, you know, something uh, everyone really does very well with the quick walls. And Doubt is, is, is that kind of guy. Everyone knows him on the high level that he is not really good at that stuff. And, uh, you know, sometimes that is really game deciding if he's not uh, able to do that in, in time. Oh man, yeah, and people always making fun of him. Like it, it's so weird. Like he's clearly a top ten player in the world. Definitely. But yeah. if you have one weakness, yep. the other nine are trying to exploit that every single time. Exactly, and uh, you know, I, I still have hopes that he learns it eventually. But uh, it, it takes time. It takes time. Yeah. Like, like he is. How old is he? Like thirty-two ish. Yeah, thirty-two. Yeah. Okay. He's exactly yeah. thirty-two, and uh, he doesn't get younger as the most of us. So <laughs> you know, time is running. Definitely. Yeah, but is that like, like what is really blocking him? I think it's mainly laziness, right? It is, it is. You know, for him, uh, he, he learned Age of Empires being like more the petrol thing and more the strategical thing. Mm -hmm. And now it has kind of evolved to, mm -hmm. of course, also strategical, but also, you know, a lot of micro fights are involved as well. And, you know, yeah. these kind of small things like quick calling, that's just part of the game. And that's something he hasn't been able to adapt to yet. Yeah. Okay. Let's think about the upcoming match here. So now we have some changes. Zero Empires playing with MBL and Doubt. I think they will be super motivated going into this one. Yes, I mean, both teams will be super motivated. It's, you know, if you want to play, you want to have the victory. You know, you want uh, to be able to be in the position to make the, the smack talk mm -hmm. afterwards. <laughs> and so a lot of things are on the line here. Yeah, and on the other side, we have Marco. Just coming out a uh, very hard defeat there. Rough, we, rough, we, yeah. we thought we were in a good shape, and then still he smashed us back there. I think he really is trying to go for the W now. Yes, definitely. He he needs that one, and uh, also I mean the game we just played was amazing. It was very long, uh, back and forth all the time. Uh, so yeah, he's I'm pretty sure motivated to grab the W now mm -hmm. for sure. But I feel like on paper the Viper. Probably the best player in the world, Chado, Definitely. playing yeah. amazing and yeah. oh no! Oh, oh, what the hell is this? Are what the hell is this? Me. Viper having that one—that seems really, really strange here. But it suits him very well, I have to say. Viper, huh? Uh, Definitely. I don't. How does Marco look like now? That's something I'm really interested in now. Probably naked. Uh, probably naked. Yeah. yeah. Does he that. have something on here? Okay, it seems like we're still setting up some hotkeys there for MBL. You see Tato helping out. Seems like Doubt, the Empires, and Mr. Viper are set up. Yes, they are set up. And uh, Nelly, going into the series, what do you think? Mm. Who has the edge there? As I said, it feels like the Viper being the strongest player in the world. Tato is so good in those three, three scenarios. Marco, a guy who is already pretty good, but also is very good in being led. As well, so the Viper comes with the strategy. Marco can execute that pretty well. Yes. So I have to give them the advantage. Yes, definitely. And also depends a lot on uh, the skill level of Zero Empires. I have no idea. Apparently, he has improved a lot mm -hmm. compared to, you know, two years ago. Mm -hmm. But I have no idea how often he plays now, how good of in the shape he is right now. Mm -hmm. And this is really depending a lot on uh, Zero Empires because obviously MBL and Doubt, they are kind of equal to Viper and uh, Tato. Yeah, and the positioning as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, we saw that before. We had Florentine in the pocket position there, went for Kongs, but it was kind of late to all battles. If we have Zero Empires in the pocket and, for example, Tato or Viper on the other side, that's, it's getting dicey. Yes, that's really crucial. So I personally think it would be best to have Marco and uh, Zero Empires as pockets on both teams. So, you know, opposite wide. So, 
Yeah, we have the top players and then uh, on the flanks, and that would be really interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Then we have like two high level 1v1s at that side, but you cannot really go full 1v1 because like doubles and triples are, yeah, so, so strong in Age of Empires or in any RTS game. Yeah. So, exactly. We'll get pretty strategic then. Yes, yes. Um, still curious what map they play. I think they have not discussed about that just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still struggling to fix their hotkeys, but uh, we've been through that and I'm pretty sure we will fix that very soon to jump into the game okay. in a few and seconds. Yeah, it seems like more people are joining now. Here we go. And yeah, so we are setting this up instantly. Yeah, yeah. we have four players already, so two are missing. Uh, yeah, so... Just a matter of seconds here. Exactly. The and left then. team is already set up, and yeah. I know they wouldn't join if they yeah, didn't finish helping the other team. Exactly. And yeah, it's look at that. Marco, still with the best. Yes. And the Viper there as well in the background. Yeah. And yeah. now that's a question like, hey, what camera is? Like, it's so confusing for yeah, us. Yeah, I like, know. For, yeah. for the Rocket Beans guys, that's like, oh, camera there. Hello, trailer. And now we're going into advertisement. And yeah. welcome, tune in next time. Exactly. And for us, it's like, hey, so many lights and everything. It's yeah. so confusing. And yeah. that's what you saw of the Viper. Like, ooh, 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 uh, which ooh, one ooh, is ooh, it? Ooh, which, ooh. which one? Yeah, yeah. But very professional organization here. Mm -hmm. Very, very nicely. And uh, you, can, you can tell they are used to that, right? They are just very professional. Yeah. yeah. We have to get used to that. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's, it's hard, but very nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, we are so happy. I what the? <laughs> what is that, man? What is that? What? Well, what, what, what happened? They're very professional. So, yeah. Oh, maybe that was, that was intentional. Do you think? I think uh, so. <laughs> it might, it might, oh. You see that? That, that timing there, what amazing, amazing. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Maybe just like it's your uh, bring your daughter to work day, and she's just like the four year old just sitting there. Guile, 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 guile. Exactly, like ooh, nice, nice, nice. But yeah, uh, let's see. So, uh, what do you think? Which map do they do they play? Will it be I, Arabia again? I don't think we will see Arabia again. I think. Maybe we'll go for a classical golden a gold rush now. Maybe I would love to include some water. I think the main community really wants to see a land-based map. Yes, I think so. I personally also enjoy it much more to, to spectate because water gets boring, uh, gets to a certain stalemate uh, after a certain amount of time. So uh, I prefer land, map, uh, land maps for sure. Mm -hmm. And something like gold rush would be very funny. You know, fight for the middle. Mm -hmm. And that really puts the pressure on early aggression and that like deep castle age fights or very early in fights are just yep. getting so intense on that map. Exactly, exactly. And also, you know, Gold Rush is so much about strategical execution and so on. Uh, it's going to be interesting, but let's see what the players have decided to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are now finally set up for uh, all the players. So they are about to start the, the game very soon. Then mm -hmm. they will have to... Get the map and the Marco, sifts. the Western man. Yeah, we found the, the Vesta. And but now the Viper. The taking Ve over. The new Western man. Yeah. AK uh, Viper number two and with Tello, the Vesta man. The third one of the team there. Yeah. So that's the whole team left, we would call them. And on the other side, we have MBL, another player from Norway coming over there, a very active streamer and playing beastly at Nilly's Apartment Cup at the moment. Zero yes. Empires, I believe, has a YouTube channel with like 100,000 subscribers or something. something like Age that. of Empires content only, so he is yeah. a big name in the community. Yeah. And obviously, our Lord and Savior, Mr. Doubt. Doubt. Yeah, Doubt doesn't need any introduction here. He is just known here, exactly. Oh, Even giving a kiss, kiss here, being so Doubt. motivated, you know, yeah. very focused, but still has some time to share some love. Yeah, as he should, because like performance wise, Hamburg isn't his city. No. Neither in Rocket Beans nor in Neely's Apartments Cup. No, definitely not. So I think that's just the German thing <laughs> he doesn't like to. So <laughs> well, he is he playing the Viper tonight. Yeah, And he's exactly. so motivated. They have some side bets going on there. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. I, li I like that, right? Because that spice, uh, spices the things up. And yeah. uh, I'm sure we will get some nice games going today. For yeah. sure. But now we will focus on that 3 3 Doubt? Yeah. He needs to make up for that game before. Zero Empires, kind of the dark horse here. MBL, yeah. he played very strategically in the last game. Like, 
building the castle there at the side of Marco. I love yeah. that team play. Yes, for sure. He knew that uh, with the castle he's very safe with uh, Marco there on the other side. And uh, I, he was very safe at home as well. He walled up, so very nice done there. And uh, also I have to say I was very impressed by Tato's performance. He really uh, skyrocketed there and uh, for me was the MVP of that game, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like... Without handing him the MVP trophy. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Please take it, Toto. Yeah. Take it. Hmm. Yeah, but let's see. I'm uh, sure Dao will go for some revenge now. Okay. We'll see. Uh, still interested in the TIFF and obviously the map. It seems like, let's take a look at all the six players. We see like the Viking left side and the Asian right hand side there. They are pretty focused, and you see zero empires. He's not taking this lightly. You're like he's all like fun and giggly, but now serious phase is on. Exactly. You know he's not that often in that position where he's really actually playing. He's always casting, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now he feels the pressure. He is now the player he's been focused on, and now it's time for him to show up for all the uh, pressure he's been putting on the other players. Oh, okay. Still, still laughing, giggle. So, yeah. He, he's, like, he's oh no. enjoying this time. Yeah. Like he, he also told me like uh, in between doors, like oh the casting is so nice. I love the setup. Yeah. I love the people here. Yeah, it's it's just like wonderful coming together here. The rocket beans. Like everyone has, as I said before, like so much passion for this. And yeah, now we will see also like the the top top players in the world. Like yeah. if you want to name the who is who is of it. Age of Empires, it's like the five of you for sure. Exactly, exactly. And also it was oh we are jumping into the game right now. So let's take a look at that. It's just a matter of uh, two, three seconds, and then Here. we're ready to go. In the three, three, and we will see the map being drum roll transition. And oh. what is it? So we have some is it specialties. That we have a lot of specialties here, and now we have our game sound as well. So it will be played on Arabia, but think about it, we only have like 25 minutes left. So we are playing with high resources, Castle Age Start. The team will be the Viper, as a flank here, he is playing the Celts. Then we have the center for Tedo being Persians. I assume this might have been Team Random Civilization. And his left hand side flank, Mr. Marco Vesterman. And on the other side, we have Doubt playing Persians as a flank. We are seeing a lot of XRTCs, Zero Empires playing the Berbers, getting some more resources, not maybe adjusting to the settings here to full potential and MBL with the Kels. I believe those settings, something we don't want to see too often, we should see action coming instantly. Yes, and that's uh, what I really love about these settings, right? So you are very fast into getting economy, into getting your army out, and uh, you will have action after, let's say, two or three minutes, right? And that's something uh, which is really, really nice. We see most players are going for the full economy. Focus first. Tato here with four town centers, not adding any stables. Mm -hmm. Let's that, look at the other just, one. That's just crazy. 4 TC from him. Um, Marco is going for 3 TCs and a castle. Already getting some raids in. Remember, we're starting castle age. You already have all upgrades there for feudal age. You have the plus one attack, plus one defense, bloodlines, and everything else. But still, trying to go for the monastery, trying to intercept the raid. And that's a lot of knights from down here. A lot of knights and he's able to deny the cast and that's gonna hurt so much. If uh, Marco was able to get the cast up, it would be really nice, but now it's really hurting him a lot. He needs support from Tato. Oh man, and you see at the face of Marco, like he is so uh, intense there. And that was triple stable start from Doubt. He was trying to get some early aggression done. Look at that, he's only at 16 villagers. If we compare that to Tato, who is Persians as well and went for the full eco approach. Pop 20 nine here from him. Exactly. I like the Tito's pr approach a bit more because the getting villages out as soon as possible is so important. And of course, yeah, uh, Daud is dealing a lot of damage, but now uh, Marco will eventually be able to finish the castle and then he will be able to get the Kamala archers out. And two things we mentioned as well. We want to finish this on time. So let's take a look. We're also playing fast and at the right hand side, a time limit. So guys, we always need to take a close look at the score. Whoever is leading in score when this timer is down in roughly, I would say 18 in-game minutes, will win. Exactly. And that's, you know, it's super tough to play with fast speed because that's uh, so much faster than the normal speed we usually play. So uh, it's a very messy start for everyone here, for sure. Mm -hmm. And 
We'll see how the vampire is approaching this still. Did he not really realize that it was? Like, he has to have so many resources floating, right? Look at that. 1.1k food. Now going for some stables, not really building a castle. Ah, let's see. He needs to get carried by MBL, who is building his defensive castle now and just going for a strong eco here with 40 Cs. Exactly, and that that kind of position is really something where MBL excels and really is sitting comfortably on. He likes to be in a, playing that kind of turtle mode here and focusing on economy and uh, playing very safe. And then eventually, once the economy kicks in, he will really skyrocket for sure. But Viper on the other side, he's also uh, making a lot of economy. He has not transitioned in any, in any uh, army yet, but uh, let's see what he's going for. Hmm, the Viper, well, he is going for the TCs first here. And built even four, I believe. Did he sneak something? No. Okay. Yeah, so Doubt Knights, you know, he invested into them early on. They paid off really well against those villages of Marker, but now they're just uh, running around, not being able to deal any damage. So I'm not sure if they were really uh, cost efficient there. Yeah, and we mentioned before that the positioning is so, so key here. And we have zero empires at the moment with Pop 35. And on the other side, Tedo with an incredible boom already at 64 villagers. Where did they come from? It's crazy because, uh, for example, like uh, Tato with obviously Persian uh, production of the villagers, they produce faster. And also he was focusing instantly on four town centers. So he completely neglected the army production for now. And that's why he was, uh, you know, so so high in, in terms of villager. And if you compare that to, to Doubt, for example, let's look at the score. I mean, 1k3 to almost 2k, that's such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure Tato will overrun this series for sure. Uh, it feels like it. It's not that much time left, only 160 years there, so the, he needs to make something happen. I don't really see him getting onto Imperial Age, I believe. It will be maybe even a 50C and at 90 builds, I think we will see like eight stables dropped and massive amount of knights. Exactly, that's what is going to come for sure. Let's look at Viper's production. So he is currently sitting on 70 villagers, while, while MBL is also sitting on 70 villagers. So both of them are very equal there. And uh, yeah, Viper is now going for the castle. So he definitely wants to go for elite longbows, I assume, as he is Britons. And is he Britons or Celts? He's Celts. Celts, okay, so um, yeah, Wood Raiders all the way for sure. Mm -hmm. And Viper is trying to make some nice uh, wall shenanigans, but he was not able to succeed here. Uh, and he's getting monk rushed by MBL somewhat and raided by the camera artists. Let's listen to the left hand side team. How are they communicating? Because now this is a time where Tedo should announce his tech switch. Seems like we're not doing that for now. Or they are just pretty silent there and very yeah, focused. Now. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Calm oh, down. You, you made Camelot as you're supposed to be later. Tell up to him. Okay, so, so we saw Viper doing some strategical discussions there with uh, Marco, with the Camel Archers. And yeah, as you mentioned, Tato is going for handcourt and Imperial Age now. As we mentioned, uh, yeah, Tato is sitting on a very nice economy. So let's see what he's going for. And, well, he is going for the Cavalier attack. I thought he didn't have enough time and would go for Castle Age attack. The upgrades won't really kick in before the 112 uh, year mark, I will believe, or like at the end. And, well, who should he go for? Probably Dawood, right? He yes. feels somewhat exposed. Yes, exactly. And Tato knows uh, by obviously having Cardo that uh, he was attacking Mark very early on. He knew he uh, invested a lot of economy or resources into the army, which make him on the other side uh, not being able to invest so much into economy, right? So he knows he has the economical advantage there and he wants to put on the pressure on Dawood for sure. When talking, putting on the pressure, MBL with the forward castle, but the Viper already up to 40% of the Imperial Age. Can we get the snipe here against the villagers? No, one villager in the end dies after the castle is up, but that should just get trapped down. Yes, exactly, and that's a very nice trade-off here for Viper because he was able to deny uh, the castle almost. He killed a lot of villagers there, and um, he's so much faster into Imperial Age. Uh, MBL has not even clicked up yet, and that castle will go down for sure. He's now sitting on 90 villagers while, oh, MBL is sitting on 112 uh, villagers. So a lot of more villagers for him, obviously. But uh, yeah, 
uh, Viper sitting there a bit better, I would say. I think so as well. No real pressure can be done. Uh, Celts against Celts. It's all about the boat radar numbers. And even if he had more, we still have the pocket here with massive amounts of cavalry already. Exactly. And uh, the time is currently saying 73 years, so not a lot more left. And uh, yeah, in, in terms of score, they are obviously leading a lot. So uh, as, as kind of predicted there. And let's see what Tato is trying to do now. Is he even trying to make a fight here or is he just sitting back and getting all the upgrades to push his score even more further? The later he is going for Paladins here, is doing more defense upgrade for his cavalry as well. And then he will go for massive raids. And no one is really prepared. Doubt still in castle raids. We have some defensive classes here for that, but super exposed through Deco and MBL. Well. Wow. No real defense against Paladins either. Exactly, so all of them are super exposed indeed. And uh, let's see what Viper is doing. So does he have a lot of Wood Raiders already out? That's the question. So he's currently sitting on 112 or 120 population while MBL is having the lead compared to him with 30 more population. But as mentioned, he's not Imp yet. And uh, yeah, let's see. We have the first uh, army really being pushed out by uh, Tato. He's about to reach Imp the Paladin upgrade as well, and once that kicks in, he will just, you know, skyrocket. And the now game. I want to hear the right hand side team MBL. He has to be screaming for help now because he is getting doubled quite heavily. Even tripled now. Yeah, but. Not so much we hear there from him. Yeah, Zero Empires is trying to help out. We only had 30 more years, so whoever leads after that is winning the game at the moment. 5.3k against 4k. I don't really see all those Paladins dying. Camels, actually the counter to normal Night Line, but Paladins, Imperial Age with those upgrades against Castle Age Camels, not really. No chance, yeah. So the Paladins will just, uh, you know, destroy the Camels there. And uh, Tato is doing a very great ride here, so Ambil is really in a pickle here for sure. And um, Viper in the meanwhile, he's you know sitting very comfortably here, uh, making his own wood raiders himself. And MBL is really struggling here to hang in there tight. How is uh, yeah? How is it looking like for Doubt? Has he reached Imperial Age yet? No, he has no. not. He is at 80% here. Is trying to upgrade. Is sending some camels over, but 10 years left. I think that's a little late. Yeah, so literally a three against one here on uh, the outside. I mean, uh, it's it's uh, very hard for him. Obviously, he's kind of been hanged down by by his uh, allies uh, here, and uh, he's losing so many villagers. It's uh, literally oh, nothing man. he can do Indeed. here. The timer here at three years, and Tedo just playing this so well. The Viper is saying G G E and Z. Exactly. And it's simply Tedo adjusting so well to those situations, just instantly adding. I believe three TCs, pure boom, yep. paladins, and I said he wouldn't make it to paladins. Yeah, but he did. He did prove me wrong. Uh, I mean, he played that very sharp, yeah. very well, and uh, you know you can really count on him. He's uh, such a great player, uh, really adapting to those kind of different settings. He's mm -hmm. so so smart and uh, super fast player as well. So. Uh, you know, you want to have them or him in the, in the team for, for the victory, that's for sure. Yeah, and let's ask Tedo if we jump over to him because his execution was so well, what he thought when he saw the Spanish <laughs> pocket yes. there, uh, the Persian pocket yeah. there. What he had that? to be super happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now guys, we can hear you. I hope you can hear us as well. Yes. Tedito, that position there, what did you feel? What was your strategy? What was your thought process? starting the game there. Well, I saw it was Persian and I was pocket, so I decided to boom because they have the bonus. And we, we were like, lucky that Zach, he, he doesn't have hotkeys and he was pocket. Okay. And he couldn't perform as he, he should, right? Ah. So nah, that went in our favor and we could okay. get the advantage there. That's obviously a very tough advantage. You need to be so fast in this game, especially like on fast speed castle to start. Exactly. And then playing without hotkeys, that has to be so, so yes. painful. Yes. Ah. That's for sure. Also, uh, one question to doubt here. Why did you go for the army initially and not go for uh, like Tato economical uh, focus there? Because this is the first time in my life I play these settings. <laughs> and I could see I could afford 10 nights, so let's make 10 nights. Uh, what do you think after uh, the, the game? Do you I think that fucked. was the right <laughs> What do you say? After, after I stop, this is the man is doing nothing. I think I'm fucked then and <laughs> <laughs> back, recover, make elephants, whatever. Yeah. But time was the option, otherwise he would win. 
Yeah. And <laughs> Marco, now the yeah. question to you. Obviously, we had pure aggression there from Dowd very early on, and you built your castle, and he just came in there at the perfect timing. What were you thinking? I was thinking, build that damn castle. And then... Um, <laughs> That's all. I, I just uh, tried to secure as much as, as, as much villager as possible, uh, and as many villagers as possible, and uh, that worked out, I think. I think I lost two or three villagers. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's basically it. And the castle went up, and so I could uh, go for camel arches. Yeah, and question for the Viper. You had kind of the mirror there against MBL, but went too much or well, very quickly to the imperial age compared okay. to mbl how much did the vest carry you dude there's this there's this aura around the vest that carries on to my teammates as well so <laughs> it's like so it's like mm. oh, okay I'm, i'm taking it off <laughs> no no don't do this oh, no not yet <laughs> no it, it's the, it's the it's, it was 70 the reason we won for sure yeah, yeah. okay you don't have also to. viper uh, i wonder why did you go for hand cut that early Handcart? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah, you, that was the first dude, upgrade you went. Dude, you, you know went I, play, for. I play so fast, the clicks are all over the place. Oh, I have okay. no idea what I'm clicking, man. <laughs> okay, so also, uh, you were uh, much faster into Imperial Age than MBL. Of course. But the MBL had much more villagers. Uh, MBL, what do you think? Is it better to up faster into Imperial Age, or uh, do you think your approach was better? Uh, it depends. I got delayed because of uh, no hotkeys, but uh, of course, uh, Viper was a bit faster than him. It doesn't matter. He was behind the score, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, um, Nelly. Yeah, go ahead. I have have some good news. Oh, we can do another match. Oh, we have what? enough time for another match and a normal match. Then why did you put the speed we like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's because I didn't know that we have no, uh, much time left. So um, we have <laughs> time for another match, a normal match okay. with the same teams, I think. Same setting. Yeah, match. we can. Uh, I think we could do a commercial break. Um, the regie, wollen wir eine Werbung machen? Ja, yeah. yeah, dann machen wir. Dann macht ihr sofort alles fertig, dann können wir nichts sagen. Genau, dann machen wir alles fertig, gehen in die Werbung und sind dann zurück. After a short commercial break, we will um, return. And yeah, stay tuned. See you. Welcome back, guys, to Rage of Empires with another treat. We will have another game on top of our intended schedule. And Marco will tell us what we will see. Um, yeah, we have uh, uh, half an hour left, and we decided to do a Nomad game mm -hmm. with fast speed and mm. team random as civs. Nomad, fast speed, and team random civs. That sounds like you want to also add regicide. <laughs> Should we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were convinced that yeah, okay, they wanted go, that. Right, so Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. So regicide fortress on <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. regicide nomad. Regicide nomad. So you can lose the game at two seconds if you don't move your king and teleport him in. Also, what happened to me once is that I played regicide nomad and then I used my king to explore the map and then I ran into a castle. Into That's a castle. Into a castle. No, you don't start with castles on nomad. Nice story, John. Okay. It happened. It happened. <laughs> okay. That was a special scenario, yes. nomad. Yes. Okay. That was a nice map. I believe normal nomad is we start with three villagers, the normal nomad resources, and I believe even more being regicide. Any king. If you lose the king, you die. But do you start with only three villagers? I'm pretty really? sure. I'm pretty Let's sure. Let's see. But Let's we'll, see. We'll see. Let's see. The players are about to start the game, so let's see mm -hmm. who is right. I'm interested. Both okay, of us. we have roughly half an hour more apparently, yeah. and playing on fast speed, that should give us like close to like 55 minutes in game time. We can play a normal game here. Yes, definitely. So let's see. So we we can't talk too much about the Sifts yet, as both of them are obviously yep. going for team random. So uh, yeah, it's just you know. Seeing how the map looks like and uh, what they are pulling off there. What what would be your like favorite sieves you want to see? Uh, favorite sieves. So I obviously love Chinese. They would be always fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let's see. I we would will love to see Koreans. Koreans for mm -hmm. the trash masterpiece. For the trash masterpiece. And we will jump in and see what they have in store for us. I'm expecting a three v three here on Nomad, and we have to take good care of all those kings. If you lose the king, you lose this game here. Rate of Empires. 
Exactly. And uh, it kind of start of the Nomad is very messy. And you were right, we only have four population and oh my god, yeah. Marco rightfully deleted his dog there. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. And that's a horrible starting TC for Marco. Obviously at the start, Nomad is pretty confusing. We're trying to go into Fork of War to try and understand where they are spawning because the minimap can be super confusing. So he will play the slabs and will build a horrible TC here, not close to the wood line. Exactly. Next in his team will be Mr. Tato going more to the left hand side, so they are kind of controlling the top. Next player, we will have the Viper, who is far off. So let's take a look at that. The Viper, absolute south of the map. And on the other side, we have Tato and Marco here at the top. Where is the rest of the players? So we have MBLs or Zach spawning here on kind of the center of the map. Here building his town center as well. Moving his king around to explore the map a bit, which obviously makes sense. Also going for the deer now. And his town center is very nice, I would say. Mm -hmm. And the next player is MBL. MBL also, okay, spawning more to the right hand side. Also, his town center is up already. Now going for the boar. So very nice uh, start from him as well. And uh, where is his dog? Well, we will take a look at Doubt CC. They are First. kind of in the center here, right? So exactly. all three of them kind of controlling the, the middle area of the map, the Viper in the south, and Tedo and Marco here in the north. Now we can take a look into dog positionings. Exactly. So we have here Tato also having the dog very close to his town center. So he's very nice, uh, nicely set up here. Uh, MBL on the other side has a really, really great, uh, great placement of the dog as he is in the corner with a lot of fish. And then on the left hand side, there is, you know, landscape. So there is no way to uh, harass MBL's fishes there only from the bottom side. Mm -hmm. And talking of bottom side. <laughs> Look at that love story. Oh my god. Mm, Doughty yeah. and Viper hugging themselves here on Nomad, at least when it comes to the dog positioning. Exactly. And the casting team is now <laughs> also very close with the dogs as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure once Viper saw that dog coming up from Doubt, he was smiling for sure. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have team random civilization, we simply had random civilization, which sometimes can make it unfair. If we have to name the best civilizations on Nomad, could you give me some? So obviously Indians are super strong as they are very fast with uh, fishing with villagers on the, on the shore fish as mm -hmm. the fishermen work faster. Then obviously Chinese are very strong as well as they start with uh, six villagers compared to the three uh, of the normal civilizations. Then you have Mayans, obviously they also have one more villager starting with four. Then Persians, Persians is very strong as well as they start with more resources. Malians, they are strong as well as the wood uh, for the buildings don't cost as much. So we have many different uh, civilizations which uh, are very strong here. Mm -hmm. But none of them really there. Probably as the oh, not mentioned tips, Italians could be on added on that list as well. Having the cheaper up clicks, we have the cheaper fishing ship and well, Tedo is already going ham at that, and look at that. Fishing ship count at six, whole other team at seven. It's, it's really crazy. He's really skyrocketing here as well. And uh, as you mentioned, Italian's very strong on this uh, map as well. It looks like Viper has lost the villager, which, uh, yeah, he lost because uh, Doubt, oh my god, Doubt did the uh, wall in his the path there. But it's open here. Uh, I don't know what happened. No, it is doubt, doubt killed that one. He has one killed. No, he does not. Zero Empires has one loss. Oh, he lost a villager for real. Yeah, but uh, Doubt has one kill, right? So I'm sure he. Yeah, and Viper has one loss. So um, Doubt killed the villager there from, from the Viper. But how did Zero Empires lose a villager? Uh, maybe luring a boar or something. I'm not sure. I don't see. We don't have anyone who has a kill. So it must be a loss to the boar. Unfortunately, Gaia is not listed here. Otherwise, we would see a kill for Mr. Gaia here. Mm -hmm. And well. Losing a villager is okay, losing a king, not really. And look at that, Zero Empires now wants to push that deer towards his CC. Nice usage of the fat man. That's very interesting, I didn't even know that was possible. So, 
Uh, really great uh, usage here from uh, Zach. And, uh, you know, he is having the intel. He's been casting a lot, so he knows all the little tricks here yeah. we, we need to know here. Yeah, you should probably watch more of his uh, YouTube videos there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, he's adding farms now, which I don't like too much. He's also not taking the showfish uh, close to his town center. So uh, a few things in his build order which could be optimized. And uh, let's take a look. So Doubt is now almost half through to uh, reaching Fuel Age, so I'm sure he's going for a Trush. I expect that. No, he's not going on Stone, so most likely for uh, Grush here. And uh, Viper on the other side, he has way more fishing ship as it looks like. Four more, but uh, he's later to uh, Fuel Age, so uh, he's gonna lose the fishing ship for sure. Indeed, one minute, ten seconds later there, so Doubt will have the advantage. Also, Ethiopian bonus, giving you 100 extra food, 100 extra gold. So his production will be pretty sweet here. And wh what else is pretty sweet is the fishing ship count of Tedo now going up to 19. It's crazy. He's, he's having 19? 19, really? And no, the... not 19, 21. Oh my god, 21 fishing ship of Tato. That's so crazy. He's really taking this game seriously here. He's, he's been having a great, great performance this this day and uh, he's just proving that uh, once again. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh. I love how well he's just there. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Doubt is debating the Viper here, as we yeah. said before. If this king dies, the game is over for Doubt. And he's, oh. oh, that's, yeah, he's, he's playing with fire here right now. And the yeah. Viper, he wants to have the king go in, and if he gets that <laughs> wall, wall done, the king is dead. Oh, 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 yo, 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 yo. Doubt? No, 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 no. Now Doubt will never go in here. Yeah. I think the Viper should not have started. This that, wall. That yeah. party said wall there. Yeah, yeah. Without just trying. He's probably even going over there and screaming like, uh, Vipey, Vipey, watch Militia, Vipey. <laughs> I'm sure he's smiling right now for sure and Viper is as well. So uh, that's what we can expect from these two guys here. Some little shenanigans which make the uh, game super fun also for the casting. And uh, let's see, how are the fishing ship of Viper looking like? I'm sure they all died. But he's approaching cast age very soon as well. So he knew that he didn't want to go for fuel uh, anyhow. So, uh, and once he reaches cast age, we can for sure see some Arambais and Monkas, mm -hmm. which uh, will be uh, headed to Green's town center for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about the monks, but simply Ramba, aggressive castle into Doubt's face. Ah, we'll just make it very tricky for Doubt. I don't really see him clicking up too early. Look at that, 100 food, 500 gold. He will go on to some archers. Not really going to work against Castle Age, remember. Yeah, the good thing for him, though, is he still has some uh, minutes left until uh, Viper reaches Castle Age and the castle eventually. So he will have a certain time where he can deal some damage. Uh, let's see what he can do from there. And uh, also we have Viper going for Castle Age now. Uh, we see some... Look at overall KDs at the moment. Marco, 0-0. Zero, zero. Tado just lost his first one. The Viper, 0-10. Oh, and Doubt now with 11 oh kills God, here. Oh my god, and people were saying Doubt doesn't have Micro, man. 11-0, <laughs> well, how can you top that? <laughs> of course it was fishing ship, but who cares? Yeah, well, <laughs> they didn't really fight back. Good for Doubt here. Yeah, yeah. that boosts his confidence after this Hello. week. Uh, but yeah, now uh, Doubt is also going for Loom and uh, will Try to deal some damage with his arches, but Viper on the other side, he is almost uh, upping to Castle and the uh, Castle Age, and then he will get his castle going very soon, followed by a Rambice. Mm -hmm. Will he get the castle up though? Where is he trying to build it? He only now has the 650 stone needed. If he builds it over here, Doubt could maybe deny that, but he will still need to wait 15 more percent. I believe he needs to pull those gold villagers. Nice move here, and then try to get it up very far away. Nice. Sniped here by Doubt and Charlie, 12 to 2. I'm, I, I'm very impressed. Oh. Uh, Doubt is doing very well oh, here. Oh, it is! It's just running <laughs> into his face. That's so brutal. And now, let's take a look. Viper, where is he going with this king? Oh, look at those two guys trolling each other. Dead. 75 HP. If you lose the king, I can't say it often enough. You lose the game. And well, Doubt is just trolling and showing him off like... Uh, okay. My king is here, my king is here, my king is here. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? I wanted to go on the gold and I finally got there. So uh, this is really nice from uh, Doubt there, really provoking Viper here. But you know, Viper knows how the game will evolve. 
he will have a rumbus out and he will make his revenge. Oh yeah, and we will take a look into the resources of Doubt here. He has 600 food now. And well, King back into the TC, wanted to be saved there. And now, wow, how will he answer against the Rambai? There's literally no answer. That's uh, very unfortunate, but there is no answer to that. He would uh, need to have crossbows for that, but uh, currently he's still Fuel Age sitting on 700 foot, so he's not too far away from clicking into Cast Age as well, but I'm sure Viper is dealing uh, early damage very soon. We'll see. Let's get an update on all the other players here. Marco in the back going for the nice boom has protected fish since we have the landlock there at the top. Tedo still going for the crazy boom, is getting some water control, 23 fish for him. Doubt and Viper is something we saw and we see Zero Empires and MBL just going for the chilled boom here as well. Looks like they will transition into some imp armies. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah, so MBL is going now for fletching, he's going for uh, castle as well, so we will see as he's reverse camel archers from him. And, uh, you know, Camel Archers rip apart a Rambai, so that's really a great answer to that. And, uh, and uh, like, uh, Viper really has to be cautious now. He really wants to deal damage to Doubt now, because he will be soon overrun by MBL. On the other side, though, the, uh, look at Tatito's score. He's really, really skyrocketing this game. 500 score lead over the second best player here in this game. And, um, you know, his fish boom is really paying off. And what a performance by Tello today. The first 3v3 he was owning. Then we had the 2v2, won by him. The 2v3, not the greatest influence, obviously. Get, obviously. Winning our game number four. And now game number five, score lead again. This exactly. guy is going mad. Yeah, he's really performing very well. And uh, let's see what he will be up to in, in Pril Age. So now we have uh, a little skirmish here. Viper is going for some nice raids. And guys, uh, those Arambais, they're ripping apart everything. Yeah. Let's try to go into the point of view of Mr. Doubt here and try to see how he's trying to defend. Obviously, we will have a lot of raids coming around. The Arambais will try to find some raids. Oh, and they are doing so well. He's killing off four villagers for like nothing. That was really, really good done by, by Viper, finding those four uh, uh, villagers there. and. Uh, I mean, Doubt is uh, having the right answer. He's going for Xbows and Ballistics, so that's something he really needs. But uh, Viper is about to get the critical mass, and MBL is also supporting here with Camel Archers, which really count to those uh, Arambais. Mm, and let's hear how they are communicating here. We will jump over into the right team and see now the communication from Doubt and MBL together. Lang? That is lag. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. oh. Do you know? Oh no. Shit, he's gonna iron by. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Seems like we are a bit off here. We're like 30 seconds behind. We cannot really catch up. So, yeah, you heard the bad words that we would never use, Jordan. Oh, oh, there's, but, the, oh, king. there's oh, the king. There's oh, the king. There's the king. What happens? No, no. no. Oh. Heads up, shot. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That Good that we jumped so in time close. and they were kind of announcing that for us. The king surviving in the end and well, you saw there just the Rambai was like, oh, he's going a Rambai? He is playing a solid game of SimCity here. Yeah, uh, Zero Empires is uh, kind of playing his own game here and we just saw something very, very close. So uh, let's see what happens. So Marcus uh, also pushing in with a lot of knights, very, very well upgraded and uh, they both decided to retreat. but. Man, that situation with the king, it only has half HP, so that was very, very dicey. Here yeah, for and that's like three more darts hitting, and then the king would be dead and the game would be over. And now could go into that TC raid, no, won't really happen. And that, an interesting game here, like 2v2 full out, out with some problems. Exactly, and also you, you saw Viper, he was not really expecting the king to sit into the tower. So uh, he was caught by surprise here as well. And both of them are kind of stuck now, they are trapped. And uh, the castle is also blocking the uh, way out. And uh, yeah, camel, uh, camel archers are obviously trying to hit their rumbas as they rip apart. Mm -hmm. Knight from Marco, but well, too many arrows in the air here. I don't really see oh, not too much damage dealt here. MBL, he looks pretty solid. Overall score though, Tedo is now transitioning into Genoese crossbowman. And well, what is really the counter that Berbers can do? Maybe some Britons are blessed, but I don't really see Zach getting onto the very high numbers to contest Tello. 
Let's see. So Zero Empires has uh, reached Imperage right now. So he's fully, for sure going for Arbalest right now. Let's see how many he can produce. And MBL, if he really needs to fend off those uh, Genesee crossbowmen, then he will add some Onigus for sure. Mm -hmm. And we have three TCs running for Zach here. His king pretty protected. And I still have to ask you. The king over there in the tower, wasn't that like super risky? Oh no, he might go for the TC go here. Remember, Rambas are super good against TC fire here. They are going for the big attack. The king is going oh, down. Doubt is done. Doubt the king is, is done. Doubt. doubt is defeated. Let's jump over there and hear them. And I want to hear from Doubt. Oh God, he has to be so mad. I could, but where could I hide it? The rest of the team even trying to continue. Are you happy now? <laughs> Oh, grass. Look at sad. my economy, man. He's dead. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he's, he's really tearing up here. And another lost game from him. And okay, this game, though, now every normal game would be over, like 3v2. But still, you only need to kill a the single king. unit, like one single yellow unit, and suddenly you're ahead. Exactly. We, so, we saw how fast that happened to doubt. And uh, I just love that this has happened because they had this little skirmish early on on uh, gold uh, mining camp from, from Viper and uh, now Viper, you know, get the perfect revenge here. But let's see how the game evolves. Yeah, I, I think they need to make the go now. Maybe MBL even too late to him, but he, they need to go for the pressure move. Uh, I think, well, he has enough camel archers prepared now. Would love to see like just eight patterns come in that direction, but well, that's not really going to happen. No, most likely not, as he's already uh, going halfway through. Oh, Viper will do some quick balls on the camel archers, most likely, didn't he? No. Yeah, he was o he was almost going there, but uh, he was missing that. So, very close one here. And then like coming over with the Rambai to go for the camel archer kill. Yeah, I don't know what he would have done there, uh, but but yeah, let's see. I and think our Rambais would have done very well if they are the the camel archers are not really able to retreat. But now we have a little skirmish going on here and we see how those camel archers really up pick apart those uh, Arambas. But uh, Viper is uh, doing a great micro, that's for sure. Oh, and MBL for one point had the hill advantage there. I was quite surprised that he didn't try to take that fight. Apparently didn't want to fight against close range Aramba. And what a great micro here, trying to chase them down. So usually camel archers are supposed to kill those uh, Arambas, but with Viper's micro he's just doing very well. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really great. Tato was about to wall here as well, but uh, he did not manage to do that uh, successfully. And uh, yeah, let's see. Obviously, Doubt is out of the game, so it will be three against two. Look at that. In the meanwhile of MBL doing all the great micro, he did like six upgrades there at the same time, trying to go for so much. And look at poor Doubt, so, so idle. And, but he is, look, he's still sitting there in his team and trying to help out, trying to give strategic advice. Zach defended off against Tato here. I still have small hope that we might see a king kill. Yeah, let's see. So, as you said, three against two, yes, but in this uh, setting, it is possible to snipe the king and to turn out, uh, turn around the game for sure. But now we have a little skirmish going on. Marco is also, uh, you know, having those knights there, and uh, it's literally three boomed out guys now against two, and that's really, really hard one. Oh, Viper actually is only at is that 37. Oh, he's only at 37 pops, so he ha is having some problems, so not really boomed out there. It's basically only a rambice for him, so the king snipe of the Viper wouldn't even decide the game. He is having less population than Doubt at the moment. Exactly, but he's making up for that now. He's killing archers, which didn't really touch him too much, but uh, okay. And now it's literally two boomed, uh, boomed out guys against two, and uh, Viper will try to be as annoying with his rambice as he can. Oh, oh, and I just heard... Researching spice, so oh. you're investing 400 gold. What's going on? Oh, there are a lot oh, of Oh, look at that, there. MBL. He's going for the move. So he they just researched spice, trying to find out where the king is. Let's take a look. The paddots are coming, so many elite camel archers. Where's the king trying to go? It's tough to react in fast speed here. The viper is not reacting yet. The camel archers need to spread out. I believe we could see a snipe of that king. So many paddots will get that castle done. He needs to move more to the left hand side. This could be a king. Oh, oh. The king is going, oh, going down. Oh, it's going down. It's going so down. So we're playing a normal 2v2 now. The viper is done. Let's take a look in at his face. How must he feel now? He's shattered. <laughs> Mm. Trying to stay calm there. 
Ay, ay, but ay, that's, ay, ay. that's something which really took him by surprise. But I have to say, MBL did a very, very great job here. And mm -hmm. that's what I love about these settings. We are currently now sitting again 2v2. Oh, and everything man. is open. And now it is kind of really like the, maybe the two strongest players taken out, right? So it is kind of an even 1v1. One one. Exactly. We lost one Berber on the side, on the right hand side. And we lost one Burmese at the left hand side. Who has the better civilizations now? Uh, definitely uh, NBL here with Berbers. You can do so much with them and, uh, you know, it's it's uh, really hard obviously against Genoese crossbow man. He needs to add trebuchet and he also needs to add some onagers, otherwise he will be ripped apart against those camel archers, uh, against those Genoese crossbow men. Mm -hmm. Trying to go for a defensive castle now here. Oh, can we see another king snipe? That could be the option. That we didn't have a lot of vision at all over here. Mm, Marco trying to find some openings, but your empire. Oh, MBL got defeated. <gasps> MBL got defeated. He lost his king. Where did that happen? What happened there? What Let's happened there? Let's switch over to them. We didn't see that. I want to hear the players talk now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It so was good. amazing. Three king snipes in yeah, one yeah, game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think fast speed helps a little yeah, bit. Definitely. You so you can't react. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can't react. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's correct. was, how can you let your king die and then... <laughs> 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 so, oh, so Lily, Jordan, what yeah. do you think? Uh, we didn't see the king snipe of MBL in the end. How did that happen? I killed it! I haven't seen it either. That I was so it. fast. Oh, range, that right? was the starting to see. Ah. Yes. Ah. Man, but this game was awesome. We had three king snipes. Really, yeah. Nilly was yeah. kept. You know, Nilly kept saying, "Hey, Doubt's king was sniped, but three against two, it's fine." Mm -hmm. You know, a king snipe can change everything, and yeah. we saw that a very nice move by MBL killing Viper's king, mm -hmm. which made it two v two. But then Marco going for the masterpiece. Yeah, but you have to compare. Like <laughs> MBL was killing someone who had pop forty. Marco now killed someone who was pop 150. Exactly, <laughs> so a huge difference there. But uh, very great game, very entertaining, Ooh. and we uh, saw so many skirmish there. So very good uh, job, guys. Very well done. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. So kind yeah. of you. <laughs> it was awesome. But I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Why, why, why are you score so low? <laughs> I was playing all darkish few days just trying to wall out <laughs> king. <laughs> so I, didn't, I didn't do any economy. <laughs> OK, awesome. Yeah. Okay, um, Nelly, Jordan, thank you for um, for the cast. And <laughs> who's that clown behind <laughs> you? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that was our our big event. So we have five matches today, not only four. And uh, thank you so much, Viper, Tato, MBL, Zero Empires, Doubt, and uh, Nelly and uh, Jordan are downstairs. I am, am, am I missing someone? No, you got everyone. Okay, I got everyone. Yeah, Florentine. Florentine. Uh, okay, Florentine. <laughs> Ma, Donny, <laughs> Donny, natürlich. It was amazing, and I, I'm. Uh, oh God, I'm, I'm so exhausted right now. <laughs> so many games, and I. Uh, I hope everyone had fun outside, and um, you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope we can do it again someday. You will join sure. us again. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That was Rage Vampires our special version of it. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>